So it's RimWorld, and I reckon we're putting this baby to bed now. It's been a run. It's been a long run, in fact. Doesn't it show you somewhere how long you've been running from? We haven't found it before, and I managed to forget it again. Well, I'm sure it's somewhere. Anyway, it's been going a heck of a long time. It's been a heck of a fun run, but I think it's time to put it to bed. We're going to finish off our raids. We have three more to do. We need to take out the two tribes people, and since they're tribal, it should be relatively easy. Relatively. I don't know, those uh, those Neanderthals hit like trucks and they'll go down easy. And then there's the Empire. That's a complication. I don't think there'll be so many at the Empire place. They're usually fewer in number. But the mod might get screwy with that. In any case, they're probably going to be pretty tough. Well armed and armoured. But at least they don't use psychic powers on you. No way I use the psychic powers, thank goodness. It has been the longest long play so far, hasn't it? If we don't count Nancy Drew, and I do count Nancy Drew, then it has. I always forget, where in the world does it... Ah, now I remember. It's here, under statistics. There we go. Holy moly. Four days, four hours, 56 minutes. That's a scary duration. Apparently we faced down 37 major threats and 28 enemy raids. Colonists killed five. Well, not by my count. By my count, colonists killed... Zero. I think it's counting people that I just wanted thrown away anyway. And there was a bug where some temporary colonists got counted as real colonists, but I think that was a mod conflict. Anyway, we just got back from raiding, I believe, Ergo people. It was a very unorthodox attack in the mountains, where there were two separate areas inside the base split off by the mountain. And I made a very poor decision to break off half of the team and send them home, because I didn't think I'd need them. And then the other part of the enemy army just found their way through the mountain because there was a giant gaping hole in it. And things got a little complicated, but it went alright. And I killed Yuan Shao, which I still feel bad for. And, uh, yeah, to leave no doubts in any minds, uh, all the murder bingos have been claimed. And that's three different weekly one-shots being played. We already did Spy Fox. We've got uh, some kind of funky rhythm game whose name escapes me. Beat something? Come on, it's on your Steam Licks, Jake. Rhythm Doctor, that's it. I'll be coming up next. And the last one, undecided upon. Hmm, that last person's being a bit flaky. Can't be having that. In any case, let's see if we can bring up my bingo sheet to illustrate the fact that, yeah, it's going to be very rare for someone not to have a bingo by now. In fact, I'd be very interested to hear from anybody who does have a bingo sheet that has no bingos on it. I've been poorly performing, and I already have three on my one by my count. Yeah, one top down to the far left, there's center horizontal, and then there's second from the bottom horizontal. Yeah, man. Pains me to see a Leon Kennedy scratched off. I wanted him. And even more painful is Yuan Shao dying. That's just not right. But yeah, it's uh, bingo's galore. So if you've never wanted a game of bingo, easy victory now. And we have the list to confirm in-game. There were 161 different people submitting their own custom pawns, or getting someone to do it, and of those, 139 have either been killed or recruited. Overwhelmingly killed. Oh, Yuan Shao. At the moment I killed him, I felt so immensely bad for it. It was such an ignoble death. Stripped of his drugs, stripped of his clothes, and then beaten to death by Trebliard's staff. On the other hand, Trebliard feels pretty good about it. Killed Yuan Shao. What a rush. So, we're just back from that raid. We'll let people rest up, eat up, heal up. And then we're going to see about getting to going on the other two, and then we'll finish off with the Empire one. Uh, I have been anticipating the Empire arriving with an Honor Trader. I've been wanting one for a long time. You're meant to get them roughly twice a year, and it's been over half a year since we last got one, so it should be any moment now, right? In the lead up to that, though, I think I will call in Lurit and the Broken Empire for some more trading, unless I've already done that. Nope, I probably still want Shaman, 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 and I really want an Imperial Trader because the Imperial Trader is, by my count, the only trader who buys uranium. There might be some fancy trade ships that do or don't, I haven't checked all of those. Maybe someday I'll get around to doing that. And, hang on, the game's music seems kind of loud for this track and this track only. Uh, right, I wonder if I can actually bring up my list of things that people buy and sell. Should be my RimWorld information Google sheet. Is that going to show up? I can't imagine why it wouldn't. Hey, there we go. Although it's not showing quite right. 
Let's see if we can trim off the top, bring it out here. Yeah, there we go. It's a list of all the uh, all the goods that each different trader buys and sells. I was doing this for some early money making theory crafting, and if it's yellow on the left, that means every single trader buys it. Kind of interesting though. I mean, you've got mortar barrels, serums, persona cores, and even the tribals buy that. Feels like an oversight, but what's more likely is that they put in those DLC items and thought, ah. We can't have people not engaging with our DLC, make sure everybody buys it, but maybe I'm just being bitter. Anyway, it's a plus for us. It means we can sell off excess of jeans, and they're, they're worth a pretty penny. But what I mostly got out of that is drugs are great for almost everyone, and packaged meals are fantastic for truly everyone. Look at $24 reduce for one packaged meal. But if you've been watching this, you know that we make mystery meat packaged meals aplenty. Oh, traders are also picky with what they buy. Yes, indeed. My bingo triggered by Don Paolo. Don Paolo lives on, though. He's somewhere here. There we go. He's sleeping underneath the yak. But there is Don Paolo, our male rat. Two quadrums old, and he consumed Don Paolo's human form. It's probably just Don Paolo in disguise yet again. Uh, oh, right, one thing. Uh, our power is actually struggling a wee bit because of the giant smoke cloud. I think it's stopping our solar generators from working particularly well. Uh, what I'm going to do, well, I've turned off two of these scanners, but I'm also going to turn off the RIP score, uh, the RIP, the subcore RIP scanner, the encoder, and the gestator, because I don't think I'm going to need any of those. I can somewhat wind down my base since we're planning on finishing up, and I'm done with gene extraction. So I'm going to turn off all of the gene extractors, the newer items in the game have this whole only use more power when actually active, but that hasn't caught on with all the old ones. I mean, this this smelter uses 700 watts even when it's not in use. It's very bothersome. I wish they took more of a factorio approach with power, but that would be a bit of an overhaul. Still good to always keep on, though. You can't just keep flicking this thing on and off because you never know when you're going to have some steel slag or whatnot. Weapons that need broken down. I want to go and take care of that smoke cloud, though. And since it's an off-site threat, it's probably... Ooh, I haven't seen that before. Hey, that tells us something interesting. It tells us that this is overlaid on top of this. It renders both. Huh. Kind of cool. Uh, anyway, because it's an off-site threat, it shouldn't be that threatening. Even so, it's a mech cluster. So I think I'll send over four people. Hmm. Maybe Spurdo, Ivor... Oh, well, we need to be able to get back, don't we? I need my Psycaster is actually focusing. But yeah, Ivor seems like a safe bet. Ivor, Spurdo, maybe Smuggler. So I have a Gunner and one of the uh, one of the battle tanks over there with their high damage and their good weapons. Maybe Seru. Seru can go over there and put that legendary sword to the test. I would love to see what this does to a mech. You'd, you'd shatter a mech part just by looking at them with that. Mm. More legendary weapons, more better. Because it's pretty hard to get legendary mono swords. And I think at a certain point, armor-piercing is fine. How often do you fight truly well-armored opponents? Ooh, crikey, I, I didn't bring all my animals out of the far skip point. There you go, go. Who is Don Paolo? Uh, Don Paolo is an antagonist from the Professor Layton series. He has a bit of a token appearance, but he gets fleshed out quite a bit more in Unwound Future. Great game. Sadly, I didn't finish it on stream because I got brutalized. Also, huzzah! We've got another trader passing by, and I am fond of trade. I want to double check who's got the best trade price improvement. It's usually Nancy, and this is no different. Trade ships are great because they have vast amounts of quantity and plenty of money, so they'll generally buy everything you've got. Uh, that said, that's kind of pathetic. They only have eight components, but A, B, C. It's a little tempting to buy high explosive shells. They are quite expensive, but I think when I'm going to be doing my um, my final flight away on the ship, I'm going to want to rig up a lot of high explosive shells around the base, just as a last ditch defense against anything that comes my way. You never know what's going to come your way. It's cool that you can sell these xenogerms. Uh, I don't think I'll sell any of my gene packs, although... I mean, what use do they have anymore? 
Well, I've got plenty of dosh, that's hardly a problem. Uh, even so, I can sell you a whole bunch of flake. And do you have anything else worth my time? Yeah, here's a bunch of crap weapons that you don't want. Yeah, no thank you. Get rid of this normal plasteel longsword. Nah, nah, keep hold of it for now. Ah, here we go. Some normal monoswords. I do like monoswords, but why couldn't they sell me some Persona monoswords? Might actually be worth grabbing one of those. A monosword is better than a uh, plasteel sword. But I would use a plasteel sword if it was one or more uh, levels of quality higher. I think I'll pass on that, actually. It's a bit expensive for something that I could just happily find somewhere. Otherwise, wealth management is out the window, so there's not much point selling stuff just to have fewer bits of wealth on hand. You sell me triple rocket launchers? Well, you sell me one. You don't sell doomsdays, and I'm far more interested in doomsdays. I have two. I might as well buy another one, right? Might as well weaponize the wealth that I have. Excellent locust armor. Extremely tempting. But I think we're going to call it with that. That's a lot of money, though. Surprised there's not other stuff that you'd be interested in buying. I could do that. I mean, I've got plenty of silver. I am, however, interested in looking at what do you buy? Do you buy... Okay, the only raw resource they take are gold and silver, so I don't think I could be giving them over uranium, which is something I have a ton of, but it'd be cool to find people that buy it, but yeah, not happening. That's fine, though. I will take your goodies, and you'll put them in a very convenient location for me. Where do I even store high explosive shells these days? Is it just over here? Possibly. Right. Come on, Ivor. Get that side focus up so I can send you out. What's Trebliard up to? Well, he's not side focusing, that's for sure, but it's on their schedule. I get a decent amount of side focus per day. I could always juice them up. Depends how badly we need the power, though. Overall, we're just barely producing more than we consume, but these sun lamps do consume a whole ton of it. So it's up to Randy how the ending is going to be here. The The final raids, at least two of them on the tribals, shouldn't be too rough. We can overwhelm them with our superior technology. Might be a little dicey for the one against the Imperials. Not only are they going to be well armed and armoured, I also can't use any Imperial things against them because I will be enemy of them, which blocks all uses of permits. But after that, it's 15 days of constant raids when you turn on the ship reactor, and I don't know what they're going to be. I mean, it could be 15 days of barely any raids, and what you do end up getting is, I don't know, man-hunting chihuahuas. Or it could be drop pod, drop pod, drop pod, as long as they don't blow up the ship itself, which is why we've got it double-walled away. One layer plasteel, one layer granite. Both very strong, both inflammable. In fact, nothing here is flammable. There's not even a conduit. And even if there were, honestly, I could bathe this whole place in fire because it all has 0% flammability. I wonder if that's a strategy one could use, just completely coat this in fire and set up fire uh, explosives so that if anyone does come here and start breaking apart your ship, they just burn, baby, burn. And yeah, if you missed it from last time, we did bring in the Professor. He doesn't really bring in anything to the colony that we didn't already have, and him being non-violent is a big old pain in the bum. But thematically, it just wouldn't be right to finish this off without the Professor. Let's get these uninstalled so they're not draining power as well. Completely missed our, uh, our chance to do a wee dance revolution, sadly. We're working on those components. Once we have all those components, we'll continue working on the advanced components which are still needed for the ship. I think I could fire it up without finishing all the sleep caskets, but I certainly want all the sleep caskets. Uh, I don't know which way round you are. Okay, you're like that. I want another couple of them though. 
Or at least one more, because I brought in the professor after I started designing it. Couldn't have left without solving the mystery of what happened to Leighton. He's not talking much. I don't think he wants to speak about it. It was a few years that uh, he was dragged away. I think it was about three, three Rimworld years. Also, I should see about becoming friendly with E10 again. I think I'll load you up and I'll put every last bedroll I have in there. Love how quickly they can get loaded. Are you working on it? Oh man, that's so good. A very good reason to keep all the things you want to load right next to it. Hmm? Barracks and Warg 19 formed a bond. You named them... Was it Bamboozler, Regina, or Bogdan? I think it was Bogdan. I'm not sure how Black Warg feels about his children being given such silly names. But hey, TBW is old. He's shaking his proverbial wargy walking stick at everybody else. God, it's, it's going to be a massacre for our poor puppies when they go out and fight. Many of them. Many of them just kids. They're not ready for battle, but they're going to be sent out regardless. Right, there we go. Should be able to make easy friends with E10. I think it's going to give more than that. We'll send it off and see what happens. God, having the robots just constantly make us components is so nice. I was dubious about it. Hey, there we go. Yeah, it was. Uh, I think that was more than advertised, but it could be wrong. Point is, they're our friends, and that means we can bring them back in. I may need my friends to help protect me when the attacks come, but before that, keep the exotics coming in. up to and why is your side focus just not where I need it to be? Well actually Triple Art has the side focus I think this this evening. I'll send off the uh, the trip well the four of them. There's something to be said for setting up uranium spike traps since I have so much uranium. I mean thinking about it, it's only forty five uranium a pop. Uh, I, I didn't want to do that. I was just putting that down as an example. Comparing uranium to wood, it's like chalk and cheese. The wooden one does, let's see, 60% armor penetration and does 40 damage. Uranium? Mm, 165, that's getting through any armor. And it does 110 damage, so hell yes. The diff ah, a lot more hit points and non-flammable as well. Still ugly, though. Don't really know where I'd put it though. I mean, the base is such a large area I'd have to consider defending at this point. And unlike other places, there's no choke point to consider. So I'm unsure about that. Could be something to be said for putting it around this. Or, I don't know. I suppose in the end I could kite enemies around it if it comes down to that. They are going to attack the spaceship. I actually don't think they target the spaceship specifically. I could be dead wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure the raiders that come in do not target it. I mean, they don't know how to target it. It could be unfortunate and get uh, sappers from the south that just draw a straight line through it. I don't think it works that way. I'm certainly hoping it doesn't work that way. Right, Trebs, you have plenty of side focus. Let's get two of us out there. We're going Trebliard with mm, Lady Saru, and I want a gun, so what is with this order? Smuggler is going, and on top of that one of the big brutes is going as well. I'll send, not Barracks, and he's just going to fight everyone that's there, and Gian is too muscular to send over. Any problem with smugglers so heavy. What do I even have? 78 or so? Hey, you know what, Ivor? You're relatively light. You get over there.
want to actually just right click away some of those um, messages that keep popping up. In you get Smuggler, and off you two go. Let's get rid of this cloud hanging over us. Edge or center? Ah, big balls, let's just go in the center. We have no good reason to do that, but let's do it anyway. Come to think of it, it was a mech cluster. Maybe that was a terrible idea. Oh, maybe that was a very terrible idea. Hello, friends. Oh, boy. Well, I guess I should be grateful that the two people that landed here are actually um, the ones in shield belts. Smuggler, there's very little that you can... Uh, that you can gain from approaching there, but the Trebs, you can go and smash the thing. Oh, that's pretty cute. I think the only one you can hoot is Seru. Oh, oh, oh dearie me. Is that gonna... Yeah, that's gonna blow. Fortunately, the shield belt, if it takes damage that destroys it, it just straight up goes and uh, goes pop. So you won't actually take damage. All right, take that out. And this is quite nice. Two mech shields. Right, I want those both deconstructed. You all just take care of this. Impressive aim there, smuggler. Truly impressive. But that's really good because that's actually two uh, mech, two low shields that I can make out of these shield cores. I value shield cores really highly for that. Low shields just afford you that wonderful time of not taking any damage. There are some exceptions, especially against Tesserons, Tesseracts, or whatever they're called. Those guys can get right through the beam, and some big explosions go through it. Or generally, de explosions detonate on the outer shell of it. Right, so all of you come back, definitely take the components, the steel, the plasteel, and the shield cores. We don't really care about anything else. And skippity skip. God, far skip is so good. Never leave home without it. There's a weird quirk with people coming home from a caravan where they drop off their medicine and then they go and load up on medicine. They, I, as far as I'm aware, they don't do that with their drugs. Although, are you just a way to do that with your drugs? Now, you're dropping off a component, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why medicine isn't treated as their inventory stuff and so they want to drop it off each time. It's beyond me. Seriously, did people at home get the mood bonus from destroying the mech cluster? Doesn't look like it. Oh, easy peasy. If I had more far skipping available to me right now, I'd happily go out and get even more gold. But I think I need another day or so before Nancy and I ever catch up. Her pods. Well, you're not my man. Um, oh, crumbs, what was the name again? Teostopus. Not that I listened to his request either. Fifteen Jannies will be there to help you deal with a mechanoid cluster that includes a whole lot of pain. Yeah, I think you're, I think you're quite all right on that one. I'm here to, here to win the end here. Barely any, barely any silver. Certainly not enough to justify mining that out. But I think we're we're pretty good on all the resources that we have grabbed out. There's no real need for anything else at this moment. It's just getting our fights, getting our ship ready to launch, and off we trot. So it stands to reason that it's probably going to be quite anticlimactic, but I maintain that our climax was already had at episode 14. And I went back to rewatch it again because it was just so good. Also fit well with the music really well. Nimbus Stratus in particular. A great song for such an occasion. This is a great song that couples well with fighting Apophriton in general, I think. And let's take that boom loat meat. Any meat is good meat. Because we do chew through that stuff quickly. I'm 
wondering if I should start slaughtering a bunch of my animals, but it seems a shame to slaughter them before they've had a taste for real combat. I have humans that I can slaughter, but mood is probably going to be a problem when we're under the big attacks. That said, the wargs do need to eat something or someone. Actually, I could zone the wargs over here and just have them eat these corpses. Or zone the corpses over here. Either way, they'll be eaten fine. Took a fair whack for some of you people to get fixed up. Now everyone's completely healed. And largely, everyone's chilling out. It's going to be sad to leave the place, really. Tja. Randy thinks a flash storm's going to do me in. Far from it. Oh, I'm still mining out the ground. That's right, I was low on steel. We are continuing to grab more steel. We actually ate through all the meat? The meat doesn't last forever. The wargs might not eat a lot, but I got... 50 of them, so that's quite a lot of meat. One warg, I think, needs to eat... Well, a fully grown warg needs to eat... Where is their consumption needs? Mm, nutrition? That's max nutrition. I think it's hunger rate is the word I'm looking for. Why, the world's not showing up here. I think they need eight pieces of meat per day to live. Food consumption, hey, that sounds reasonable. There we go, food consumption, 0 0.4 nutrition per day needed, which is really low, especially for uh, the size of the animal. It's half the amount that our, uh, well, yeah, boomalopes, but also the yaks need to eat. Look at that, less than half. One chunk of meat gives 0 0.05 nutrition, so that's eight chunks of meat a day. But that's eight times 50 times number of days. Eight times 50, as we all know, is quite a lot, and I only have 2,100 meat. But that's okay, we have ways of getting more meat, it's hardly a big problem. If nothing else, I could go out and slaughter some wildlife for their delicious meat. Or just leave my wargs outside, have them hunt the meat that they need. They'd make short work of things like this red fox. There we go. The power problems have very swiftly gone away. Verrickson's becoming a master at the animals, which is great, because looking after these animals has become a full-time job. Look at him go. Milking the yaks, training the wargs, milking the boomlope, and training our uh, tough-to-train. Sludge the Mega Sloth, who, despite everything, we really thought Sludge was going to die in combat against the, I think it was the pig people? Or was it the fuzzy bastards? One or the other. But no, he came back and he has no permanent scarring. Even TBW didn't walk away unscathed. TBW's got a uh, scratch scar and his tail's completely shot off by a sniper round. Ooh, grim. But I'm pretty sure to TBW that's just his scars of honor. He earned his position as Alpha Male of the Pack. And he puts it to use as a reason. There's 49 wargs in here when we started off with, I believe it was three. I'm not worried about this fire. The thing about fire is as there's more and more of it, the, uh, the storyteller decides to put out the fire using rain eventually. Speaking of water, hey, the moisture pump over here is completely done. There's no need for any more moisture pumping or the like. And there's certainly no need for those bridges. Get rid of that. And deconstruct all of that. These things still consume power even when they're finished. Sterilize every male war other than TBW. That'd be quite a lot of sterilization, although to be fair, we've got 
a little bit too much in the way of pregnancy right now. The problem is TBW would just keep on uh, impregnating them. Hmm, I think we'll just make do. If we end up with dead baby wargs, then we end up with dead baby wargs. At least they can feed the other wargs. Good job, Gian. Besser's at least still found something to do. He can still ground and penetrate scan. And he's looking dapper. He's the only person I've put any effort into his clothes for, but we even used dye to make his clothes look somewhat like how he should be. Can we see him looking down? Yeah, there we go. There's a mod that can let you really zoom in on characters, but... I had that once and I just got bothered how I kept accidentally zooming in way too far. I think it's called Camera Plus, but I could be dead wrong about that. What is this roof? I think this is roofed from a very long time ago where we had this bit jutting out from here. Yeah, we were doing deep drilling, now I recall. Steel was there. True gentleman must, must strive to always look his best, even in the grim situations on the rim. No the situations have looked grim. Some of this stuff still isn't rotted away in the ancient danger part. We didn't even unveil this, it was our Piggy friends who had a failed siege against us. Side focus up when we're fighting against the Neanderthals. And oh, I should check on Neanderthals. Uh, Matty, you're a Neanderthal. Good. The Neanderthals have nothing impacting. Um, what's the term I'm looking for? The psi, the psychic sensitivity. One of the problems I'm going to have with fighting against Hussars is that, as I recall, uh, Hussars are psychically deaf. So you can't just make them go and kill each other. Fortunately, though, they won't all be uh, Hussars. But the ones that are are ones I'm going to have real problems with because I won't be able to skip them away and I won't be able to have them in fight. That's a problem. A big problem. Especially since they're probably going to be juiced up and cause me a lot of problems. Well, that's okay. We accept these issues. We are surely ready for them. Which might just mean bring every rocket launcher that I can. What's the plan then? Shoot them until they all die? Uh, and they won't all be Hussars, so I will try to mind screw all the ones that aren't Hussars. Um, I don't know if there's anything, any advantages you do have over those guys in combat though. So please start with the rain so I don't sound like a fool for saying, oh, it automatically puts it out when there's too much fire. Actually, I know we just got started, but I need to stop and take a quick water break. I'll be back momentarily. We'll just let that fire play out, shall we? Much better, although my aching body at that DDR does not want to move around at all right now, so let's just sit back and enjoy. Hmm. I 
wonder if I could actually just haul these two things away. Soon they'll be done with the components, which means they're going to get back on the advanced components. See, it's winter time. I'm surprised it's been snowing at all so far. Also, rotate that around so it gets slightly more of that steel. Always a use for steel. There's never not a use for steel in RimWorld. I had a run where I had tens of thousands of steel backed up in huge skips. I thought, I'm never going to need steel again. And I ripped through all of it. It didn't even take very long. The steel flooring can get quite expensive when you do the nice stuff, though. Where is it? There we go. Steel tiles. Oh boy. If I wanted to replace the concrete that I have with steel tile, it's going to cost me thousands. Maybe if you're using sterile tile. Well, I hope you've got plenty of silver for that. I have held, I've had people tell me that sterile tile is actually bad for a number of reasons. I think they told me that it takes longer to clean, but I thought it was the opposite. I was quite certain that sterile tile has uh, cleaning time. There we go. See, it takes 40% less time to clean sterile tile. If we compare that to concrete, yeah, it's faster to clean than concrete. What about fancy looking sandstone flooring? Yeah, it's faster than that as well. What about silver tile? Uh, silver tile, I think, is on par with uh, sterile tile. The sterile tile is more clean. So I don't know what that was all about. I might have been misinformed, or I might be missing the point somewhere, or maybe cleaning time doesn't work the way I think it does. Whatever the case, though, I'm not bothered about it. Once you hit about $400,000 of wealth, the raids don't get any bigger, so it's not like I need to worry about wealth management at all. We haven't had to worry about wealth management since this point right here. What happened here? Must have just been a big enemy raid, and we kept the corpses and butchered them and, and weaponized that wealth, and then just been going up and up since there. But until this point, yeah, we were trying at least a little bit to manage our wealth. Holy smoke, some of those peaks and... When was our migration? I think this was where we just ran away from... Um, from Castle Malloy, relocated Icicle Creep. Is that really on day 60-something? Hello, Nichits! I see you're attacking immediately from multiple angles, my least favorite kind of attack, other than maybe drop pod raid. Mm hmm. And uh, we've managed to get through almost all the chatters, but there are still some that want to arrive and ruin my day. Oh, including Hank Hill the Repairman. Okay, so Hank is on his way, Lankerson, RB Giant, Ziri. Rainy, McCaskey, Jewel Blades. Hmm, I guess they want their revenge since I did raid them into oblivion. Fortunately though it's snowing, so that'll help put out any fires they decide to smack me with. Do, do, do. But that also means that fighting them with wargs is a little less ideal, but it might be nice to put the wargs to use anyway. Nah, these are, these are tribals. I can gun them down with relative impunity. Right. Professor, you are not going to be getting involved in this at all. In fact, I might always keep a Professor on stay inside. Otherwise, I'm just going to constantly mess him up. Right. Mm, none of this is ideal. I guess I should be grateful that for Randy this was a relative low ball, but Randy can go plus or minus 50% on any of his raids. Approaching from multiple angles and attacking immediately. Where do I go for this? I could just go up north and shoot them to shreds. These other guys will take a wee bit of time to get up there. Uh, also, I've got to make sure those mechs are going to stay inside for this as well. Oh, they're taking a different route. Actually, they're going down. Hmm. 
Maybe I should leave this door open so that they start thinking this is a great place to go. Unfortunately, it's dark and snowing, so that's going to make things a little less good for us. Alright, Malay Airline, be our protective shield wall of people. Gunners, get behind them. Start gunning them down, because they're getting close. Damn imps are pretty damn fast. Hold on, it's not just imps. They got Yitkin with them as well. Ugh. So much species mixing. Never mentioned that I freaking love miniguns. Mmm. God, the damage that they do. Now they're going to shoot back, and those shots can really smart. So hopefully being behind the shield wall is going to be enough for us, but it might not. Plenty of ways these can go wrong. Then just straight up, spurred about shot right in the leg. Right in the right leg. And this is just one of the three of them. There's a whole bunch of other ones. Did they bring... Okay, I thought they brought, uh, brought boars with them, but no. And of course, them loving fire the way they do are bringing in uh, bringing in fiery buggers. I'm looking at this wondering if there's anybody worth psychically attacking, but I think they're exclusively using ranged weapons. Are you guys all the same? Bomber. I was hoping for more melee. And Trebs is a little low on juice, but uh, Nancy is not. How about this, Nance? You get right down there, and you give them what's for. And then you can just kind of go away because uh, you're shielded, so you should be okay. There we go, we're going to burn each other for a change. That's not that much of a change, but burn each other anyway. We're still getting shot, though. Smuggler is not appreciating it, so what I get for not spreading out. said for just... Oh, wow, how do they get fire over here? Oh, yeah, the fire arrows. That'll do it. No, they're not wanting to run out. Oh, God, they're... Oh, right, they're just using this for cover. It shouldn't be too bad, but maybe I shouldn't leave that thing open. Hmm? A little tempted to get over there and give them what's for. Hey, Trebs, could you skip Seru over and just massacre these people? Yeah, well, that, that's one way to do it. Some of them will get in and wreck the base, I reckon. Well, I certainly hope they don't. I'm hoping they would... Yeah, there we go. There's a bunch of them leaving. I gave myself fancy walls for a reason. Alright, you guys get out of there. And maybe let's uh, not hold this open anymore. Sarah, get back. And Trebs, 10 Smuggler, and then 10 Spurdo. This fight is far from over yet. Oh god, there are a hell of a lot of them coming my way. This won't be pleasant. And I'm kind of sitting here with no cover whatsoever. Well, we, we are each other's cover. There is that to consider. That might not be good. I suppose on the downside, they don't have cover either. This will help with the war. <laughs> the warg food. It certainly will. We'll try and get as many of these corpses dragged inside <laughs> as we can. Excuse me, I got the got the hiccups. Still large numbers of enemies. Do -do -do, do -do 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 -do. And all it takes is that one nasty shot to the brain, and it kills somebody. Which is always unpleasant to think about. Just wondering if there's anything I can do to help us out. There is there is an idea of chunk skipping. Get ourselves a bit of chunks just for cover. It's not the world's worst idea, actually. Wow. 
we we jumped over slag. Get on those bits and bobs getting healed up right. Not Nancy, but you guys can uh, go along here a bit. Maybe I don't know. However, just let me get a good eye on my. Uh, my gunners. Gunners could kindly get into position behind them. They're too far behind. Oh, hey, Polly Wallock. Just in time. We have a bit of a situation here. How much do you hate these guys? Actually, that's a good opportunity for us to fall back a bit towards them. They will help out. You don't, it's it's pretty hard to time the traders such that they actually help you with this, but here they are. None of them are notable chatters. The unfortunate thing is that any of their goods are going to be taken away from me when they when their animals flee. I'm not really sure I care about any of these things. Well, word of love is nice, and uh, well, I do love shock glances. Maybe we should get back regardless. Spurdo, are you healed up yet? That's good enough for me. Right. This being how it is, let's get across the water. Oh, oh no, they're trying to they're trying to gun down uh, they're trying to break down the doors. I'm not looking for you setting fire to my entire base. Damn it. That was not the plan. That's quite the opposite of the plan. Damn. Okay, well I guess I will have to I guess I will have to have my people here uh, after all. But yeah, those plastic steel doors ain't holding out forever. Not against all these guys breaking it down. I'm gonna get inside and start causing all sorts of fires. Thankfully, I have anti-fire technology, and I've got a second layer of walls I'd have to deal with. But that's still unpleasant for me. Get a little closer, everybody. Man, Sarah. Oh man, look at them all just set up, and begging to be uh, psychically blasted. Hey, Nancy, what do you think you can do to all that? I'm thinking lots. Hmm, that won't be quite so good. Can you get them like here? And some immunities, but that's okay. Back you go, go. Let that heat dissipate a bit. Oh man, yeah, that, that door is not lasting much longer. And I have a funny feeling my poor little bots are going to have an unpleasant time there. Maybe I should uh, migrate the bots over to Panic Zone, just in case. Yeah, all of them, even the cleaning bots. I don't think these poor buggers are going to last too long, but let's just not have that. Ah, oh, damn, I was a moment too late. Even so, though... Damn, right through the right through the torso for massive damage. Good job, Saru. Uh, the rest of you, though, like, come to your senses. No need to, no need to dance around just because you're actively on fire. Got yeah, still quite a lot of them down there. Zone the constructo bot to the tile so he can repair it. He wouldn't repair it fast enough, and they peeled away anyway, so that's convenient. Look at that, they're setting each other on fire, which is mega convenient. For heaven's sakes, Ivo, come to your senses and get back a bit. You're not that on fire. But yeah, those fiery attacks can really cause a doozy. Saru, why don't you just destroy them, right? I'm quite confident that you're going to make mince me to these poor people. Well, as far as we can call them people. Ah, oh, damn! Some of them, some of them cause them in grief from over there. You go and deal with that one, Jihan. Saru. No, no, no! It's not a time for missing Saru. It's certainly not a time for being smacked right back. Maybe Jihan can show you how it's done. See, there we go. Shank them. Also, they're freezing. They didn't come well equipped for this whatsoever. Sucks to be them, I guess. Say, hey, Nancy, take a step back. Tighter formation. That way, any of their missed shots can still uh, miss and hit us regardless. 
Also, I can feel the regret for not having given Seru a bit of drugs for this, but hey, drugs can't always be our answer. They can just very frequently be our answer. Ivor could always uh, pulse them as well. So I might send Ivor in to do exactly that, but is there any good pulsing opportunity around here? They're mostly kind of spread out. Which probably means it won't be long until they break, so that's quite convenient as well. But not liking these shots coming in from the side. Don't really want to peel off anybody uh, either, though. Tell you what, can someone like you get over here, and then we just brutalize you in Malay? Uh, the, angle, the angle's a touch awkward. Anyway, Saru, you just search and destroy from there. Same for you, Gian. Yeah, I'm not enjoying this. Also, I bet Sauce is coming along to uh, to fire spew us, so you two just take him out before he does. Oh, well, that works as well. Imps from Nietzsche are fleeing, no doubt because Saru just went and hacked someone else down. Missing a right foot caused Cabhachron to collapse. Yeah, oh, man, I really like the uh, the stronger use of very good swords. Hello, I believe I have multiple bingos. Am I late to the party? Very late. The bingo prizes have been claimed. Although, I'm not going to stop anybody from continuing to play along. There we go. They're all getting the heck out of here. And we shall enjoy what we deserve here. So who- oh no, not Hank Hill. I'm not sure I've got the heart to let Hank die. <laughs> it's a, a tube which carries sperm to the narrow urethra. Can be surgically reversed in most cases. Touché whoever put that detail in. Looks like Rainy is going to survive. McCaskey's getting out alive. Ziri in his prosthetic heart. Her prosthetic heart are getting out of here. RB Giant uh, is missing a leg. They might not make it out before they freeze to death on the way out. And uh, Lanker has problems, but will likely survive. Oh man, is it really just Hank Hill out of all of those who's going down? I feel bad for that. I gave him bad back too to represent his prosthetic bottom. Okay, right, down they go. Hey, Nancy, while we're here, do you mind getting a little bit of our trading groove on? The rest of us can just kind of gun these people down. Although, actually, maybe we should just go back home now. They're not hostile to us. Uh, Gian, you, you, can, you can stop now. They're already dead. Same with you. Hold on, I hear sounds of someone trying to break out of a place. How the heck did you get in there? Did one of the bots open that door for you? Anyway, Seru, I hear you frequently lust for blood, so you go and kill them. Unless somebody really wants me to kill any of these people. I mean, I feel like Lankerson has survived a little bit too much. Nah, nah. Give them, give them their fair dues. Now, you got anything for me? I could certainly sell off a bunch of these puppies if I think I have too many. Does it show how trained they are? I guess T3 means the training level. I was hoping I could get rid of some of the ones that haven't been trained at all, but maybe not. Uh, you have components and advanced components. I would like both. You have... Susceptible. Oh, weak immunity but robust. Well, I've already got robust. Dark vision's cool, but I think the gene game for us is largely over. Nuclear stomach is amazing, but I think I'm just taking that lance. Why do I have a spare mega screen television? And a spare telescope. I'm going to pick those up. I think it's when I betrayed E10 if I have to... Uh... If I had to guess, I'll keep the jade sculptures. I like my sculptures. And otherwise, any excuse to sell delicious packaged meals, I will take. Golly good. It's 
for our mechs, they can get back to doing whatever they want. And Barracks and Mate, you're the two closest ones, go and kill Ditch. Lady Sarah, you, you don't need to worry about killing anyone, just take, take a drink if you- Oh, good lord! Well, Berrickson, I guess this is why we keep you around, despite your many, many problems. You pick up that short bow and then just ditch it. Also, what the heck? Oh, okay. I thought that was uh, something bad happening. And there's someone else still in here. Tian, put them out of their misery. We've got some doors to repair after this, it seems. On top of that, there's going to be a lot of corpses I want to pick up, but it's freezing, so I'm not in a hurry to do so. Alright, Jian showed Longsword Supremacy. 30 damage and one staff, slicing their leg clean off. And then taking out the other foot. So they cannot move at all, they're just kind of sitting there. Misandrous Jogger. Jogger makes them good for being a slave, but we're not going with that. And again, even though we see some people that it would be great, look at this. Tough, ooh, hypersensitive uh, psychic. Now that's amazing for a sidecaster, but yeah, we're not we're not interested in bringing in yet more people. I am, however, interested in some of their goods. And it's still gently snowing, so the fire should be put out. So I don't need to worry about them burning up. Take the pemmican, of course. Take their corpses, even. Of course, sir. Not much of a jogger missing one leg and the other foot. <laughs> the pain. The stumpy pain. But there we go. Randy doesn't have it in him anymore. After exceeding the wealth cap and becoming all that stronger, we need not fear such trivial attacks. Of course, you know, early on that would be very threatening. And yeah, Randy can still send very threatening things at me, but I feel I feel in a good place. So what do we get? We got burnt, we got burnt, we got shot, we got sh Stands to reason that the gunners will take damage from being shot because they don't have the the shields. You cannot wear one of these fancy shield belts if you're a gunner. Because all of your shots are going to... I'm not even sure if it can be done, but the shots won't land. The shield belt works on the bullets that you're firing as well, and it does not work to our advantage. We did shoot out a fair bit of our own walls due to just bullets that failed to collide, but that's exactly why I use good walls like granite and plasteel. Not everywhere, though. We should add a bit of extra layering to this. certainly make me feel better about the situation. Just down here, didn't I clear all this away? Well, if nothing else, I know I can put a good wall here. Although not here for some reason. I thought I cleared that bit out, but do something like that instead. I just don't want any wooden outer bits of the- Oh god, what? My deep drills! How did the fire spread that much? How did the fire get there to begin with? Did this get hit by a flash storm hit? Right, surely someone is there to put the fire out. Err... Uh, Berrickson, Matty Mayo, could you please get over there on the double? I don't think the deep drill's gonna make it though. Certainly one of them went kaput. Mm, it is possible that the radiator the raiders started a fire there. The deep drills, those things are expensive. Ooh, okay, well, they survived at least. How uncouth. Didn't you mean to make your thermal all around accessible at some point? Even my geothermal generator? Uh, no, I decided against that because 
It's quite a bit of extra room to expand it out by one. It messes up all sorts of things. So no, just leave it there. Besides, I've already double walled it off here. If anybody gets through all that to set fire to my geothermal, they deserve to set it on fire. And unlike back then, I'm not so dependent on this power. I have a lot of other sources of power now. 11 chem fuel generators scattered around. Loads of unstable power cells. I actually had a nightmare about these things exploding. So much so when I loaded up the game and saw that they were still there, it was a big sigh of relief for me. And he just ain't got it in. <laughs> wealth reduction, yeah, that's long since stopped being an issue. We would have to reduce our wealth so extremely. We'd have to lose 50% of our stuff just to make a difference. And at this point, it's better just to gain more wealth to have more things to throw at the enemy. More colonists, absolutely, but also more, more things to utilize, like yeah, more rocket launchers, more traps. Although, I don't like playing with traps at this level. Still waiting on those traders coming though, but... Looks like the Psy focus is in a relatively good place. If Trebs can just finish up his, we'll really start thinking about our next raid. And our next raid will most likely be on... Ergo. So perhaps we should call in Ergo for one trade. Hmm. Not so sure about that, they'd take forever to arrive. The gentle Ergo people, yeah, we'll see how, just how gentle they are under a hail of miniguns. I'm still bothered by my lack of ability to, um, to take the Empire Uber service. I need the Honor Trader to get our Honor back up, and we can get it up quite a lot. In fact, thinking about honor makes me think I should go out and get some more, well, gold for honor. So why don't we send out Ivor and Seru, and they're going to go and take out some of this. It's very quick and easy to do. Oh, there's not even a threat there. Even so, the one that's at the far western point of the boreal, that's where we're going. Ivor, Seru. It's probably woke Seru up. Why are you so slow, Seru? Oh yeah, the sunlight. You hate sunlight. Well, why don't you just chug some go juice? That'll cheer you right up and speed you right up. Should remember that I did give her go juice dependency, so that's kind of good. And then off you trot. Right in the center, we have no fear. Someone died this stream. Nobody has died in our group in the entire campaign, and they're certainly not dying today. Well, they could, but they haven't died yet. I suppose that's a bit of a spoiler for the whole campaign, but whatever, we're at the end here. I do expect this to be the end. Get to work, Seru, Ivor, stand watch. She hates the sunlight. It burns my eyes, and my skin feels like it's being scorched, but in a weird oversight, it doesn't actually cause pain. It even, in the description, says that it causes pain. Can you allow chocolate in the meal plan? You've had those for like 10 streams and you did nothing with them. So the, the chocolate is there so that I can give people recreation if they're in desperate need of it. It's not meant to be part of their regular meal plan. Uh, but also, you don't generally give chocolate as a meal plan. You have it as a recreation thing that they can... Uh, they will eat it for recreation if they want to. But that's a bad move. You should, generally speaking, not use limited items for recreation. You should use permanently installed things like your television, your telescope, letting people sit down and chat with each other. So whilst it might seem like a nice thing to do, we're not about nice things around here, right? Skippity skip, Ivor. Good job. Ditch the gold, and you're going to ditch your... You're going to ditch your medicine, aren't you? So weird. Why do they do that? They drop their medicine... And then they grab their medicine, because they're like, ooh, I need medicine. I think it's an oversight. I'm not even convinced it's a, a mod bug. I think it's just a bug bug. So let's take Ivor, for example, and his needs for recreation. 
So you'd want to give Ivor at least six types of recreation because his tolerance draws by si uh, seven per day. And he has access to solitary, social, dexterity, telescope, music, cerebral, television, chemical, and food. That's that's nine. But if we don't give him food or chemical uh, um, consumption, that still gives him seven. So he's got plenty to keep him happy in recreation without having to use uh, use goods that we have to produce. That is to say, our drugs and our chocolate. So yeah, that chocolate is there for if I let's say I have a teetotal guest or even a teetotal guy in my colony. Whose recreation is low, and I'm thinking, oh, I really need to deal with this mood. Then I just tell them, eat some chocolate, you fat bastard. Piggy need another diet bar. So Smuggler tastes my insults and tastes the rainbow too. And by eating the chocolate, it gives it gives uh, nutrition, but that's not really the point of it. The point of it is to boost that recreation. Boom, that was not much at all. I think he would have eaten more if he was hungrier. We're going to have some corn die away in storage, but not a lot of it, so I'm not too uh, concerned about it. Like you'd take a teetotaler. Like I'd take a teetotaler ever. Smuggler is so lucky to be alive. Of all the colonists I've had, I've wanted him dead the most. It's kind of a little disgusting that he is still alive, but I can't deny he had two major strengths. He was a good shot, and he was good with plants. And I do a lot of planting and a hell of a lot of shooting. The thing is, he's not a quick shot like Ferdinand. I love Trigger Happy. I would even take a wimp with Trigger Happy. I just love this for combat. Pretty much doubles his uh, his DPS output. Not quite due to warm-up time and a few more misses, but it may as well be. So despite uh, Ferdinand being a bit of a fanboy of the group... I mean, look at that ridiculous hair. Anyway, he's, um, he's still a valued member because he knows where to point his gun and how to shoot it quickly. And isn't that what we're all asking in our own lives? I brought those enemies that attacked us. That wasn't a huge amount of corpses, but we'll process them eventually. I mean, look at the, the wargs are just guzzling their way through that meat. We're already down to 1600. Our people will be unhappy at our processing corpses, but too bad for them. Do I still keep tainted clothes out here? I think I do. It says don't allow tainted, what? Oh, I guess this is overflow for actual real apparel, which means I do need a place to, steer, uh, to store tainted clothes. I can just shove them out here. Get rid of them eventually. Dumping stockpile, there we go. Don't take anything except for... Where is it? Apparel that is not clean. I only have it in normal though because there are some tainted apparel that are worth keeping. For example, this tainted marine armor. I'm just wondering when I'll start processing corpses. Probably once our meat reserves run way low. Like below 500 or so, but that's not far away. It's easily done. Dora, I need you to finish the... Uh... Finish the shield belt, please. I love shield belts, and they love me. Can't go wrong with low shield pack, it's too damn good. We've got the components. The reason we need all these advanced components are for all these crowd sleep sleeping caskets. And they drink their way through them. I never imagined the need for advanced components was so high. But suppose, there, there's no need to actually put in one of these for everybody. Oh, no, no, don't fight Ive. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Ivor just cleaned your clocks Sia. What did you do to cause that? Ivor disrespected Sia's muscles. This drove Sia into a rage. All you short-lived species. You've got pathetic muscle mass. Thanks, Ivor. Aren't you, aren't you going to clean that up? Do you even know pain, slowy downy? I ah, see so you've got you've got pain block. There you go. Up and at him, see ya. It's that easy. Uh, how about you pick all of these up because they're yours anyway? Well, I guess that's one upside to having wimps. They won't social fight to the death. However, I have a oh. 
Perhaps I was a little swift to bad mouth. Rand, what? Why are you landing inside my base? That is not kosher. I have never seen that before. Oh, this one's going to go off immediately. How is this legal? Hey, look at all of this space that you could land your mech cluster in. And you land it inside my base. The, the mech clusters are really liked this area. They keep spawning there. Right, uh, okay, so Randy ain't messing around. He must know we're towards the end game. Right, I need all hands on deck when these guys are going to insta aggro on me. I might actually want some instant help with this one. Who are you guys? Ugh, it's Pollywallop, so I can't actually call any allies in because Pollywallop picked fights with everybody. Okay. Uh, mechs, get in the panic zone. Mm, that, that may be a bit intense. Just stay inside the cleaning area, actually. Oh, boy. I mean, this is essentially a drop pod raid, except it doesn't have the reduced wealth of a drop pod raid. Normally, drop pod raids come in smaller amounts because, hey, it's a drop pod. It's really fierce, but... No, that's not the case here. Alright. Keep it slow. At least I have some bullet sponges to- oh, yeah, uh, yes, yeah, yep, yeah, yep! Yeah. Centipede burner inside my base, and he's aiming straight at my mortar. And my vast collection of granite small shells. All right, Lifter, you're just gonna have to take the heat. Oh, crap, you can't actually go anywhere useful. All right, how about you just stand there and take it? I just don't want you leading that shot over here. What else is coming here? Okay, just a, a bit of steel barricade that they've dropped inside here. Oh my god, seven unstable power cells. Uh, tesserons as well. I hate tesserons. They cut right through your low shields like they're not even there. Mmm, well, oh, <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> you went through my roof. To drop a turret and two shield packs. Oof, including a very ill-placed low shield pack. Inside my mining room. This would actually be better for me if we just detonated all of the unstable power cells and took them out. Right, Randy is just... He's having it. Good thing it's snowing, but I don't think it's going to snow enough to to put all this stuff out. You're a problem, Scyther, and my poor lifter's going to have a bad day. Can the two of you, like, get back here? Oh no, look at the position of these things. Um, The position of everything here is a royal pain in the bum. He heard it was the last stream he got up off of his sofa. <laughs> Maybe you can just, like, shoot from there. You can shoot from there, and we can just keep this door open and blast in, but they could explode my chem fuel generator. I need Ivor in here personally attacking that centipede. Oh, boy. Hmm, low shield pack. Oh, that's because Aether is carrying the low shield pack, I believe. Just, just drop that there, it's not doing anyone any good. Okay, well, because this has been activated, all of the mech pod drop beacons have activated, and that's going to call in yet more reinforcements, one of which is directly dropping inside my base. Okay, well, at least we shot one Scyther one time. Off to a flying start. Please don't be a Tesseron. Can't handle that. Do not shoot Altar. Altar will not appreciate that. Altar, take a step back before you eat any of these bullets. Ivor, you are going to have to single-handedly take out that uh, centipede burner, but that's what you're there for. Well, maybe not single-handedly. Barrickson is here to help. Spurdo, you are going to pop in here. Oh, bollocks. Oh, bollocks. Um...
the send speed over there so that Beriksen can engage with it quicker. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, there we go. Beriksen. Smash that send speed to bits. Spurdo. Stand here and make informed life decisions. You two eliminate that. Altar, you also. Well, you're in a good place to, to shoot the. Um, that big old centipede. All of this is a big problem for me. Of course, the polywaffles are just falling immediately. Oops. Those mech shields could be exploited, methinks. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the mechs themselves don't get blocked by the mech low shield. I've seen them just blast right through it. But I could be wrong about that, but I just don't think I am. Unless you're saying that I could keep the low shield, but low shield turns itself off once you defeat the cluster. Which might mean, hey, maybe some of them you don't destroy, but I'd rather destroy them than have more lancers, pikes, scythers, and pikes come my way. Right, so still not looking ideal. Hey, lifter is holding out to a degree. Seru, destroy. Alex, hold. What was that hissing noise? What's hissing? Any bright spark able to locate a hissing item? I think it's the Inferno turret? No? Ooh, oh, someone was clever enough to bring grenades, so that's good, but oh, something's here. Ah, some frag grenades took damage and will now explode. Well, that's probably going to be my fault when it kills these two. Because the game loves to assign fault like that. Matty, go and uh, destroy this. Spurdo, you get over here, actually. Your position out there is too, uh, too at risk of unfriendly fire. Nice shooting there, Lou. Ivor's holding out quite nicely. Inferno cannon bruises to the torso, mean little to Ivor. Glad I built all this wall now. There's a flame turret neatly inside that won't bother anyone. Oh crikey, I must have missed this toxic spewer that they landed adjacent to my freaking base. So on top of everything, we're now enjoying some toxic buildup. So this has got to all go right now. Jeez, this went from zero to a hundred in a snap of a finger here. I'm glad I doubled this up with granite. However, that's a bit of fire on my wooden wall. I don't mean the fun kind of wooden wall. Alright, Nance, I know you're here. Um, oh, poor Professor! Professor, could you stay inside the cleaning area, perhaps? Uh, that might stop you from running into things you don't want to see or hear. Right, Trebs, you're already here. Just go and aid with the beating up of this thing. Why is our component just lying there? Whoa, nice stab, Ivor. Take it out, take it out for good. Nancy, you go and assist Ivor in beating that thing up. How is this Scyther still going? I gotta hand it to Seru, engaging the Scyther in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Not an advisable thing, but the uh, it's really beaten up, so it probably won't last much longer. Just like my, ah, uh, there we go. Right, Seru, destroy the centipede. Pandy smuggler. Move forward, Altar, move forward. I mean, this is just the opening. We got a whole lot more to deal with here. Hey, Nancy, you can hit through this, can't you? Do you think you could get them? No, oh, no, that's, that's not worth it. You've missed your opportunity. Or have you? You can still get a couple of them out. Go for it, Nance. Go, 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 go. Okay, good, good. We got two of them. So these two will now be attacking the other. As long as the Tesserons go, that's good for me, because I hate Tesserons. That's not the only reason, but I do hate Tesserons. Good job, Lifter. I get back to lifting. Alright, so that's down. Uh, hurrah. We took out, like, three monsters out of more. Is anybody seriously injured from that? 
Sia, your psychic anesthetic is going to end real soon. But you're not Goju's thingamajiggered. So... I'm going to have you drink some psychic tea and then drink a beer. We'll see if you're uh, still going to be able to function with that. I don't want you down because I don't want my mechs to cease functioning just because of this. Ivor took a little bit of a bruising, so did Tribliard, nothing serious. Well, actually, that was a big bruise, but okay. Mm. Ivor juice up. Andy's actually a baseliner, and Professor's still f uh, cowering. How cute. Right, the rest of you. Whoa, what happened to Altar? Oh yeah, he was shot several times. Uh, Trebliard, could you please attend to Altar right now? Mm, no, I don't think we're all the goings on there. Nancy, you got another one in you? Spurdo, take a step back. You don't want any of this. I can't believe that fire is still spreading and doing this stuff in. Um... Spurdo, handle that fire before it becomes a real problem. Could easily spread from there, especially towards my beloved mortars. Others are getting tended to. Others get into position. We're going to jump out here and give them what's for, except... They got quite a few sluggers, but the combat here took out, mm, if there was any, most of the turrets. I should be grateful that this one is indoors. This one I'm less grateful for. There's a fun kind of wooden wall. I was thinking about ships. Why would I not? I am concerned about that Inferno turret. It's completely fireproof. It's, it's taking no damage from the... Uh, well, I assume it's taking no damage from the fire. It would be nice if it took some crossfire here, but those shots aren't going to miss it. Fortunately, the um, they're all concentrated here, so I can actually smash them with... Uh, oh, God, Ivor. Uh, did you already take your go juice? Take another go juice. Oh, he doesn't have another go juice. Nancy, you have go juice. Shame I can't tell you to drop just one, but Ivor, go and inject one more bit of go juice. There we go. Now Ivor is able to do uh, fancy dance stuff like more psychically buggering up our opponents, which is what I need done. There's a lot I don't want to do here. Like, these unstable power cells could blow up and cause massive damage to us. These mini sluggers can still do some decent damage. This thing can do some decent damage and make us scatter through the fire. And there's still a Tesseron alive there, I think. I don't see him, but I'm assuming he's there he is. Still one Tesseron. Does the Toxic Spear block? I don't know, maybe. Maybe we can get around the back of the Toxic Spewer. The angle on everything here is very awkward. Oh, good job, Spurdo, that's down. I think the first thing I have to do is get my Malayers out there Malaying. If we tear down this and this, and then just generally take a step back, we should be okay-ish. But I'm not happy about that Inferno turret. Take a different door. They should go into the open door. Oh, you mean open this so that they're tempted to come down this way. It's not unthinkable. And also, Spurdo's got the Shock Lance, but I'm thinking more Insanity Lance. Andy doesn't have a lance at all. Oh man, rookie hour. Rookie mistake. Always carry your lances. Oh, that's right, we just got back from the other fight and I didn't tool people up. Which means he might not be the only one out of a lance. This is in the way, though. Hmm. If I just went in and psychoed these people, they should fight each other for a good bit. I might send all of our Malayers out regardless. Just get your asses out there. The gunners can follow when the coast is a little clearer. Poppity poppity pop. Uh, Ivor, you're right there, and that's pretty much a perfect location for a uh, pulse. No, they're moving. That's not what I wanted. Shoot there. 
Ew, don't, don't shoot our own people, we don't like that. Right, they should be dealing with themselves for a wee bit right now. You two go and deal with that slugger turret. Uh, a couple of you guys deal with this one. The toxic Spewer is not a priority, much as I wish it was. You go and take out that mini slugger, let's just stop getting shot so much. For the love of god, could you guys not open fire into our own people? I'm worried about this thing hitting us. I don't want to be caught on fire, but it could easily happen. Uh, Ivor, what are you? Oh yeah, getting over there. Mm. Could still have plenty of problems associated with it. Yeah, especially when that shield belt isn't going to hold. Hmm. Well, oh god, this could cause a very big chain reaction of explosions. Get back. So you guys were clever. You you didn't you didn't have that problem. Don't want this thing gone though. Oh no! Oh crap! I forgot about the tesseron. I hit Ivor bad. For some reason I can't spot Ivor from there. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! This is about to go bad, Ivor. Could you kindly not be where you are right now? Also, what's Gian just doing around there? <laughs> there we go. Ivor, get out. Gian, this could be grim. Maybe I could skip Gian out as well. Trebs, you got the view on Gian? Far from it. Alright, take a step back, everybody. It's needed because this is about to go big. Gian, would you stop doing nothing and start doing something? Extinguish Ivor. Extinguish Ivor. I don't know if multiple people can do that. God, Gian is not having a fun time out there. Right, get out of there. What's still hitting us then? Where did that fire come from? Oh, we just unloaded, uh, unlocked the Inferno turret. That's pretty grim, though. Could we all, like, take a step back then? Including Trebs. Verily including Trebs. There we go. The rest of you just get up there. Big explosion is still to come. Oh, boy! Oh, 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 oh god, I'm glad we moved out of that. That would have been the end of Gian. Unfortunately, it's the end of all those unstable power cells. It's a big roll of the dice whether or not you get them in a situation like this, because uh, you never know if the turrets are going to explode or not. I have not found a way to always make sure that they don't. Also, shout out to my very uh, big brain decision to have all this wall be plasteel. Means no fire came through and the wall is still holding. Now, uh, Gian took a hell of a beating there and is still not feeling so great. Bet he'd feel a lot better if he took his go juice. Yum, yum, yum. Crack open a uh, cold tinny of that. Did the Tesseron survive? Now they're both dead. Excellent. Well, that takes a load off my mind. Shouldn't be many of them left now then. Huh, why does that look like a longer list than I am expecting? Probably just all bunched up here or something. Um, right, not to worry too much. Enjoy your drink, Gian. Good. I think still able to hit us from all the way over there. Unpleasant. Hey, Gian, now that you're uh, feeling a whole lot better, why don't you go around the back and shank this thing? Yeah, the no shield belt is a pretty strong argument against that. I bet Saru would like to do that. Probably I could just stop horsing around. How about we just get indoors for a wee bit, right? That sounds good for everybody. Get our shield belts back and... Oh god, they're still coming. We'll kill each other instead. Still a little bit of wooden wall there, which is unpleasant, but all of this is holding, which is very pleasant. Ooh. 
Ferdinand is not enjoying any of this. Go and drink a beer, that'll make you happier. Alright, good, they're busy killing each other. But there's more killing of each other than I'm sure they could do. And Trevenard's in a lot of pain, which is going to make this easier for him. Oh, I think I neglected the fact that this thing could still hit us from a country mile away. How about you go invisible for a bit? That'll make this easier. Phew! Imperial trade? Huh, you might arrive just in time to help me out here. Being anything of immediate value on you. Psy enhanced, though. Mm, that is good. Psy sensitive. But again, we're out of that game. They're just not selling me mono swords. Or persona weapons. Is that too much to ask? Well, perhaps it is. Um, you're a little slow there. Could you take your go juice, Trebliard? There we go. I think we just brought in the ire of our... Uh, or rather, they're eating the ire of our friends. There we go. Don't let them hurt each other. Still a lot of them, though, isn't there? Trebs away from all that. Actually, Trebs could melee this thing with impunity. Let's go and bring in some other people that are... maybe not GN. Other people that can still get meleeing for fun and profit. We're too far away. That thing shouldn't be much of a threat to us. What's that explosion? It's just more grenades, I think. Come quickly, my friends! There's no good way for you guys to jump out up there. I think the best bet for you guys is to head over here as well. And then I'm going to have you shoot down and take out the Toxic Spewer. I hate that thing. I hate the mess it left on the carpet, too. Mm. What actually did just shoot us there? Was it you? I don't think you had the angle on us. I'm going to move over here and see if I can't do a bit of size skipping to bring our foes over here a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, still a whole bunch of the centipede gunners doing us, uh, doing us dirty. Oh, God, doing Berenson dirty. Not only that, oh, yeah, they got charge lances going as well. Not pleasant, that. And I'm a little low on skip power, but we'll make do with what we have. Get over here. Okay, that's you dead, but my God, Berenson is having a bad time over there. Even still shoot us. Oh wow, you have range on us from there? Okay, get the heck out of that thing's range. And whilst it might seem suicidal, let's also bring the Scorcher over. And then smack Oh god! These poor guys are gonna get shot at worse than I'd imagined. Perhaps coming out here was not the brightest idea I've ever had. Hmm. I mean, it seemed like a good idea. They are not going to enjoy all the burning that's going on here. Or all the shooting and everything. Hey Nancy, you got any skips in you for this? Oh geez, we are we are sitting ducks over there, that's not good. I think I underestimated the amount of mechs that were still here, even though I just looked at all the numbers. God's sake, guys, get out of there. Low shield pack, Captain. We don't have any low shield packs on them. Low shield packs are all in the minigunners who are not in position right now. However, we do have skip shield. There we go. That should keep them a little bit safer for a wee while. Get back while the going is good. Don't let those cloy guys get you. Skip shield is a pretty good idea, actually. There we go. Right. Mm, 
there's a lot of problems associated with this, but just generally get back. And let's get some of our gunners along here to help out if they can. I think they're aiming for Nancy. Which isn't too bad, because they're barely going to hit Nancy, and Nancy's got her shield belt on. Which gives us an opportunity to gun these buggers down. While well, they're going is good, and they're going is not good. Problem is, they're quite liable to catch up with these folks, and some of them are messed up. That's okay, we planned for that. Despite the existence of wooden wall there. Nancy doesn't feel too good, though. They okay, query the second traders, they're still a mile away. It's going to take them a while to get here. If I had a royal in here, I could actually call a royal back up. I don't need it at this point, it should be fine. But boy, I feel bad for these people. It's a shame that skip shield barely lasts for any time at all. But these guys are a little separated, it shouldn't be too hard to just take out. Although nobody really has the, you know, no one's got shot on them anymore at all. I've distracted these guys long enough though. But we could probably just take a step back and be okay. How are these guys going to feel? Again, pretty burned, pretty messed up. And I got two, three flambe machines on their way. That's okay, we, we have ways to deal with that. Get them lined up, and then skip them in one at a time and just destroy them. Although we are pretty tired, we can get that done. Splat! Another one. Splat. Is it dead? Uh, they all look pretty dead. I don't have it in me for another one, but maybe Ivor does. It's these guys that I don't want engaging me, because they, they will they will flambe me, and then I will have a very hard time. Because we'll all be running around like constipated wiener dogs. Ferdinand, why are you still unhappy? Lady Saru, why are you unhappy at all? Drink a beer. Right now is definitely a beer time, I would say. While we're at it, Barrington, you've annoyed me constantly. Go and take out that Scyther in man-to-man -man combat. And Matty Mayo can back you up. And Ivor can also back you up, but you're going in first. There we go, that's good, because you managed to dodge its very powerful first attack. And after that, it's just going to be so messed up, I doubt it has any more attacks to come. Ooh, boy, do we still have shield belts up here? Berrickson doesn't. What's even still shooting us? Oh, crumbs. The incredibly hyper-accurate over-long-distance pikemen. And there's still a freaking ton of centipedes. Jesus. And, of course, I still don't have those lances. Andy, why don't you very quickly go and grab an insanity lance? You're feeling fine, so just go and force equip that. And then come back here. We'll put that lance to good use. Sia, what kind of lance do you have, if any? You have an insanity lance with two charges. In that case, you get over here right now, because we can put you to immediate use. Uh, just don't collapse from, uh, from pain, because that was suck for you. Uh, I hope that wasn't Ivor getting shot for 39. I think it was the Scyther getting injured for 39. There we go, you're bruised by the needle gun. Uh, right, in that case, all of you get behind here, so they don't have a clean shot on you anymore. Jeez, look at those shots coming in, though. Uh, we're going to silence the least injured centipedes. They all got pretty messed up from the, um, from the large explosion of the unstable power cells. But there's still stuff that can be done here, especially if Sia pops out for a moment. Probably better that Nancy. Let's see. 
Nancy takes the door away, Sia stands behind. That way at least we have a shielded person uh, somewhat getting in the way. And then Psycho Lance, that centipede, because it's the least messed up. And hopefully they go for you. I am somewhat tempted to Psycho Lance another one, like you. So I will. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, that's not what I wanted. Anyway, get back. Nancy, get back. And hope to God this uh, incoming fire thing misses. Well, it did, kind of. Good miss. Get back. I want to be shot by this. What was that? Do -do -do -do. It's probably fire, right? Yeah, I'm sure we're fine. All right, good job, see ya. You can head back for a bit. Still making more shots here than I'd like, though. All right, now they're going to shoot each other for a bit, unless this shot comes in. Okay, now the door's closed. Oh, hey, who are these guys? Oh, E10 came along, and they brought Ziri. And Lanker is back again. Putting on a lot of different hats today, aren't we? Right. Wake up dependent. That's kind of cool, actually. But again, we're out of the jeans game by now. Word of Serenity, Skip Shield. You have a lot of things I like, but Nancy ain't around to trade right now. You'll probably get, in, uh, get involved with, uh, with this fighting, but your pack animals are almost certainly going to leg it. Well, if nothing else, you take a few bullets that were otherwise destined for me. You know what, Nancy? I think we should have a go at shooting out there again. Good shooting. Gian still doesn't feel so good. Hey, Sia, you're. Oh, you are. You are messed up. Bring in the pain. Who, who out of you has the best trading, anyway? Do any of you have any social. Actually, Trebly Yard ain't bad. Hey, Trebs, you want to have a quick trade? See if we can't. Drop off a few items before this all goes to hell. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You know, I could bring you in here, and then Gian could melee attack you, and the rest of us could gun you down. That door is being excellent for us. Right, I don't particularly want your muffalos. They're just going to get shot to shreds right now. I do want your components and advanced components. Yeah, that wake up dependent is so cool, but no. I like Word of Serenity. And I really like Skip Shield. Give me both of those. And whilst I might like shop lances, I have a ton of them, and I have a real lance problem. And I don't really have anything to sell you, but that's fine. Silver galore. You never know, that silver carrying uh, muffalo might face some nasty, <laughs> nasty crossfire. So, units engaged in melee cannot shoot. So it's the single best way to take out centipedes. Engage them, even just one person in melee, although they can hit surprisingly hard. Yeah, there we go. There's one fewer to worry about. The ones remaining are berserk, and there's not too many left to have to worry about. I can actually do this again if Nancy has another skip in her. I think she does. I really like that blaster one away. The blasters are a pain in the butt to deal with. Set to be gunner, set to be blaster. I think I can. Just bring you on. Maybe. No, I don't think I can bring you in here. What about that centipede gunner? I could probably bring them in. If I just had slightly more range. Go for it, Nance. 
Mm, still no. Range continue to be an issue. Well, just keep the door open for the rest of us. We certainly have a lot of bullets flying out there. Just love miniguns. And there's a lot to love about them. Uh, how about we stop Berrickson from bleeding all over the place? Trebs, go and tend them. A lot of those burns should uh, heal up pretty quickly, although they might get infected. Last stream, I do intend this to be the last session of this entire run. Ooh, well, haven't I glad I... Oh. Haven't <laughs> I glad I built in a redundancy on my power line? But they both got blown up. So, that's a shame. Also, this thing is still here. I could take care of that and that. This can be demolished to get myself another low shield. So as long as nobody gets horribly maimed, that's actually a net positive for us. I should rather focus down one of these. Could I at least do that? And then tell all of you to attack that thing? Ooh, ooh, not happy with that though. They're getting shots in on here. Smuggler just uh, ate around. Spurdo just ate around. What am I meant to do? Smoke drop us here or skip you guys away? Actually, what I could do is just bring you right over to your fr new friends up there. Ali not enjoying being shot either, but that's okay. This is why we have defense. Get rid of the last of them up there with our new friends. Tonk, tonk, tonk. rat ta 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 You know, centipedes are intimidating, annoying, a lot of things, but I really enjoy fighting them. Just big, tanky, scary units, and you just get to unload on them as well. Which is great if you're in a position to do so, far less so if you're not. Right, let's not invoke the ire of those, um... Of those, what are they called again? Pikemen. Pikemen are a royal pain. And you guys... Search and destroy. Oh god, Ziri, oh... So many people died. I thought you might be someone that manages to outlive them, but now, well, including you going down, only 19 remain. I'm not picking you up. That's not how this operates. RB Giant and McCaskey are still out there. Maybe running into this wasn't a great idea. Berrickson is certainly not enjoying it. Come on, how do you miss these things? I don't think Trebs even gets the award for that. Maybe, maybe. What caused you to go? The centipede gunner shut down after Tribbliard bashed it. Well, good job. That's a crappy weapon. It's worse than a stick. Oh, God, I love Ivor. Divided its right leg into neat pieces. How cute. Right, we've got a lot of pain going on here, and Sia is probably not feeling so great at all. Trebs would still function pretty well as our doctor, if everyone can get back in, happy as can be. But there are still some melee-related jobs that need done, so the melee-related people are out doing it. I do worry a little bit about running through all these attacks with my people when my allies could do it for me, but my allies would probably fail at it, so let's just get you over here and ruin your day right now. Trebs, uh shield has gone, so it's a very bad idea for Trebs to be right here right now, so he won't! Goodbye! Trebliard, like everyone's sane, is going to be on stay inside right now. So the professor, he... yeah, whatever. 
Um, like Trebs, if you could just like move in and not get shot. I don't really think I need the gunners right now. At least not the injured gunners. They can they can take five. And the stuff. But you guys go away. Nancy, I still want you around for psychic powers. And I want you guys to destroy that toxic spewer. Is now really the time? Well, now is the time. Let's go. What's that hissing noise? What was that? Did something blow up here? the world. Ah, yes, my friends. My friends will take care of the uh, the turrets. That's cool. That'd be even cooler if they drop one of their awesome items. That's a non-bio-coated plasma sword. Although I'm not the world's biggest fan of plasma swords. Freebie is still a freebie. Will you do a fourth bingo for someone that's 100% full cut? No, absolutely not. I do not make the rules just to amend the rules. Huh. These guys didn't choose to engage the uh, the last... The last turret, which is a shame for me. There we go. As we all know, the safest place to be around a pikeman is touching it. Now, eliminate the toxic spewer. I don't, I don't want to deal with any of that. Hey, Ivor. Lady Saru wants to destroy that thing personally. Get to it, lady. Also, don't don't have it hiss and blow up. I really wouldn't like that. And you guys, take care of that spewer. All gone. Finally, a toxic spewer goes. Nancy. Oh, no, 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 no. Imperials, don't leave. You just arrived. I want to trade with you. Hopefully, they leave via the north. Lucky me if I can. There we go. Holy moly, that was the cruelest mech drop, uh, mech cluster I've ever had. I didn't even know they could do that. I thought they very specifically did not drop on your actual base. But one dropping inside of me? That was cruel. But, look on the bright side. We gained ourselves a low shield pack. A lump sum of plasteel, which I don't need, and a bunch of slag, which I don't need. A lot of things I don't need. And a, a lot of what I got into that was just unnecessaries. But I'll still take it. And look at the bright side. If you wanted Zeri dead, Zeri is very dead. Eat end people fine with mechs, but not the cold. Oh. It's the uh, the Imperials who are leaving because of the cold. And I think Nancy could just catch up with them, but their pack animals are about to leave anyway, so uh, too bad. Well, I should, I should look on the bright side, right? We survived that. Could have very easily had some real difficulties with that. Uh, they could have blown up all of my high explosive shells out here, which I thought were pretty safe where they are, but uh, maybe with this in mind I'll move them in, don't work. Uh, well, at the very least, next to the fire foam popper. It's not that far to go to grab another shell from there. There's a second group to trade with, you might want to squeeze them in before they leave too. You mean E10? Oh, they're already going. Everybody's going. Why don't they like me? Nobody likes me! Oh! Oh! Oh, Theodore. Okay, I thought it was someone else. I don't really have the time for this game. Especially if niche are coming. I'll probably deal with it anyway. I want that 10 honor. Honestly, I want honor for the professor. But let, let's just call Canny. Let's rig back up our power. Let's clean up this mess. And let's pat ourselves on the back for a quite the quite the crisis, and that really was a crisis, taken care of with very minimal losses. Uh, Ferdinand has decided to binge on psychite because he was ravenously hungry. I told you to have a beer, and you did have a beer. Um, oh, stop trying to put the moves on. 
Binging on Psycat could be pretty bad. Look like he's binging on that. Looks like he's binging on actual real food. I could knock you out with Word of Serenity. You need 50% Psy focus for that. Hey, Nancy, you got a Word of Serenity on you? Trebs? Trebs, go on, go on, go on. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. We all don't have that. Hey, Ivor. You know, what's the worst that could happen? Well, the worst that could happen is they overdose and die on Psychite, but if they just take a few cups of tea, they'll be fine. Although they do not have any kind of, um, of hard drug alleviation there. Oh, Ivor's already gone. Right, tell you what, Trebs, you pump some go juice into your body right now, and word of serenity, Ferdinand, so he doesn't hurt anyone, including himself. It looks more like he's on a food binge, but whatever, just smack, out he goes. Carry him to Betty bye-byes. Let's make sure everybody actually gets seen to. Come on, Trebs, you're meant to, meant to heal these people. Tend Ali, please. Unlike everybody else, Ali is actually still bleeding. Bleeding in the lung as well. I see. I was complaining a fair bit that um, Achtung forces people into being drafted, but I think that's because I was using Tend when I should be using Prioritize Tending 2, because this is a civilian action. And this is a drafted, military-ish action. Are your doctors higher priority for doctoring or getting treated? I think getting treat. Oh, that might be it. The patient is only for life-threatening things. It's hardly life-threatening. But yeah, you might be right. It might be better to lower these down. Nah, screw it. I just tell them to do it if it's a big deal. Matty is, however, eating a burn right now. So if you could kindly also... Oh, Sia's doing that. Sia is messed up, though. Because my people love to social fight. There's a lot of repair work to be done. Repairing plasteel walls, or repairing walls in general, takes an Aeon. I do like the fact that particularly old uh, mechs end up getting a bit of a rust to them, so we know this guy's pretty old. 2,065 years old, and you're still felled by me. Ooh. Right. There we go, it's no bother. I think everybody who needs tending is tended to. Uh, so the Shaman Merchant, are they are they actually here? I'm not seeing them. <laughs> Game reminding me that, hey, Galena's an amazing shooter if you want them. Trigger happy- ugh, depressive. I am never taking another depressive one in my colony. It's not something that cannot be overcome, it's just when the going gets tough, they're the first ones to break like clockwork. Okay, you get catharsis even when you're forced out of it. Now you might be thinking, Jake, why didn't you use your far too large warg army to deal with that? Fire is a pretty hard counter to animals. It's kind of like, uh, kind of like Dominions. Animals absolutely have counters, and this, in Dominions' case, it would be animal awe, or they're generally low. Uh, magical resistance. In this game, it's fire. They can't put each other out, and if you set fire to an animal, even the mighty Thrombo, they will just run around, not really knowing what to do with themselves. I think my land and beacons took a bit of a beating there. Jeez, it was... Oh, here's a thought. When you destroy and rebuild a uh, one of these things, it loses its linked setting. 
Didn't know that. Now I do. So Rimworld Rando, where you have to recruit the first chatters you come across, assuming you can recruit them and do your earnest to keep them alive when. That's pretty much what we've done here. Uh, most of these people I didn't want, but we kept them. So we obviously had our original three. Nancy, Trebliard, and Pandy. Uh, I didn't really like Spurda when he arrived, because he's a pessimist. I don't like Smuggler, because he was a teetotal waster. Uh, I don't think I liked Ali, because she was depressive. Uh, I certainly did not like... Who was the next one that's coming to mind? I don't know, but somebody did. Wasn't great about Lady Saru, because again, another pessimist. But we had a lot of charitable events that we had to deal with. Alright, Theodore, bring it on. Um, who's actually getting this? Hmm. I want that honor. I might not give it to the professor, though. Because if I do give it to the professor... Where does it show these things? There it is. He'd only become a yeoman. It's only the basic of the basics. I'd rather have it on Nancy so that I'd be able to use her transport shuffle. I really do not have a lot of aid available. It's only 10 days until Trebs can use his transport shuttle. Maybe on Ivor so he can bring out the Jannies of the Salvo. Can't, can't forget about Pandy. I often forget that Pandy is royalty. But no, I think I'd give it to Nancy so that we can always use her transport shuffle. That's assuming we succeed in this mission. The mechs should be allowed to go about their business again. They've got picking up to do and such. Alright, Nancy and her honour. Give it to me. Question is, where are you going to land? I bet it's miles away again. To all things considered, that's relatively close. Ferdinand might say that he's break risking, but he's really not. He's as happy as happy can be, he just doesn't know it yet. Now that we're at the finale, did this scratch the room will do? Oh, it's raw and bleeding. But I'll probably still pick up my uh, super late game save and plug away at it every now and then. Right, when this thing hits five hours, we've got to move in. Hopefully we have some side focus to help us out. No, no, and yes. Trebs, oh, I'm glad you're doing what you should be doing, which is sci focusing to the max. But I would rather we had that available pretty much right now. So go and inject some go juice, then inject some go juice, and then inject some go juice. That burst of 45 sci focus will be exactly what you need. Uh, I believe I told you to do that three times, Trebs. No half measures around here. They're just like sports energy gel packets, don't get your knickers in a twist. Teardown is my current itch. I had my fun with Teardown though. Although I've heard they've had some additions to it, it's not enough to bring me back, I would dare to say. I would. I'm a little concerned about this weak spot here. I don't know if this has been cleared or not, and you can't tell unless you start tearing this stuff down. To that effect, I might actually tear these two bits down so I can have a good look at it. Because I, I don't like this little chink in my armor. If fire burns through here and here, there's a way into my base. And it's not... Well, I could just fill this bit in. But I'd rather have a clean edge to it, even though it doesn't matter at this point. Okay, we got to defend these people. It's worth the 10 honor. And it's just tribals we have to shoot down. And I'm always open to that. And I will do it right after a quick water break.
I'm a little surprised that Marvin says the ship is not even close to being ready when it's very close to being ready. Just four more of these cryo-sleep things need to be done. That's some of them already have advanced components on them. And then I build the computer core. And then it's ready to be booted up, but we're not ready to use it until we finish our raiding. What are we dealing with down here? Ferdinand is back up on his feet, which is glorious. I'm going to equip your minigun, and... Yeah, I don't know, part of me wants to be away from all this. Like, across the water, maybe even on the water, so that when they use their fire breath it doesn't really hurt us, but... It's probably better to be prepared with a psychic guy right here to, to blast them. Or we could just rocket them. It's amazing how quickly a little bit of explosive percussion makes them rethink their options. Hey Ferdinand, you, you want to be, be part of the big boy club? The big boy triple rocket launching club. Go and equip that. You're a quick firer, so you'll get this unloaded faster than the rest. Leave behind the minigun, you'll pick it up again later. And even though many of us are injured right now, we need to go out and help. Maybe leave Sia behind because you're a wimp. But I might want your lance, so too bad. You've all got to join in. Get over here. So they're likely to come from here or here. We don't know which. I think what I'll do is I'll have Ferdinand positioned here, ready to triple rocket them on their way in. And if they don't appear here, and instead appear, say, over here or there, I will skip Ferdinand over. It's my brilliant plan. Ferdinand is part of the Drew special, so I can give you go juice. I will give you go juice. Now get into position. I'm going to have you stand here, so, well, maybe even here. And then if the need arises, you can easily be skipped over to there to blast over in that direction instead. Now the Doomsday would be better than the Triple Rocket Launcher for this, but either will work, I'm sure. Ah, oh, yeah, that's that's good. That's got range on everything. Just don't blow yourself up, Sunshine. If I were to tell you to fire, it's a very quick cooldown for you on what is normally a very slow weapon. Like The aiming time on this thing's four and a half seconds, but Trigger Happy halves that. I don't think it does anything about the um, the cooldown for after firing it, but that is what you might term your problem, not mine. And if things get a little hairy, then let's just have you moved in position. There we go, good enough. So we're kind of ready for whichever direction they attack from. And they're attacking from the one position I was not ready for them to attack from. Because Ferdinand doesn't have a clear shot on that. So what do we do about that? I don't know. Ferdinand? Well, first let's see what general direction they're going. Can't actually tell. Still can't really tell. Are they coming down and around here? Or up and around here? Maybe they're doing both. Which is very inconvenient, because I've got all this stuff in my way. You know what, Ferdinand? You are going in like a hero regardless. I'm going to have you be here, and you're just going to blast whatever. And I need a way to get you out, so Nancy, please move into a position to skip him back. Stop taking so long to get those going. Not bad. I mean, it wasn't good, but this isn't the strength of that weapon anyway, so let's not worry too much about it. I should have made you carry your machine gun as well, or your minigun, rather. As it stands, you, you'd you be as well just heading back home. You're not going to do much for us from there. Hmm. Bit of a letdown, truth be told. Alright, well, Ivor, I want you to invisible big old trebs. And then skip big old Trebs down to where you can do the most harm. And then Trebs, we need these people killing each other. 
that wasn't a great shot, but at least it was a shot. You can do another one though, right? And a nice one, they bunch themselves up. Oh, hey, it's a cow. It's high time we took out a cow for good. Oh, I think a cow is psychically insensitive or something. They didn't take that at all. No, they did. I think they just uh, they just immediately went down. <laughs> Some of these people just keep coming back after getting beaten up, so they don't get a chance to actually recover. Well, more my fault for uh, for not killing them. And this is good. They're using their flame breath on each other. Give me a great opportunity to do them in with a hail of gunfire. And poor Nostos is also eating that hail of gunfire, though. Seeing headshot pop up. Right through the skull. Good job, Altar. You know, Altar's not meant to be very accurate being trigger happy, but honestly, I don't think it matters with miniguns. Just accept the fact that your bullets are going to miss. The important thing is that it misses and then hits something else that you do want shot. Also, what are you doing, you idiot? I'm dying, mostly. Remember, I need these people kept alive, and they're just running in. Oh boy! Oh, they didn't like that. Are you going to try and kill them? It's hard to tell sometimes. Sia feels a little naked without anyone standing, just a body block for her, so let's move you in to help. Saru should definitely get a touch closer as well. Please don't kill Pilos, we actually need Pilos alive here. Hats off to the, uh, the niche people for not running away yet, and Blades is coming in for Theodore, I think. Let's first check that they're not psychically deaf, and then check that they're going to die, which they are. Saru, finish the fight. Good lord. Good bastards. Alright, keep them coming, KK. Get out of here. Get the hell out of here. No. Oh. I hear dog people. I don't know what idiot gave the dogs guns, but I'll be the one to take it away from them. Alright, Theodore will be fine. He didn't go down and he's not bleeding. Pilos will not be fine. Pilos needs to be saved very specifically as well. However, it's actually good for us that Pilos stays down. Uh, good job everybody. Everyone other than the big three can return home. Perhaps while you're here, why don't you deconstruct that thing? Did cow make it? Ah! Do you see a cow here? Where were they again? I thought they were part of this, right? There's our cloner cow! Oh my god, you got back up! Oh, but you are getting shot. You gonna make it? Yeah, you've made it. A cow lives on once more. And the bingo captured dead is up to 143. Ah, a cow will be back. Uh, did Trebs run away? Yeah, I guess he did. I suppose that's fine. Uh, Ivor and Nancy can take care of the rest. The replacement shuttle will arrive in two hours. We just need to make sure that we drag Pilos's body over there. In fact, in preparation for that, Nancy, could you just like, carry Pilos? The snow will put out the fire, that's no big deal, but let's also grab the pemmican. It is worth actual money. There's steel here as well. Any nice drugs? Ambrosia. Well, is it really a drug? I mean, I've eaten figs that have been so good that I think, wow, how are these not drugs? But I love figs. Mm, my god, they are one of the best fruits. And ultimately, ambrosia is just that, a fruit. 
I mean, damn, how could you possibly still need people dead? Or maybe you just want them dead. Nasty, nasty people. But yeah, the only chatters on site are all dead chatters, and I'm sure we'll be processing them soon. I just need to bring the corpses over for now. That's a lot of corpses. And corpses to be. So did any of my friends actually die there? Theodore's fine, Nostos is fine. I think an Imperial must have died, right? Hey Nancy, go drop our friends off in the shuttle. I've had this, um, this mission bug out on me many a time before. Requires Osto and Procas. Oh god, Osto is here. But I'm not sure about Prosta, uh, Procas. Don't rescue, go and just shove them into the, uh, the shuttle. Who was the other guy? Procas. I, I think they're dead. That or they got up and walked off themselves, and that would suck. Hopefully they did not. It's less about getting the bingos, more about getting the Pokedex filled out by this point. <laughs> I like that. You gonna succeed the mission for me? Oh god, don't do this to me. This uh, this mission bugs out all the time. The hell is Procas? Actually, who is Procas? Theodore and four Janissaries. The Janissaries may be sacrificed, the commander must be rescued. Well, the commander is rescued. But who is Procas? Uh, were they even here? I don't have any memory of Procas. So it could have been in all this Newton here. Damn this mission. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do here. I don't think Procas even spawned in yet. I don't have any memory of a Procas. The mission requires you to raid an Imperial base, kidnap Procas, and uh, shove them into the shuttle. I just checked the vault, and Procas wasn't there. Alright. Avert your eyes, folks. Go debug info. Uh, end quest, shuttle leave delay. Did I actually do it? Oh god. Or did I just break everything by doing that? I may have just broken everything here. How about quest success? How would you like that? No, uh, I don't know what I've done now. Probably something pretty bad. Dev mode spawn procast. Uh, I don't know how to fix this, and I probably shouldn't have opened dev mode without saving beforehand, so let's save it after. I must have some mod that's causing uh, a mess up with this, because I haven't had it be a problem for me before. How do, how do we just get rid of this quest now? How do we get rid of this whole damn thing? Also, I don't even know if it actually succeeded. 
Must do, because now it says I have 10 on her, but now how do I get rid of this? Wait, I've got a brilliant idea. Farewell. Oh god, <laughs> they're gonna hate me for this! And how do I get rid of this thing? Okay, I don't know what I've broken. Possibly a lot of things. But, uh... You know what, I'm not, I'm not gonna have your your deaths on my uh, on my head. Let's bring you guys back. I think you other guys will just leave now. Hang on, Theodore, is that a... Ah, oh, it's bio-coded. Dang. Thought it would be a delicious non-bio-coded Zeus hammer for me to enjoy. I can't really reject those missions willy-nilly because they are... Um, they are charity missions, and we are compelled to do charitable things. It's part of our belief. Delicate wimp. Also a genie. Pretty good for grabbing jeans off of. Eh? Great crafting is fantastic for an artisan. Dead calm is great for not having social fights all the time. Bloodthirsty Shuttle! You can fight the Sanguifage and her minions capture the Master, force her to blah blah blah. So this is a way to get a Sanguifage here. I don't particularly care about Sanguifages, they have amazing genes to drink out of them, but... Uh, I'm not interested in playing vampire game in this. Right, are you guys just gonna be gone and not cause me any more problems? Good, get out of here. Scat cat. Very little left to do with the shuttle. Still waiting on that Imperial trader though. I'm a little worried about the Broken Empire going hostile towards me shortly though. Perhaps I should start carving up the human corpses so I have a lot of goodies to deal with. And I think I'll do exactly that. Not least of all because my meat supply is running very low. So we're going to uncheck, well, recheck butcher humans and bring them all back. I have a feeling I'm going to need more space for all of my tainted goods. Landed. How are you guys feeling? Uh, they don't even get proper medicine? That's a bit brutal. Come on, we do have medicine for these people. I need to be a monster about it. Also, why is Altar helping? I suppose Altar is a half decent uh, medic, but you know, Triple Yard's a better medic. God, oh, those poor burns. What's left to do? Three more raids. I'm really hoping for um, an honor trader, though, so I can actually have some honor whilst dealing with some of them. Also looking forward to my animals helping me out with that. So I need food to train these animals, and god we have too many, so it's going to be good to get a purge going. I might bring the animals over for dealing with the... I don't know. I was thinking about using the animals against the um, Neanderthals, but actually I think the best thing to use the animals against are the, uh, the, um, uh, the Imperial types. Get a lot of animals attacking them. And that's where our superior numbers could help out. On the other hand, the Imperials use, uh, or they will use, gun turrets. I don't know if we can tell our animals to attack gun turrets. Uh, even if they do, they're very liable to get destroyed by them. And the animals would actually be really good for helping me defend my own base against the attacks that come when I start up the... Yeah. Don't know, there's a lot to consider there. Is, is anyone going to move this thing? So 
because people are too busy fixing our many busted walls and such. But what about our constructor? Oh, the constructor boss is working on that. And you go and move that thing over. It's messing up my feng shui. I want the bodies dealt with. And my poor wargs need meat. They don't eat meals, they don't eat hay, they don't eat kibble. Jesus, Matty, I didn't realize you were unhappy. Like, you're barely unhappy. And sick for some reason. I'm surprised there was uh, much of a toxic build-up to begin with. Anyway, it's no big deal. You're going to eat some of my expensive food and that's that. There we go. People are going to get a little bit a little bit unhappy from the amount of bodies I'm carving up here, but that's hardly a much of a concern. They knew what was coming to them. Why did Spurda just grab some... Oh, I, I thought you were grabbing some food there, but no, you were grabbing some of this tainted gear. There's quite a lot of tainted gear and uh, uh, meat to be moved around. Hauling and repairing in general, thanks to that attack, or those attacks that we had. That's fine. Bring those corpses over. They're all frozen, so we don't need to worry about them going away anytime soon. I'm still holding out on those Imperial traders. Goodness, I want them. Don't know if I'm going to get any uh, improved happiness from saving these two guys. Age 16, but 15 chronologically. Wait, how does that work? How can you be older than you are chronologically? There is a way, but I forget about uh, I forget how. Growth vats. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Do they really accelerate growth? Well, I guess they must do. The clue is in the name, right? Matty, I know you're huge, but please eventually be done with constant eating. You weren't that unhappy. Food binge is considered a minor mental break, but I do see it as one of the more annoying because it lasts quite a while. And it always they always target your best meals. So those lavish meals I have, they're already gone. It just means he's wise beyond his ears. I hope he's wise enough to get out of here when he hears all the slicing going on in the room behind the thin chipped slate wall. I mean, it sounds like a knife through meat, but yeah, I've seen where they keep their animals. I've seen where they keep their food. What's going on in there? Don't peek through the flimsy wooden doors. You're going to see something you're never going to want to see again. Also, don't think about where the nice meals are kept. It's about summoning up the courage to go in that big fight. But there are a few things. For one, I don't want the Imperial traders to arrive right when I'm off there. But I guess Professor would be around. If nothing else, Professor could get a huge amount of uh, distinction. No, honor out of that. Well, not much else is going on. Let's go and grab some additional gold. I always love more gold. Gold detected over there. Right, so to the northwest. That's where we'll send Ivor and Seru. Hop to it. Seru won't be happy because it's a daytime job. But we don't bring Seru here to be happy. We bring you to get to work. And there is a threat there, but I highly doubt it's something we need to worry about. The off-site threats are never serious. Or to put it in a different way, if anybody has ever had a serious threat when they've gone to one of these off-site mining jobs, I would love to hear about it. Because it's like one naked tribesman or a man hunting squirrel. In this case, it's a single, not naked guy. Actually, uh, all things considered, he's relatively decked out. Except he's a genie, so he's going to die in one hit. Well, not die, but he will go down. George Foreman. He's so proud of that club. You know, we'll probably be finished digging this out before you even get here, George. 
In fact, I, th I think I could far skip away before he gets here. However, you know, if he's going to all this trouble to come and meet us, we may as well meet him. Also, very rare case of seeing inside a cave here, since we haven't been doing that kind of play. But look at that, you get Timber Shroom, a source of a small amount of wood. I don't know exactly how much, though. 20 wood. Not bad, actually. Also, what the heck is this? Beautiful to look at, dies when exposed to light. But do you get anything off of it? Apparently it's... Ah, 28 raw fungus. And glow stool? 16 raw fungus. Most people hate eating fungus for some odd reason. But some people enjoy it. Cave dweller types. So, Foreman. You're pretty great at melee, but Ivor's pretty greater. Oh, wow. A double wow, you didn't go down. Despite being a wimp. Although missing your hand isn't going to make life easier for you. And there you go. Nothing for it. I'm not taking Foreman back. There's not really much to be gained out of that. I'm always here to take the gold, though. After all, where's the gold? Ugh, bad place to respawn here. Just uh, ditch the gold, have someone else pick that up. Mushrooms are delicious. Yes, they are. But I think maybe there's a bit of a difference between mushrooms and weird cave fungus. I imagine the weird cave fungus is about the equivalent of eating slime off of a rock. There was a bit in the game Illusion of Time, or Illusion of Gaia, if you're across the pond, where the, the whole team travels underground for, I believe, 40 days subsisting off of mushrooms they find in the cave. Kind of an unbelievable part of the story. How could these ill-equipped village bumpkins survive 40 days underground, no light, just walking the whole time? But that, that game... that game is hard to follow in places. Mm, wet moss. The downside of a rock. I mean, I'll eat anything. I'd give that a go, even. Right. I'm thinking it's time we just go on the offence. We're going to be taking out the Ergo people now. Gentle tribe. We'll see just how gentle. They're mostly baseliners. But how are we getting over there? I think, as ever, I'm going to drop pod Trebliard. And then I'll far skip over the rest of the team. Although we'll do it in the morning. It doesn't make a lot of sense to do it right when everyone's about to go to sleep. So when everyone has woken up and breakfasted, that's when we'll go on the offence. Hey, Matty Mayo spent the whole day eating and now is tired and goes to sleep. There's no obesity for your characters in this game, but I bet Gian is not very happy with Matty's behaviour. God, they hate each other. I rejected their proposal, and they have an annoying voice, versus they rejected my proposal, and yeah, man, I need word of love to keep these people together. So I'm starting to think that people that you artificially word of love together, they just don't stay together. There's apparently this hidden attraction value. That's probably what's causing us issues. But you can get around it by making them love each other psychically, and making them drop dead gorgeous. You can put aesthetic shaper on them, aesthetic nose on them, maybe even give them the aesthetic genes. And then, no matter how much they don't really like each other, they will go gaga for that hot door body. God, I so hope something cleans us away eventually. building here actually got in the way of where I love to make all of my human leather bed rolls. It's okay though, we'll get them made regardless. Right in the way of some people's sleeping areas. Pandy can do that and then I can send them off to the Empire to keep them sweet, and I do want to keep them sweet at least until we turn on them. And Pandy's still a great constructor. Although not nearly as great as Sia is at crafting. 
Boy, these jeans are so powerful. I'd never expect to maintain a triple 20 pawn, but this makes it possible. To maintain 20 in crafting, you spend most of your time crafting. no one's going to care about these things and we still have a fresh place to drop uh, nasty nasty goods chaos skip crafting glitter world all a waste of time a masterpiece is pandy this is why i have you do this masterpiece adds a fat load of value to these things although it's still 150 percent with excellent the masterpieces are what i'm looking for I haven't been making human leather bed rolls for the purpose of gaining wealth through trade because there's a massive reduction in value on furniture when you trade it. It only sells for about 70% of its value, so in a lot of ways you end up losing value out of the human leather unless it's excellent or better. But in that case, just make some, uh, make some apparel out of it instead. No, these things are made to get friends, because I'm pretty sure friends don't care about how uh, about that reduction in value. And that's looking a lot better. That's a lot more meat for our wargs to enjoy. And there's still corpses being brought in, so our people are still going to be unhappy about all the butchering for a while. But that is their problem, not mine. Although they'll try their level best to make it my problem. this thing is still set on bedrolls. I actually don't want bedrolls kept here. It's taking it away from a more important place. What is that ravenous devils game you mentioned there, Zingus? I like to think I know a lot of games, but I haven't heard of that. Taking care of those corpses is largely taking care of the dead chatters on site, but there's still still some out there. Ninjin the propagandist. Someone misread that as uh, it's another word that begins with pro protagonist. No, just propagandist. He loves to write, so he does. He wasn't that not intellectual before, right? This must be his modest version. And Andarius the don't worry, Andara, she'll live on as Ivor, I'm sure, in your head, Canon. While we're at it, let's get those bedrolls flowing for my good friend. Uh, I shouldn't need that many, just ten good bedrolls. Ah, I'll keep the Empire sweet. At least until I go and kick their arses. Alright, it's daytime. Everybody should be relatively taken care of. So now, what do we do? Well, we transport Pod up one Trebliard and send him into Scout. And the rest of us get into position. Not you, Trebs. Not you, Professor. Not you, Sia. But everybody else. Line up. We're going to deal with you now. We're going to check for hungry people. We're going to drug up people that need it. I feel like we're missing some people. Oh, some of us are miles away. Well, may as well get started on needs. Nancy, for example, is hungry. So Nancy will be told to consume a fine meal. 
Ferdinand will also be told to consume a fine meal. We've got a lot of hungry people here. Consume those fine meals. I undraft them for this, because if I keep them drafted, they're going to eat the meal in the death pit down there, rather than up here, where I want them to be. Berrickson, you are going to get loaded on some go juice and ditch that human meat for now. Seru, you're also kind of hungry and tired and stuff. Um, you're also just going to pack yourself a go juice. The go juice will wake you up, but maybe you should also consume a fine meal and then inject some go juice. Matty is also hungry. Surprising. Go and eat. Is anyone else still on their way? Yeah, Smuggler's actually fine. Altar is fine. Gian is fine. Yeah, I want them to eat their meal here, not in the horrible death pit of disgust. Those are very different places. And as for you, Trebs, you are going to scout out... Who was it again? The Ergo people with this, but do we want to go here? We'd rather go here. Oh, we don't want to go there. It's horrifically polluted. This is less polluted. And there is horribly polluted. I might just go here anyway. It's nice and close by. Go to Booby. Does make it more of a pain in the arse to make them happy again. No, 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 let's go down here. Purple Plateau. Go there. And attack Purple Plateau from the edge. See you later, Gator. Nancy, you've eaten. Get back. Andy, you've eaten. Get back. Ferdinand, eaten. Back. Ivor, back you go, go. Nancy, you know how this works. I want you to grab a whole bunch of extra go juice. I want you to pick up 20 go juice. Birdo, you've eaten, get in position. Lady Saru, did I say you could have a day off? I don't recall doing anything like that. And I'm pretty sure I just told you to take some go juice. I think you did, but then I made Nancy do it instead. So you just go there, inject it, and now get ready to fight. Uh, the reason I tell her to take some go juice is actually for the rest. I don't want anyone passing out on duty. Anybody missing from the lineup? It doesn't look like it, although Gian is still very slowly making their way in. And what's Matty Mayo even doing? I don't know, but nothing useful. If that's the case... Which wind condition are you going for? We're launching the ship. Right, I'll probably have you guys out here. Ah, the wargs, the wargs, the wargs. I don't know about the wargs. I think I'll save up my wargs and use them against the Imperials, because that's going to be a pretty big fight. And the idea of them getting up utterly chewed to death by the wargs amuses me greatly. Alright, better get ready, because... There goes our main man. It was over in Booby, right? Where is he? Where'd he go? He just he just disappeared. Where's Treps? Said it was generating the map, and then it wasn't. No, I definitely sent him on an attack. What in the world just happened there? Debug mode, explain yourself. I don't know. Maybe that maybe that business with the ship earlier caused uh, caused some issues. I'm gonna save, but I probably don't want to load this save.
You sent him to attack at the edge of Purple Plateau. He decided he'd rather just join them. I think something bugged out there big time. Okay, in that case, I'm going to try reloading this, but I'll probably want to reload auto save too. That was weird. Game coming apart at the seams. Yeah, to be fair, we are using a lot of mods, far more than I would ever normally use in a game. But there's so much in RimWorld worth modding. Making it a Far Cry from Factorio, I use very few Factorio mods, and even the ones that I do use, sometimes I look at them and I think, yeah, do I really want these? I think I borked something by adding this. I even know what this does. But maybe adding that ended up breaking something. Is every shade of dead. Um, all right, let's try something else. No, I definitely didn't gift him. I made absolutely sure I clicked on the right thing. I always hesitate on clicking for attacks because one false click and you send off your colonist away as a gift. No, if he'd left like that, Asshole Curry would have been on the map as a caravan party. It comes with stuff. Looks like developer mode on. Alright, that just reset us back to here, which is just the night before. We'll just go through the same motions, but absolutely save first. By the way, does it still have... Yeah, whatever this is. I don't even know what that is. Is there a way to get rid of it? Because it's part of that quest that we had on. It was this emergency landing quest. And I worry that I might have added something to break it there. God knows. But I think whatever I did here is causing issues. Oh well. Carry on. Sending a colonist away as a gift actually counts as slavery, and our people really hate that. So we try to avoid doing it. I guess that eclipse was not predetermined then. Eclipses are actually a, a big shame for us power-wise, because it makes these sun lamps drink all my power. We need our power subsidized by these things or else it becomes a problem, so I'm actually going to turn them off for now. Someone will go and turn them off. Hey, Andy's on the case. That way they don't drain all of my power, so it's already going down a fair bit. We need that back up, please. For our next jaunt in, I'm going to save up. Give them a few, a few ideas to get around that. <laughs> this is the problem. Pandy actually is going a bit back and forth here, so I'm just going to make him drop all of this garbage and just order all that as ne touche pas. All of this should really be too shape huh? Same with you, Spurdo. You can save a lot of time just manually making people drop all of the tainted stuff outside. Same with you, Gian. I used to do this a lot more proactively. Be 
people eat lovely meals to keep them good and going. Because that's the main thing a lot of people need. Not you, Professor. You're not heading out. The Pandy certainly is. Birdo certainly is. My blur, you might as well eat one as well. Keep you good. Ali is fine. I don't know if Ali one anyway. I mean, the, the nice meal certainly helps with keeping their mood high. Seru absolutely needs to consume a fine meal. And chug some go juice. Berkson's fine, Matty is not. And Gian, yeah, you just have one as well. I got all these fine meals from people that have attacked me and failed to capitalize on it. And Trebs, it's time for you to head on out. And I'll line my people up. Ferdinand's already on his way back, which is a good sign. Drop that garbage. No one needs that garbage. Damn, that's a lot of garbage. Alright, he's in there. So, something got messed up. Let's see if we can fix it. First off, let's just have him land in there and see what happens. So, he should be going over to Purple Plateau to attack, dropping at the edge. Whee! It's actually a bit of a pain that this works. I need to rearrange all my people whilst jumping around with him. So, he goes there, it generates the map. And yeah, it just happens for a split second and then away he goes. So, I'm going to reload that. And I'm actually going to land him at the edge and then attack the normal way. Because maybe something is busted with a drop pod arrival. Still workable. In fact, it's pretty much exactly the same. And if that still doesn't work, I don't know, I must have broken something pretty bad with the save. And it's anyone's guess what? The big bases mod might be having trouble, possibly, possibly. Hey, maybe maybe it's just that place in particular. I'm gonna try coming up inside, and if that fails, we'll try a different place. So what we can do is just go visit. Whee! Off he trots. It might be trying to load something that cannot be loaded here. In fact, let's enable debug so that we can see any errors if they happen. So we attack. Yeah, yeah, hostile, blah, blah, blah. Generate map for encounter. Ah, it's throwing something up here. Exception from long event. Object reference not set. Root level exception. So this is the place. It generated the map. Trebliard isn't there. And now he is. Beans to work. I don't see anything horribly wrong here, but we, we had to catch it there. Well, whether the game is breaking apart at the seams or not is scarcely my problem. We have a job to do, and we're going to get it done. What is this? It's starting to look like my streams now. Debug logs? Needs must, and we must need. Right, Nancy and Co. Pretty much everyone other than Sia and Professor. Where are you all? Uh, I want you all probably over here. Seems nice and central for everybody. Get over there and join Trebliard. What kind of wildlife do we have here? Ugh, just three dromedaries. So using the, uh, the tried and true approach of setting all the animals on them won't work so well. It's kind of a tame amount here, but that's not unexpected, considering that it's a uh, tribal base. However, we still have this. Somehow the tribals are getting... Oh, it's Bellcat! Freaking Bellcat! Anyone remember us gunning her down? I certainly do. 
She's still got a permanently massacred left eye. Her spine's feeling a bit cracked up. She's in horrible pain. But looks like she joined up with these people just to get some revenge. Also, nice silver longsword. You can get some decent silver out of that. All right. Bellcat's going down. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Look at all those tasty wooden buildings. Is it finally time for Clash Storm? Uh, you know what? Why don't we? Offer me a reason. Because I don't have one. Uh, right, Nancy. We need some far skipping. Is anybody not here, by the way? Now nah, we all look fine. Nancy, far skip us over to Trebs. It would be funny if this somehow doesn't work either. No accidental robots getting in the way. Pew! I really like far skip. It's useful, but it's also cool. Right, Ivor. There are quite a lot of them. But we should have more than enough ways to deal with these guys. Do, 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 do. What do we use for cover? I got a hundred and ways, hundred and one ways to use cover against us, but I think we will line up against these things. Ivor, what's the range on your fl Oh, jeez, Ivor. No, no, no. You meant to. Oh, that's right. We had him chug go juice before, and I forgot to do it this time. Well, drink your go juice this time. Ivor's overdosing. Don't worry about it, by the way. It's just a minor overdose. You cannot have a deadly overdose from taking two drugs. Uh, you can have problems if you take more than two, so try not to do that. Have fun with this. And where are my gunners? What are they doing not in position? Get behind and get shooting. I've got a lot of shooting to do. Also, enjoy your fires. <laughs> Altar's minigun punctured Hawk's brain. Not just the brain. That went right through the head, skull, and into the brain and destroyed it in one shot. Ah, I'm starting to really like having you on board. Mmm, good job, Altar. Now take out Trala as well. I mean, who calls their kid Trala? Oh, oh, they go juiced up right in time, so that means they're going to be harder to take out. But, eh, go juice doesn't stop you from very permanent damage, I'm afraid. All oh, that burning is going to work against me. Mmm, oh, get it. Look at it, just hail on down. Go and take him out. Not around here for a turkey. Seru, go and join the fighting. I heard some kind of uh, animal freak. Also, Spurdo, easy now. Starting to hit you with a load of arrows coming on in. Do I want to hit them with a... I was thinking about using a mech low shield just to minimize the amount of damage coming in here. And I don't see a good reason not to use this right now. You guys just search and destroy. Get killing. I know you enjoy it, so get to it. Uh, Nancy is not the right person to be blocking her. At all. I mean, Nancy just immediately went and got bruised hard. Maybe don't hold that, actually. We, we need to hold the line here for a bit. Gosh, there are quite a few of them. Especially when we have people like Rainy, high on go juice and causing us issues. Trebs go and make Rainy fight each fight themselves. Kind of bad, we're, we're getting mulched here. Poor Ivor is taking a hell of a beating over there. Oof. Unpleasant. A lot of these guys, I think, are juiced up. Oh god, yes. Oh god, no. Alright, well, take the fight right back to them. And please, this is not the time to be telling me that some of my goods are rotting away. Let's do that, and then um, absolutely forbid all of that. Yeah, th these tribals are really powerful. Scary stuff. 
You, you go and help out there. There's some there's some serious help needed here. Because Ivor is really messed up. I think Seru is as well. Oh god, Seru got stabbed really hard. She could die if she gets hit again. I'm getting Seru out of that. There we go. Uh, we're not dealing with logger. It seems like something that he's dealing with. Ooh. That was just one of them, though. There's another one to come. Damn, that that got really, really ugly. That was because a lot of them go juiced up. Okay, well, there's some serious patching up to do, and uh, seriously, me forgetting once again to give Trebliard loads of medicine. Also, could we just like leave the <laughs> leave the tainted clothes around here? Someone even have milk on them. Was anybody else intercepted mid hauling uh, useless crap? Yeah, a lot of useless crap. Get rid of it. Just <laughs> dumping stuff here. Right, shoot down anyone you want to shoot down. Especially if it's Bellcat. Where is Bellcat? You. He hobbles off to live once again. Oh, how about McCaskey? Will McCaskey survive for once? For our chatters on site, we've got Bellcat, we've got Archie Giant. Okay, a cow's finally going down. That's a crappy plastic longsword to leave behind. Yeah, you are down and out. Lanker is finally going down as well, but McCaskey might survive. Come on, McCaskey, show us what you're made of. Taking cover cleverly, but we have, we have the uh, the bending bullets taking you out there. I'm afraid. Okay, horribly injured people line up. Team oh, doesn't look so hot. Some of you take five treads, go and uh, tend to the elderly. Tend to your beloved first. Tend Nancy. Highly doubt many of you. Uh, wait, isn't Altar good at medical? You're good enough. Could you go and uh, tend to Spurdo, please? Ivor and Matty, dump your meds. Trebliar will need it. Alright, Nancy, you're fine. Go and rejoin the front lines. Trebliard, pick up that medicine and then tend to Seru. Yikes, that that single attack has left Seru in dangerous one-shot kills territory. I'm not very comfortable in keeping her in the fight here. Not that Ivor is much better. In fact, Ivor is worse. Those guys really did us in in Malay. I honestly thought we'd just be gunning them down. Ha ha ha. Primitives, blah blah blah. But no, they ruined my day. Oh well, the fight is not over. Uh, Altar, you tended to Spurdo, right? Spurdo, back in the Frey Bentos. Matty is not well. Ivor is also not well. So Altar, go and pick up that medicine and then tend to Matty Mayo. What's we're going to take to tend... Actually, fortunately, Seru actually wasn't uh, hurt that badly. And we do, we're really good at tending to people at least. Right, Trebs, pick up that medicine and then tend to Ivor as well. Good thing you've got that healing in it, so you might actually heal up fast enough to be able to take another stab before this fight is over. Yeah, I gotta watch out for that uh, Go Juice. That was a problem. That was a problem and a half. You still good in the medicine? Not really. But Matty is almost fixed up. Ivor, on the other hand. Oof. You know, if there was anything valuable in here, it's all going to get um, zapped away. Unless we count this plasteel club. Huh. It's funny, because clubs don't get quality. A club is a club. Ooh, nice. An excellent plasteel longsword. Hey, Berrickson, that's an upgrade for you, right? Go and equip that. 
they drop any other awesome stuff for us? An excellent plasteel spear. Excellent steel. I don't think anything gets better than excellent. A lot of go juice, though. Is anybody not juiced up that should be? I mean, hell, if they're going for the go juice, so should we. Nancy, you need to juice up, and you, I forgot to have you go and grab juice, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, Ivor is so juiced up that he's overdosing, which is a small problem. Berickson, Matty, and Gian, all of you should juice up. Okay, very good. Don't worry about the go juice, we'll pick that up when we form our caravan and leave here. Now, even though we're horribly beaten up, we have to go and take care of the second batch of these. No chatters among them, but we need to be a lot more careful. We got ravaged there. So let's take better care of ourselves. I don't want to afford them any real cover. Maybe we could take cover behind this uh, trashed old troop carrier. It's 50% cover effectiveness, we should be able to shoot around it. And we'll make these dromedaries attack for us as well. The other melee fighter is injured and a fancy new sword. Maybe I can finally be useful, says Berrickson. <laughs> Why don't they like him? Nobody likes him, Berrickson. I'm not gonna, not gonna hesitate on using psi powers or my lances here. These people have got to die. Trebs, are you juiced? That doesn't look juiced to me. Inject and get moving. Who knows animal psychic stuff? Oh god, Nancy needs more juice. Drink more juice, Nance. There we go, now you can do stuff. Ivor, do you know animal stuff? No, it's just Trebs. When I can, I'll get those animals. They should go south. Although they might go north, that'd be a problem for me. However, I could do this both ways. This is an expensive thing to cast, but if I do it when these guys are attacking me, then that could work to my advantage. Alright, I get position. Gunner is getting position. We'll be using this as cover. Are three camels worth it? I think it's worth the side cast. I mean, that's like having three extra fighters on hand. Need to gently encourage these people to fight me. Or run across here and just get scattered as they attempt to fight me. Well, you know what, Trebs? Uh... Yeah, Trebs can just run on in. He's not scared. He'd be significantly less scared if he were invisible, though. A lot less scared, I imagine, if he were skipped closer in. Whoosh! Hello! Wow! They knew I was here. I guess just anyone being around is enough to trigger this. Right, um... Look at a lot of them just instantly juicing up. Whoa, they are fast. This is hard to target. I have a cunning plan, though. Oh, this plan could get a lot less cunning very quickly. Trebs is in danger being here. Very big danger. And this is ineffective against a bunch of them. Uh... Yeah, Trebs, how about you get yourself out of there before they immediately round on you? Right, this is my golden plan. Could you, like, still invisible yourself before you get shanked? Okay, good. Now, the grand plan is that they're going to round on the, uh, the animals, and that opens me up for a perfect opportunity to get a lot of them. Mm, that's the good stuff. That is the damn good stuff. I get back out of there. So now, all these people who were uh, converging on the animals... See, I didn't expect the animals to do much, but I did expect them to crowd around them. And now they will attack each other, giving me an opportunity to level some... No, no, Trebs. Trebs, that is not where you want to be. Get back. 
unfortunately a lot of them are still juiced up. Yeah. <laughs> Takes a lot to take out someone that's uh, that's on the juice. Alright, good. They're still focusing on each other. Oh man, what I wouldn't give to just go right back in there. Hey Nancy, do you think you've got this in you? Because I think you've got this in you. Hit him. Hell yeah, hit him. I think that was ineffective against quite a lot of them, actually. Yeah, oh my god, where did they get these hussars? The psychic deafness of hussars make them pretty hard to counter with psychic abilities. But gun them down regardless. Care not about their lives. Magpie. I don't like you taking shots there. Why don't you come and say hi to Ivor? Yeah, that does it. Well, a lot of them coming dangerously close. A lot of them coming very, very close. Could we have, I don't know, a lot less of this? We've got people like Opossum back here. Or Bereka. Oh, Bereka's armoured up and with a particularly nice longsword. Um, Pandy, Bereka, put an end to that, and let's uh, also try and put an end to these people coming closer and giving me a hard time. Oh, nice shot. Oh, Jesus, Ivor does not like that. Who the hell are you? I don't know, but you're juiced up and I don't like that. Get out of here. Unless you're Hussar, in which case this won't work, but you're still going. Oh my god, Ivor is very, very close to dead. Not sure I like him being here. Ivor is not back down to one arm, but he's certainly down to one foot. Or a sir cut Ivor with his long sword, wounding his left foot, left tibia, and left leg. Oof. Right, a lot of these juiced up fellows coming here is a big problem. Go and try and take some of them down. Oh, he's psychically deaf. That's a waste. Skunk, on the other hand. Oh, nice trigger-happy guy. I would normally want you, but Skunk, get out of here. There we go. There we go, go. Right. Just start shooting them down. How did you get your headset fired to? I, I, I don't get it. I thought I hit you with the the lance. Oh, I see. I see. You went berserk, but you also uh, had your brain set fire to. A dangerous combination for anyone. All right. Well, just enjoy the shooting gallery, folks. Some people with go juice just don't quit. There we go. Base completely destroyed. New areas revealed, but I sincerely doubt there's anything of value in here, so I'm not going to pick through the pieces. Nor am I going to bring anybody back, I think. Mmm, silver longsword. I might bring some goods back, though. Uh, Sia and Professor are both pretty much inside the base, so warping back shouldn't be a problem. Let's just go away from here, reform the caravan. Uh, let's make sure we actually have enough side juice to get ourselves back. Trebs has just enough. Ivor does not. Nancy does not. So Trebs is the one skipping us back. Uh, right, I really thought that would be the easiest base of them all, but it was the closest to killing us that we've had. Killing any particular people. I'm not bringing uh, people back. No way. I want the drugs. I want their go juice to offset the go juice that I spent. Yeah, that's a lot of dead bodies. We can always carve these up. Especially those dead dromedaries. Oh right, yeah, we can't because we need to have uh, we need to skip back with our within our limits. What a nice weapons though. I wonder if an excellent steel longsword or steel spear would be nah, keep keep with the blast sword stuff. But man, those are excellent. 
Blast Steel Longsword Norval. Silver Spear. You know what? I, I want to bring these back and smelt them down. Good Silver Longsword. Excellent Silver... Uh, excellent Plasteel Sword. Loads of Silver Weapons. Man, I, I like these people. I'm going to see if I can't smelt these down, but I need to do a custom thing for it. There's even a lot of plate armor, including a silver plate armor. That's getting smelted down. Maybe even that plasteel plate armor. Mm, man, the thing about these beefed up um, bases is that it beefs up the rewards just from grabbing off the dead people. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I take bad rolls. That's not a problem. Not going to raid the juice. We pick up the juice during this screen. When you f start a caravan on a place that shows everything on the ground, and the, there were, well, I think there were eight go juices on the ground there, and I'm taking them all. I could increase my carry capacity by bringing back prisoners, but they just die, and then I'd be accused of ill-treating prisoners. So just give me all those goods, and barely far skip us back, Trebs. And excellent. Far skips around Sia. There we go. Now, get healed up. Heavens knows we need it. What happened to Smuggler out there? He just got cracked and cut. Poor Ivor, though. Uh, that left foot of his. I could replace it with a wooden foot, but it probably makes a lot more sense to give him a bionic leg. Do I even have a bionic leg for him, though? Oh, I do. I have exactly one. Fancy that. All right. Operation. Left leg. Bionic leg. The only option for getting your uh, your actual organic foot back is with a healer max serum, and I don't have one, and I wouldn't use it on that. I see Trebliard is busy not tending to the ill. Said he's unloading all this pemmican and stuff. By the way. I would like... Oh yeah, the plate armor is a high uh, high importance thing that goes there. That's fine then. And it should be one of the things that gets smelted. Smelt everything that's not clean and nearby. Good. I'm pretty sure it was a tainted bit of silver armor. There should be a lot of silver in that thing for what it's worth. Looking forward to seeing that getting smelted. I see people just going around covered in bandages, though. Alright, another one bites the dust. Only two remain. Lurit and Broken Empire. Hey, didn't I give the Broken Empire a... Oh, no, that was on the save. Uh -huh. I have not yet given them their bedrolls. Did I pick up all the bedrolls? Almost. Get that done before they change their mind about me. Alright, Trebs, I know you want to eat, but could you also please operate on Ivor once you're done? So his left arm and his left leg will both be bionic, and he's got max level Silent. Losing a max level Silent guy always hurts, so I'm glad he didn't die, but he came damn close. So did Seru, but Seru's got a healing enhancer plus natural, very fast healing, so that'll be no problem in uh, rather soon. Smuggler, for God's sake, just go and shamble off to bed. You, you need repaired. And Sia? How close are you to being done with that? Well, it's not a hurry. Not as much of a hurry as tending to... Oh, well, there we go. Trebliard's already on it. And missing a foot, missing an arm, it's not a problem for either. The Sunder Slayer. I wonder what's the most amount of Sunders any one character can slay in a run of Banner Saga. Ivor already has one to his name. Anyone in your party can slay Bellower. Uh, anyone in the party from the first game, that is, I think. Can, can what's his face? The Mender guy get involved in that. Um, the ratty looking guy. I forget his name. Juno's uh, Juno's piece of meat. 
Then there's Eyeless. Ollie is my go-to Eyeless Slayer. And then there's, I think, Ruin. Anyone who made it to Arborang in the third game could take out Ruin. You could even have uh, Ubin do it, but then Ubin will only get one. Massive spoilers for the game, of course, but come on, everyone's played the Banner Saga, it's just too good. It's a joke, most people uh, didn't get past the first one if they even played it, sadly. But great games. They, they recently came back, Stoic Game, with another release. I haven't looked into it, but I really should. Ninja and, and Darius are going to be in my screen for a long time because they're out there desiccated. Uh, Ziri, on the other hand, I can carve up no problem. Uh, Scotcher is also desiccated, so they're just going to stay there. And I am pemmicanned. I am way too pemmicanned. What's a man meant to do with this much pemmican? Do I even have anywhere indoors to reasonably store that pemmican? Oh, crumbs, I didn't mean to do that. I'll tell you what, you can also store the pemmican in here. This has been my food overflow zone for some time. Let's get this off my back. Or, actually, I could also store the pemmican in here. I don't mind my animals eating it. There we go, yeah, let's just also keep pemmican in here. And that way I can not store pemmican in here, and also keep this down to a reasonable level. This is my overflow zone for package meals, but now I have a very big package overflow meal place. We're here to remind you what you did. I don't recall doing anything to you. Let's have a look. Wild boar tusks. Wild boar teeth. Wild boar tusks. Right paw. None of these sound like anything that my team would do. Sure enough, I have one rat, but my rat was born before your injuries. Uh, after, rather. After, before would be incriminating. <laughs> Truly a mystery. <laughs> oh, there we go. Right. I want that apparel done before the slag, because I really want to see what this thing's worth. Oi, Ali, don't you dare. Finish off that refining. Takes ages to refine apparel and weaponry. Who would have thought that such a big, expensive, power-hungry thing would take so long to smelt stuff down? This is a big reason why I don't believe in cremation and burning off drugs and excess weapons and stuff for wealth control. Yes, it'll lower your wealth, but you're using up one of your most valuable resources, human labor. You don't gain skill out of it, there's no sense of uh, being an artisan, you just get the job done, blip, and... Mm, 425 steel out of smelting you down, which means I'm probably going to get 42 or 43 plast steel out of this thing. That is some excellent armor, but... Mm. Yeah, plate mail just covers everything, but it's better to have powered armor. Problem with plate mail is it slows you down quite a lot. Recon armor doesn't slow you down at all and is pretty much as good as plate mail. And marine armor and cataphrac armor is much better, although it does slow you down. There we go. See, at least that kind of smelting earns me something. Now, we got a load of weapons there, and I believe I have a smelt weapon, but it was mostly spears and long swords, wasn't it? Spear, long sword, those are all okay. So I actually want to have any spears and long swords kept over here. I gotta remember to turn that off because I do not want the uh, the nice long swords that I've made to be taken away from me. That would be bad. Also, you're important, and this is only preferred, so it should be fine for bringing them over. Also, also, some gear got used, and I always need to remember to replace that. This is the kind of thing that custom alerts would be useful for. Ali, before you do any of that, go and foursquare the low shield pack. And Spurdo and Sia both need their lances. 
And he already has a one shot left in Sanity Lance. So one in Sanity and one Shock. Normally I would use the higher condition ones so there's less wealth consumption, but at this point I don't particularly care. In fact, I'd rather use the lower ones because that way, uh, if this whole place blows up again, they're more likely, uh, the higher condition ones are more likely to survive. Wasn't there another excellent Plasteel Longsword? Maybe keep that. I was meaning to equip it. Berrickson needs a, an excellent one, but where did it go? Where did it go? Ah, here we go. Plasteel Longsword, excellent. Also, you are important, so I should probably label this as Critical. And... Berrickson. This will be a nice upgrade for you, so you're going to put that. You've got to be very careful with the smelting stuff, because you cannot tell it to only smelt certain materials. That would be too useful. At least I'm not aware of that. It would be pretty cool to set it to only do um, gold and silver and plasteel stuff. Ash of God's Redemption. I think I played similar to Banner Saga. Combat-wise, did you ever check that? I... no. Nothing even comes to mind for that. Maybe if I dump them out. Get all these spears and stuff. Dragged over elsewhere, please. Oh, they're still putting it in here for some reason. Even though this is a critical place for... Ah, I see, you don't take uh, non-biocoded, which is okay. Problem is, that's probably going to make a load of things that I don't want brought over there, brought over there. Eh, let's go for it. And dump these out again. Like I said, this is this is kind of gingerly walking around these items. Even that normal plastic longsword can be smelted down. It's not doing anyone any favors right now. There we go. Now they're going in here. And now they get smelted by someone eventually. I see. Wouldn't you like to do it? No, because smelt weapon isn't set to non bio coded. There you go, now you'll surely want to do it. Again, it takes such a long time, but I suppose it's. As long as you can afford the power and the labour and you don't have anything better to do, it's kind of a good way to make extra dosh. There we go, 250 silver from that. But I wonder if I could sell it for that money. Hmm, I don't think so. No, almost certainly not. Jake didn't even play Banner Saga the correct way. He failed to get Eggle. I killed Eggle in the first event. The events are actually something I really don't like in Banner Saga because there's no reasonable way to know uh, which is the right option other than just having played the game before. They want to destroy any of these. So you end up eventually just knowing which event options to pick. There's no strategy to it. It's just this is the good option and this is the bad option. This option gets you resources and this option kills one of your party members. So it's kind of frustrating once you know that and it's also frustrating when you don't know them. Okay, this is quickly becoming a problem and not even worth smelting these things down for anymore, but they'll get done shortly. One more shotgun and then up. Yeah, one more of these weapons and then we're fine. Yeah, fortunately I already knew about the mission that kills Gunthar. 
the event rather when the tribute thing goes over the edge and I mean if, if that goes then you, you lose all the fun quips that you get with Gunthar between him and uh, Ubin uh, although if he's dead who holds up the Arborang throne room right at the end I'd really like to replay through the game and see all of the events that normally, uh, well, all the different outcomes and all the different event options. Yeah, but the money, uh, the, mo the money gets ruined by the darkness anyway. Plus, what good is the money? The thing is, it wasn't all money, was it? It was tribute, so it included pelts and stuff. Maybe shields, weapons. Alright, there we go. Got all that stuff smelted down. Now I can go back to only doing bio-coded stuff. So this one, no non-bio-codeds. And bring the stuff out. And just so it doesn't get accidentally smelted, I'm going to suspend the smelt weapon. There we go. Everybody wins, especially me. Two more raids, and then we get off of this godforsaken rim. Osto. I wonder if I get a, a bonus for saving your life. But I still never got around to giving the goodies away to the Empire, so let's give them my delicious bedrolls, give the crappy cloth ones away, and all the good ones, and that should do us. And I did not set this to not take bedrolls. There we go. Also, I'm dead. I really have to save and save often now. I think I have done nasty things to this saved file, so we need to be ready. So I wouldn't be caught dead, save is coming. I wonder if we can give them this crappy flop hat as well. Well, the game is over just by powering up the reactor. There is also the part where we have to defend against... 15 days of raids. We don't know how intense they're going to be, but I'm going to go out on a limb and suggest they're going to be quite intense. Fortunately, though, we have a veritable army of the Black Wargs offspring to throw at them. Many of them have not yet reached maturity, but over the course of 15 days, many which are juvenile will become mature. So we've got that going for us, though. Let's get rid of that damn blockment. It'll be the only not tainted one that we have there. Yeah, it's going to be a massacre for the poor wargs. So I need to try and not send out the bonded ones. Drinks Matty, I can't go over how shanked you got there. So I'm thinking about it. You got hit. Uh, no, you got slashed on the head. But surprisingly, it only left a bruise, probably because you're wearing a cataphrac helmet. You got slashed in the jaw by a long sword. You got stabbed in the ear. You got stabbed in the eye, leaving a very bad scar. Twice you got cut, once by a thrust, right into the heart. The heart got crushed by a stab from a long sword. Arm got stabbed by a spear. Kidney got crushed by a sword. Radius cracked by a spear. Both your legs bruised, once twice by a long sword. The foot and the hand are dead. Yeah, Matty Mayo took a hell of a beating. Why did Berrickson not get ravaged out there? There's no justice on this rim. Alright, here you go. Uh, I love you long time, Empire. Although I'm already eyeing up how to destroy you. How do you get crushed by a sword? Um, basically, you get stabbed. Um, but the internal injury is somewhat armor negated. So instead, it crushes your internal organ rather than slices it. Still pretty grim, and internal crushes can still cause bleeding. It's all very grim when you talk about stuff in this game, isn't it? It's a grim game.
got all the hauling work, dragging all these clothes out here. But imagine smelting or burning each and every one of these. It would take a colonist days to do. Whereas if you just dump it in the water, Mother Nature takes its course. They're degrading by eight per day, so these will all be gone in a fortnight. And if it starts raining, I think it uh, multiplies the degradation by five, so that's quite good. Yeah, there's a the thing. Um, the sword has a weaker attack, which is just smacking somebody with a handle. It does less damage, but it does blunt damage, which, well, it's usually bad. You always want your people using your strongest attack. But you don't get to choose these things. Not much pemmican here. Sadly, though, it's counted as prisoner food, so no one wants to drag it around. Reserved for prisoners. I don't care. Hold it anyway. Get it out of there. Give it to the animals. The animals can eat the pemmican. You have to manually do that or else no colonist will touch it because, oops, reserved for our friendly prisoners. But there we go. Now there is 6,800 units of meat and 4,200 pemmican units, 1,100 kibble, and 9,700 hay. That will do all of our animals for the rest of the game, and I can quite certainly turn off sewing. Maybe not for the... Maybe not for these, but... Given how things could turn out, maybe some more medicine? Maybe just have all these set to heal root for now. Because I have no shortage of beer. Or do I? How quickly can someone get through 176 beers? Alright, I take it back. Maintain the beer. Oh, the bison already cut one down. Now you're going to sow heel root, then cut the heel root, and re sow another hop. And notice how much faster it is to sow hops than heel roots. Uh, what the heck? Where did all these other chunks come from? Oh god, this thing... I tried to move it, it didn't get moved, and instead they dug out marble chunks that then blocked the place I wanted it moved to. I see the problem here. Move that out then. An unpleasant place to be. It even blocked the light. You ever played this war of mine? No, I've had the game for a long time and just never got around to playing it. A tale as old as games themselves. I'm unconvinced that making more kibble is a good idea right now, just suspend that. The raw meat is useful for my wargs. Okay, most people are healed up. Smuggler is still unhappy as usual. But we got ways of dealing with Smuggler. Hey Smuggler, why don't you go and smoke some flake? Smuggler is teetotal, however, he has a dependency for Psychite, so he will smoke Flake on command, and because he's no longer uh, under the brainwashing of his previous religion, he won't see that as a bad thing to do. Charity Incident. You should save Lazon and his Plasteel Mace. Well, he is going to die if we don't help him. Professor, you're uh, you're a gentleman. Go and uh, maybe not capture. Oh, capture is the only thing we can do. Well then, capture him. Capture him and take damn good care of him, and then let him go. Finally disposed of all of the nasty, rotten bits of clothes. And this is why I like to get rid of this, otherwise the game will keep reminding me that these things are rotting away in storage, so I just leave them there, forbidden to just gang a while. Into the late game you might want some way to automate this. What I do is I have a big fire pit, and just every so often I lob a molotov into it and burn all the clothes and sometimes corpses.
course, if you're into the super late game, you might not need to be carving up human corpses at all. You should have plenty of other ways to get meat. You can have perpetual meat production with a good barn set up. Which is all the more disappointing why the, the wiki page for this game doesn't actually list uh, rearing animals at all as a wealth-making prospect. And it completely disregards making packaged meals because they require meat. And they go, because meat is required, we won't cover that here. And I'm thinking, but packaged meals are so good, everybody buys them, they keep forever. That's great, not to mention their value is pretty huge. By the way, I, I never got a chance to trade with the, uh, the Imperials that arrived, did I? I was really hoping to sell some of my uranium, so send me another trade caravan, please. That's a lot of human leather. Let's put that to more use. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why twenty seven? Because it's as many as I could fit before I forgot how much I have to work with. Eighty seven human leather per bedroll. I think I had about thirty one hundred human leather, but Keeps people busy, and it keeps my friends my friends, because they love bed rolls that remind them of Grandma. It's a shame I've not been able to turn Bellcat into a bed roll. You know, she really does have nine lives. Can't believe the amount of times I shot her and she still lived after our last encounter. Even though Matty Mayo is pounded into dirt and Ivor isn't feeling too great either, I am going to need to lead that Neanderthal raid eventually, but... God, I would really, really like the Imperials to arrive. Right, you are largely taken care of. Could I just give you some go juice and tell you to go? You're not even wearing any clothes. Oh, no, you're wearing a pair of trousers. But I'm going to give you the go juice and then just release you. Your blood loss isn't that bad, and your moving and your consciousness and all that will be vastly improved by uh, giving you the go juice. Castaway has another character from Banner Saga. Are you are you gonna really the Broken Empire before the ship raids? Gonna really them? I'm gonna raid them. Ah, can I release you with you having the infection? I don't know, but we can tend to the infection first. I could take that shoulder off, but then I need to give him more go juice, so instead we'll just patch up that infection with some dock leaves, drag his half-naked body outside, slap him on the tutu, and say, get out of here, garbage crew. And we're actually going to feel good about that, right? We feel good about a lot of things. Not carving up all the humans, but that's hardly a problem. Re-ally. Um, I think I'll at least keep them neutral. I don't think I'll re-ally them. I need them neutral to use my Imperial abilities. My permits, if you will. And I would rather still have those, especially for the big fights. Oh, the, the Eclipse ended ages ago and I haven't been Powering back on my uh, my lights. Ah, oh, I like the song Cruel World. <laughs> All the songs are good. I built this for a certain kind of fabric. I can't remember what. So it's probably not important. Yeah, our prisoner made it away unscathed. Hmm, Professor doesn't seem to care. Did anyone care? Normally you get a plus two, or we let a healthy prisoner go free, but maybe the fact that he was diseased stopped them counting as healthy. The, the Empire is just refusing to send me the, uh, the tax collector. 
It's been almost a year, and they're meant to arrive twice per year. Uh, they weren't exactly healthy. I patched them all up. Patched up all their wee boo-boos. I didn't even have to. Oh, well, as long as they didn't make us unhappy. Considering their track record, would you send this colony another kill, Hector? <laughs> yeah, it's like, what do you mean they've been very honourable? Where's the gold? Ah, well, we seem to have lost that with the gold collector. But not before they got a receipt for handing over all that gold. Speaking of the gold, I might go and mine out some more. I do love the gold, but come on, I've got plenty of gold, right? 7,400 gold. 200 gold is 3 honor, so that's a lot of honor. Go, Pansy. That, there's no way to encourage them to arrive, you just gotta stick it out for them. But I still have another fight to do. Heck, there, there's no problem in fighting the Imperials before they come, I'd just rather have them arrive before I do it in case there's some kind of internal counter that's preventing that. Also, what if I broke stuff by... Uh... Yeah, there is something I've added, and I don't know how to get rid of it, I don't know what it's doing, and it's this thing. What does it mean? What does it do? Maybe if I set it to one minute, it'll go away. This game really needs a Diplo update. It's way too easy to portray and re-ally. Yeah, it is. And that would be nice. I just generally like a... Just more going on here. The world is too vast and meaningless. There's no difference between this place and this place and this place. Not at all. Caravanning is tedious. There's just uh, there's nothing, nothing good about it. Or they could just not focus on that at all. And I wouldn't be surprised if they don't, because the main strength of the game is this. Build your colony, manage your colony, defend your colony. All the adventure mode style stuff is, is kind of poor, honestly. And maybe their attention is better spent elsewhere. Maybe another game should come in that focuses more on journeying around. Just have to get rid of that. Our massive stone pit that we're never going to use can remain there. Can you make a grand golden statue with the excess? That would need 4,000 gold. So there's no way I would do that. If I was going to make a grand statue, I'd make it out of jade. Which I almost have the jade for, but not quite. And I wouldn't do it anyway, I'm not big on them. I like these statues, the large ones, because you could, they're only one by one, you can move around rather easily. Also, let's have more advanced components because 10 is not enough. I want more. So uh, those Imperials just don't want to arrive. I would even abandon the fight with the Neanderthals just to get the uh, Imperial fight going, uh, the Imperial trade going. Speaking of which, which Neanderthals? There's Bed Ben Lur. And they might be the only ones to make, uh, make sense to fight, because they're so close by. Let me re-familiarize myself with what a Neanderthal is. They're slow, at least. But they are strong and robust. And they have reduced pain. This makes them so incredibly deadly to fight, mano a mano. So I might actually have to kite them a bit. Take my shot run back a bit. But that's going to be difficult if not everyone is juiced, and not everyone might be juiced for that. And not everyone has the genes for constant juicing either. Hmm. Hmm. Troublesome. I mean, the last guys were hard enough to fight, and they were it was somewhat regular. These guys are Neanderthal-focused. 
The guns are an advantage, and fighting in melee is just asking to die. How are you feeling, Matty? For the love of God, why are you not healed up by now? I know you got eye problems, but I can't fix that for you. I have no bionic eyes. Right? No, but I could remove your eye. That wouldn't help, though. Fortunately, sight, uh, it carries extra weight for the better eye. So whilst this eye might as well not be there, the other eye is still good, so it contributes three quarters of the seeing. After all, losing one eye doesn't make you half blind. I would presume. Being blinded is a really interesting feeling. Uh, when I had my eye surgery, or my LASIK, uh, you get blinded during it. You, you don't get knocked out. Well, I didn't get knocked out. Maybe that's just a recurring theme that happens to me in Sweden, but I didn't get KO'd for it. So uh, I could uh, I could feel it, and it was such a strange feeling having your eyes open, but you couldn't see. All I could see was pretty much like old TV static. Was that an aesthetic shaper? Could at least fix one of Matty's problems. Do I have an aesthetic shaper? I don't remember picking that up, but maybe I grabbed it off of one of the people that I did in. Um, well, tell you what, you, you need to repair up anyway. Why don't we make you slightly more beautiful for your lover, Gian? Where's the aesthetic shaper? Ah, there we go. Hey, we'll even give you a love enhancer. There you go. Although it's a little wasted on you, at the age of 57 and hating your partner, you don't get up to a lot of McLovin. I've experienced blindness for about 15 minutes. It's pretty freaky knowing that things were there, but I couldn't see anything. Pretty freaky sounds about right. I had a Germanic-sounding doctor with a great sense of humor. Now that we have destroyed your eyesight, I will proceed to fix it. I don't think I mind putting things in the torso so bad. It's when you replace all the limbs that things start feeling a bit weird for me in this game. Yeah, we fixed your nose, and because you're our 1,000th operation, we threw in a free penis enlargement. Yeah, Matty Mayo, the female Neanderthal, would certainly appreciate that. Well, no refunds. They'll be kind of out of it for a day, but I think after that day they should be healed up. And we're going to go and take our fight over to Lurit. And that's not going to be a pleasant fight. I'm already trying to think of the best way to deal with them. The thing about sending in the wargs is that the wargs are going to get maimed. But maybe I should bring them anyway, because it's better that the wargs get horribly maimed than we do. Plus, yeah, we got far too many of them. It's high time that we had the big cull of TBW's children. Freaking BRs, right? You just say that they can do whatever, shove them into a room, and then suddenly three turn into 65. I can't take all of them, though. I can only take the ones that are trained in attack. But they will be taken. And yeah, I guess I'll just unleash them on the... Uh... The, the problem is if I unleash them and then I shoot at them, a lot of my shots are going to hit them, especially since I'm firing with inaccurate miniguns. So, one idea is that I flank with them, or attack from behind with them, but I just feel like that's going to go wrong. So maybe I just let the wargs attack, and then once the wargs have all been brutally uh, maimed in the assault, then the surviving um, Neanderthals I just gun down. Yeah, yeah, it's like screening. It's a smart thing to do. Must suck to be all, uh, a designated screen, though. Especially in the Navy. It's like, oh, what's our job? You're the screen. Oh, okay. Just, just get in the way, take the shots to the ships that matter. Can I not be on that ship? No. No, you may not. <laughs> Dark Young got offered that when he went to visit the settlement last run. They ripped out my spine and shot me into the desert. <laughs> you left alive? 
Right, Matty might be uh, awake now, but they're woozy, and that wooziness really hurts their combat abilities. A lot of fizzing though, but the power seems okay. Every time I see that, I'm thinking, oh boy, are the tax collectors here? No, they're not. Oh, little scat. Don't know enough Swedish to know the rest of his lines, but they were good lines. Oh, Jesus, how long has this been permanently open for? That's been putting pressure on my... Uh, on my crops. Professor, could you kindly close that door for me? I left that door open ever since the mech fight. And that's been letting the minus 14 air into here. Fortunately, it hasn't been a big deal. Because I've got all these generators and heaters warming the place up. But still not pleasant. You cannot attack them and just keep them as an extra layer of passive defense. Ah, you mean have the um, have the wargs surround our colonists so that if and when we get mobbed, the wargs take the hits, and that way I won't be shooting at them either. That's a pretty great idea, a fantastic one even, because Lurit are Neanderthals and they probably won't appreciate fighting close combat very well. Is that right? Wrong one, Matty. Poor shooting, yeah. Yeah, you know, that's a pretty good idea. Don't want to get mobbed in the first place, though, but yeah, what the hell. Alright, once Matty Mayo is ready to rock and roll, we rock and we roll. You know, unless the uh, Imperials arrive, in which case we jump back post-haste. Although the Professor could do the trading for us. The Professor, we could just dump all of the honor onto Professor and then he will be our caster. A caster is the wrong word, but he's certainly going to uh, summon the Jannies and the uh, the drop attacks. That comes with problems. I need to make him Praetor first. No, that comes with too many problems. Maybe I should leave someone else behind just in case, but I want all my Psycasters left behind. Oh, there's Pandy! I could leave Pandy behind, and that way, if the traders do arrive, I send a Professor and Pandy. Professor gets put up to Praetor, and Pandy just gets everything else. Uh, but then what about the gold? I like that gold. I could let them keep it, but I don't want to let them keep it. Maybe I just take Pandy and keep shooting at them? Well, there are lots of things to consider, but it probably won't even go that way. Matty! You'll be fine soon enough, but you could mental break like that. Ugh. Stabbed in the spear through the eye, though. That's just grim. You're dead lucky that didn't go through into the brain. Oh, there we go. Fully healed, but not from the anesthetic. That said, wearing off doesn't have that bad of an effect. Even so, I'll give it one more day. But tomorrow we go on the offense. And we bring the wargs. That's the important part, or it's an important part. And then after Lurit, it's the Empire's time to go. And that Empire could be a big problem, but why are they not bringing in the tax collector? Come on, I want to pay my taxes. I want the honor associated with it. I live in a grand insula, you want to tax me. Four times tax rate. Actually, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 people here. That's three small tents. What about one individual building? Is that a large casa? A large casa holds fifth. People. Don't know, don't usually deal in one by ones. God, yeah, culling here is going to be pretty good. There are just way too many little BRs in there. 
I'm starting year three of no, ca uh, no tax collector showing up in my game. Every six months, my eye. Uh, are you similarly giving them uh, gold? Imperial trader. Ah, it's not the right kind of trader, though. This is the one that I ordered. However, still might not be a bad idea to trade with you. I want that high. I want those high explosive shells. And that's about it. Hold on, prestige cataphract armor, normal quality times two. That might not be the worst idea to get for the final push. Well, however you cut it, Nancy, go out there and trade with them. Tomorrow we attack. Gear check, maybe? Saru would probably appreciate something thicker than a blanket. Uh, you say that, but she's wearing a thrombo for a parka, which is quite good. Although, thinking about it, she'd probably appreciate like a jacket over a parka, but it gets cold around here. Mm, but yeah, sure enough, I should probably throw Saru into some marine armor. I think I put her into that because it's better for going out harvesting gold when she's not so heavy. Um, that's interesting and not my problem. It's going to be these guys' problem pretty soon. Even so, uh, all of my mechs, please stay inside now. And all of my people, also please stay inside. The axe went mad. There aren't a lot of them, but... I'll let the I'll let the uh, imperial friends deal with it. Nancy, why are you not trading with me? I told you to trade with me. So many of these damn things. I wish it told me which ones weren't trained up, though. I think it tells me which training level they're going for, but not what they're actually at. Because I could tra uh, trade away all the crappy ones that I don't want. Anyway, I said I wanted your high explosives, and you certainly want my uranium. I don't have a use for this much uranium, and just look at how much uranium sells for. Mm -hmm. Just like that, I can take all your money and then some. And yeah, that uranium was easy to get. That's damn good value. Okay, so deep drilling for uranium is great, but the problem is the only buyer are the Imperials, unless there's someone else that can do it that I don't know of. I wanted flesh shaping, but we're too late. Too late. Well, you know, I might as well grab it. It only costs me uranium. Otherwise, mind screw. Prestige cataphract armor. Makes you very slow. Very, very slow. But the protection is out of this world. Even so, I don't think I'll take it. I'm more in the more in the business of LTEX. So just give me an excuse to pay you loads of uranium. I will take all of your silver, and you're going to deal with these yachts because I'm certainly not. Ching. Please haul this stuff, even though you're outside of the nice zone here, Nancy. And the yaks are on their way, so don't uh, don't hang around. A six-year-old is calling, begging to join you at Icicle Creek. There's some sort of threat following Mendoza. He's unwilling to say what it is. Right, well, I know we're charitable, but screw that kid. What has he done to deserve our charity? I hope the axe actually go out and deal with you. I said I had plenty of beer, but I actually wonder if this is sufficient beer to keep up with my consumption. We do consume a fair stack of it. And I never did replace this wooden wall. I said I would and I didn't. How is five yaks a 10,000 point raid? Well, why don't we find out? So, naturally we're maxed out on points. Randy adds 1.17. And it doesn't really say. I think it was just, he was giving me a mad animal event, and the most mad animal things he could hit me with are yaks. 
There are one, two, three, four, five, six elks. So one more elk, but I think elks are easier targets. But yeah, your guess is as good as mine, what Randy gets up to in his head. This floor is removed at some point. Maybe not when they're angry yet, so around there. I could just go and shred them though. James, we have the we have the guns to turn them inside out. And you know what? Why don't we do exactly that? Maybe not see an Andy there sleeping away like babies, but you guys could have a, a raucous good time shooting them dead. And yeah, with the slight cold, it's already too much for these guys. You're pathetic. Where Yak did not deserve that. But he did get it, and the others will get it too. You can get out of that water. <laughs> Already soaking wet just from a little bit of that. How can anyone not like miniguns? Eh, hey, sheer amount we're shooting! Although, look at that there. The very much point and click assault rifle just uh, eliminated you with a brain shot. Still one mad yak though. And I reckon Spurdo and Ferdinando will be enough to take care of you. This should absolutely be allowed. These were driven mad, not given Scaria, so I don't need to worry about them rotting on me. Also, the distance is being covered a little too quickly here, so let's just... Oh, I was just trying to run away now. I guess it wasn't that mad. Yeah, there we go. Poor bloody thing. Enough for Ferdinand to level up though, but another one through the brain. Is it worth staying huddled up inside just for a wee threat like that? I think Randy let out his last dying breath with that mech cluster on top of my base. Although this does still look pretty bad, I think that can still be mined out a touch. Yeah, if I'm in desperate need of more uranium for whatever reason, the option's there. Alright folks, sleep well tonight. Tomorrow's the big one. Ivor tried to attract Nancy by mentioning his own age. Hey Nancy, I've lived for 125 years. Far better than you short-lived species can ever dream of. Nancy at the tender age of 26 wasn't having any of that. One bad back delirious asthmatic blind yeah. <laughs> the real threat. Charity refused. Yeah, that's a real damn shame, isn't it? Minus eight for eight days. Actually, that stacks with the human-like destruction that we've done, but that's okay. Well, it's probably okay. It might become a problem when we go on the offense tomorrow. I like that breakdown of wealth for raids. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of cluttered given how late in the game we are. But I think early on when you are managing your wealth, this would be pretty important. Show you exactly what inside your base is contributing towards it. So it uh, looks like these are the fully grown wargs. Or maybe it's just wargs in general. 12.8 on a warg. Oh, they're all the same then. Cool. So wargs are pretty great. Only 12.8 and they're a great attack animal. I mean, I could have Professor Herschel Layton or I could have about 13 wargs. Uh, yeah, I mean, Layton's pretty great, but... When it comes to killing power, which is what you need, those wargs will handle it. And yeah, this is also good to know. 
warg puppies are worth the same as wargs, so it'll have them grow up or slaughter the puppies or whatnot. Colonists aren't worth a whole lot, so that's what I get from pawns. Not that it matters, because we've hit the, the wealth limit anyway. And if we were being attacked by actual raiders, it would have shown what the raiders were worth, and then you notice, oh, there must be some rocket launchers in the mix. And what a surprise there usually are. Which I agree, 5 yaks is not a 10k point raid. If it were a driven mad by Scaria spawning on the edge of the map thing, then it could have been something like 50 man-hunting mega sloths. But the one that disturbs the animals already on the map are never big, because there's never that much wildlife on the map. Like, this is about as long as a wildlife list gets without you adding to it artificially. What the heck is this? Vomit of Ivor. Ivor was the name of a childhood cat. And I forget if it was my cat or the cousin's cat. Ivor, Ivor, Ivor. I don't know. Could be one of the other. Uh, I think it was the cousin's cat, actually. Anyway, Ivor was a weird and sickly cat. Oh, I was just talking about Mega Sloths. Oh, God, Akbro. Is this Acronymous? It is! Acronymous wishes to join us. But there are 71 man hunting mega slots after me. Huh. That, that kind of sounds like a you problem and not a me problem. But on the other hand, they would keep my base pretty safe for as long as they're here. That would be awesome if I were just starting up my um, my ship reactor right now. Could stumble on the way back to the base. Terrible shame for him, wouldn't it? Also, what is up with your appearance there, Actro? Hmm, what's the harm in saying yes? Well, I don't want Actro on the team. Uh, the team is the team is full. This ship is full up. Although that is a very tempting amount of mega slots. I might just say no though. I'm about to go on my attack here. I don't want to get constantly sidetracked. There's a number of ways I could use those mega sloths though, because I could summon, say, a mechanoid attack. I could summon Apatriton, and he would get mauled by those mega sloths. No questions asked. If I had another quest that would spawn a bunch of uh, enemies on the map, I could also bring that in. You could accept him, then leave him behind when you leave on the ship. That is an idea, isn't it? And hell, if nothing else, might not be the worst thing just to have those mega sloths around. You never know when you're going to get suddenly raided by something you don't want to deal with. However, I do want to be able to access my ship. Ooh, this was mud. Damn and blast it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna granite this thing up so it doesn't cause me issues like that. Somewhat complicates home zone. I'm thinking about just putting a quick wooden wall here so that I have a way into this, just in case I need to access this. But honestly, when's that really going to happen? Temporary safety and then buggering off, leaving into his mega sloths. I like your style. Alright, we'll take the bleeding mega sloths. And yeah, we don't need to summon any mech people, although I still want my Diabolus, but I don't think we're going to get Diabolus when had the signal chips arrive for it. Alright, Arco, welcome aboard. Let's make sure that our mechs don't wander around outside, and make sure that no one wanders around outside. We're all on stay inside. Mechs do not head out there. As we have learned, fire in the home area overrides those 
restrictions, so I've got to be careful that a fire doesn't happen here and someone just wanders out to deal with it, because they will get mega slothed. When you need to access the spaceship, one word, uh, none of this is flammable. The spaceship is completely inflammable. Inflammable means flammable. Alright, Arco. You appear to have given yourself a furry tail. And cat ears. You're also sterile and you're just disgusting. Why did you put yourself in one? Anyway, let's get you back in before those mega sloths have their way with you. Let's make sure that you only wear what is forced, you only eat paste, and you're happy enough. Oh, the Professor wasn't told to carry medicine on him. Oh, you think of yourself as a strong master of intellect. Oh, you're incapable of violence. I should really just blast you off to the nearest place and be done with you. Yeah, we're all learning so much about acronyms today. Andy, do you think you could, like, finish this? Lady Seru, Blubbery Abyss, everybody's coming to work on these, it seems. You go and do that, the granite's already delivered, right? Alright, there we go, holy trivens, threat points used 20,000. How is that even possible? Force maximum 10,000. Final result 20,000. Okay. Sure. Well, Arco, you, you better hurry the heck up. Do I have a Psycaster able to skip him in quicker? Mm, maybe. Mega sloths aren't slow, buddy. Pick up the pace. And okay, I thought Pandu was about to lock himself in there. Alright, sorry, Ivor. Afro is already here. I could set up the little wooden blockers on the outside doors so they don't constantly harass me there, and I think that's exactly what I'll do. They're easy to set up, and they're easy to get rid of, and they just stop the... Um, they stop them from just constantly harassing my walls, and I, I don't like it when they do that. So we'll just get those built up. No harm, no foul. What about you? Let's give you a regular schedule, Actro. Let's say... What kind of jobs can you do? You're kind of useless in a lot of ways. You won't even do basic stuff. Computer engineers will not do basic activities like rearming and refueling or hauling or cleaning or delivering. No, you just want to research and scan. And admittedly you are very good at it, but neither of those jobs need done anymore. I don't need crafter, tailor, you can make drugs. Uh, you are just bloody useless, Acro. Well, at least you're taking off your clothes. You're not even capable of violence, so I can't even send you into fight. You're just awful. Take off your trousers as well while we're at it. I don't even think I want to give you good trousers. Force wear your crappy clothes. I guess I'll give you a half decent shirt as well. I don't want to though. Take one of my normal devil strands actually. It's be a grim time to discover that I've made some kind of mistake and the Mega Sloths can come streaming in. I think that's the case right now. Compared to this garbage smuggler with a golden colony, he didn't have cat ears or furry tail, did he? Our crow, uh, Acro get way, way down to the bottom of the pile here. Pecking order, you are at the bottom of it. And you're immediately making yourself at home by drinking my beer in my base. God, I'm disgusted by you. At least go and attack that, uh, apply that tech print. Uh, 
the uh, barrack style cult and he says yes not true one two three four five six seven eight nine double bedrooms for our colonists the barracks are overflow and because we're on a coal bog our building space has been severely limited you know this would be the worst time for the um, for the tr uh, tax collector to arrive because they would get mauled and they wouldn't accept my taxes so let's hope that doesn't happen now lagging off my Bax style colony could you is this oh growing so I don't use that anymore whilst I do somewhat miss the rat pit. I think we're just going to destroy this. It's getting in the way of my far skip area. Speaking of which, it's time to fight Lurit real soon. And I'm quite nervous about that, but at least I'll have a veritable army of wargs to send at them. He's grabbing their breakers. I might actually send over a Psychic Soother and have that during the fight, just to uplift our moods, because we've got this minus 17 that's not going to go away. Not while we're there, at least. And okay, now, so we had this problem before, I need you to pick up an additional load of go juice. And Treps, we need you to pick up an additional amount of medicine, and I am... I don't have nearly as much medicine as I would like, but please go and pick up that... Pick up like 20 more bits of medicine, which is well worth it. Forget the granite blocks. Hasn't been used about Frostpunk 2, has there? Apparently there was some super secret news at some game show or convention or something. Hasn't reached my ears. I'm sure it would have, so it can't have been that amazing. Right, time to check people out. You're making more go juice, Nancy. Well, I'm not surprised, but is now really the time. Nancy, Ivor, Pandy. Did I say I'd bring Pandy? Does Pandy still have his lance on him? Sending Sia, but okay. Um, there's a post on Twitter today that they're looking for playtesters, preferably located in Warsaw, because that'll take two weeks. Perhaps we should grab some extra mind bending lances. Pandy? Please. Well, I'll draft you first. Pick up. Actually, do it now. Just. Pick up, pick up, and pick up. Good. Oh, thrombos. Well, normally I would go out of my way to grab them. I mean, that's five juicy thrombos, loads of meat, horns, and leather. But at this stage of the game, we have need for none of these things. Nancy, Iber, Spurdo, Smuggler, Ali, Ferdinand, Altar, Lady Seru, Berrickson, Matimeo, Gian, all of you, line up. Your needs will be fulfilled. Meanwhile, Trebliard, uh, I always take it for granted that you're fine, and you are fine. Let's get in the pod. Fine, 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 fine. Yeah, not so fine. Ferdinand needs some food. Ferrickson and Lady Sarah could also do with some food. We'll go and consume a fine meal. Consume a fine meal and consume a fine meal. Allie, how are you feeling? Allie's generally fine. I think I'll free juice people up this time, so I keep managing to forget that. Um, better looking at gear, right? Go juice. I was better look better looking and making sure that they were actually able to take go juice. Altar, take your go juice. Drew specialized for go juice. Iver Iver. 
juice it up. Waster, oh yeah, juice it up. Wait, actually, no. Nancy, you absolutely juice it up. Even though it's not really time, I need to juice you after we get there because then that's when you're gonna have spent your sidecast to get us over there. None for you, Serdo. Uh, Spurdo, but Matty Mayo, absolutely take the juice. Once you guys eat up, we're good to go. Matty, overdosed? How? Did you recently take some go juice? Oh, that uh, that drug overdose will be gone in no time, so I don't need to worry about that. All right, over to lure it. Oh, right, we're saving before this. This messed up for us before. It will probably mess up again. Sassy detectives, stream twenty-seven. There have not been twenty-seven streams. I'm just keeping a rolling save because it seems like the smart thing to do. Also, Pandy, uh, you are tired. And uh, it's a little harder to juice you up than others, but you're just going to have to deal with being tired and get over here. One of these days I should just juice up my wargs. Could you imagine being fought by uh, go-juiced wargs? But that would be... it would be a pain in the butt to give it to them. You'd have to lay them each down inside a bed, manually administer it one by one. Although I suppose once they're good to go, man, the damage they would do, they just wouldn't go down. Maybe I'll save that for the Imperials. That'd be a nice, horrible present to give them. Go juiced wargs. All right, all right. The surviving wargs from this assault get the joy of juicing up. Uh, I was about to do something and forgot. I saved, and I was going to launch Trebliard over to here. Now, for some reason, just attacking seems a little bugged, so instead we visit Bed Ben Lure. Whee! Uh, Seru, juice up. Berrickson, you're not already juiced. Oh, you're already juiced. In fact, Lady Seru is also juiced up. Okay, neither of you juice up then. That was a mistake I made with Matty Mayo, somehow. Maybe they were on their... Um... Ooh, maybe I messed up their scheduling for it. That sounds reasonable. No, let's just deal with addictions. Hmm. Well, heavens knows. Probably a mistake I made some way, somehow. Ferdinand? You're on the juice special, and you are not juiced up. So you, take your go juice. Right, now. Trebliard, you're ready to attack at a moment's notice. And we are ready to skip over at a moment's notice. So what we're going to do is thus. Nancy, stand in the center. Nancy's entourage. Crowd around Nancy. Now I don't clean the room. No, see, I wouldn't need see it here. Get around there. Did you pack extra juice with Nancy? I believe so. Yeah, I remembered this time. And Trebliard has extra medicine on him. Right, what I also need to do is zone the wargs or far skip point, that's it. Mmm. -hmm. I don't know how big it's allowed to be, but we'll sort that out. But first things first, though, which animals go to the far skip point? Uh, we'll try and avoid taking the bonded animals, but we'll have them attached to Lady Seru, since Seru is our Malayer. So, who's going over? I think I'll even take the pregnant. Oh, you're so pregnant, though. It's, gonna, it's really going to hurt. You're going to miscarry. Everyone's going to be sad. Well, you're going to be the saddest. Get in there. Far skip point. Bonded, so no. Mysterious BR is one of the OG wargs. And I think they survived a previous fight, but I could be misremembering that. Either way, I'll let them live. Also, they're heavily pregnant. Bamboozler. Boovy. Black warg has earned the right to stay and constantly mate. You're all bonded, so I will ignore you. It's funny that the TBW and Orlov refuse to bond. Right, otherwise, the only thing I'm checking for is that they're actually trained enough to fight. I don't even care how pregnant they are. If they're trained enough to fight, they're getting into that fight. I don't care if they are juvenile, if they're still a baby. They get in there. Oh, to the parskip point you go. 
I mean, hell, it's going to be such an adventure for you, Warks. I will sort out other things once we're over in the area, then I won't need to duck between them for uh, for the right wargs. A lot of juveniles, though. They're going to die in droves to the um, to the Neanderthals. Oh, that's just cruel, says Kaladin. you got to be cruel to be kind. I hope they all go, go. Oh man, they're so cute. They really are just dogs, you know. Alright, Nancy, what's the range on your far skippage? It's that. Okay. Could I plan around that? Oh man, it's gonna be hard to do. Okay, that's fine. And then it's just... I think that's the range of a solar thingamajigger, isn't it? No, the solar thingamajigger is a little bit larger. Okay, so trim one off each corner and pull it out one. Gotcha. One off each corner, pull it out. One off each corner, pull it out. That is 120% Nancy's far skip. Yep. And that means that the far skip point is going to line up this precisely. We're not allowed to be outside of it. That looks okay-ish. Move in there, wargs. I can't have you floundering around outside there. Nancy, we're all good? Well, I think some of them are still around there, but hey. <laughs> Five days old and you got fully trained in attacking? That's madness. Alright, we save again to a different save, just in case this mucks up again. Mucked up before. Could muck up now. Poor wargs have never seen anything other than that room. They're being shoved directly into warg D-Day. Warg D Day, I like that. Alright, let's go for the attack. They will eventually start raiding. That doesn't sound like my problem. And then hopefully it doesn't break. I don't like how the game is suddenly not responding. Oh, there we go. Hey, you are there. Seems to be fine. Maybe it was just that one site had a problem. Whoa, they're tight. Oh, Jesus, that's a lot of. That's a lot of people I don't want to fight. Strong, robust, reduced pain. What kind of weapons are we looking at here? Not a lot of bows. A lot of long swords. Not even that many pila. It's going to be mostly equas, spears, and swords then. So we shouldn't have to worry about too many projectiles, but there will still be some. The main problem is that's a lot of people to be charging me. <sighs> Fortunately, though Trebliard is in a pretty ideal situation, I can skip over pretty immediately. Actually, we would probably be better off fighting them from over here. That way they have to either take the long way around or cross the water. They'll probably take the southern way around. Which does lead me to a nice little choke point here for, uh, for psychically blasting them. But yes, Trebs, get yourself over there. The rest of us will join you at about now. Alright, Nancy. Far skip our way over. Leaving Pan, uh, leaving the Professor and Sia to hold down the fort, so to speak. For the love of God, do not send me the uh, Imperial Traders now. Hey! Here we all are. Where are the wargs? Why the wargs not join? Why did the wargs not join? Maybe they only join if they're set to follow? Huh. Or maybe it's because I was off the screen? I hate doing this, but I told you, says Asselkur. If I recall, last time they didn't come with a far skip, probably needs to be on guard. Ah, uh, okay, I didn't see that, but I don't see many messages that aren't pinged. Also, if you hate that, then don't do that. Right, that's okay, they're not on the offense with us just yet. What I can do is tell Nancy to drink an abusive amount of go juice and do it again. 
Um, so Nancy and Lady Seru, you're both heading back. This is going to be expensive on the juice, but that's okay. Everybody else get into position. It shouldn't matter too much as long as we just get down there. Alright, Nancy, you know what needs to be done. <laughs> See those 22 units of go juice you've got? Drink up, lassie. Glug. 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 Oh god, it's just sloshing around inside of her at this point. Uh, right, the two of you are going to far skip back to home. Andy, for the love of god, get in the position. I can't have you far skipping back as well. Bye bye, Nancy and Saru. Bing. Now, Nancy, Saru, you need to get back over here. Uh, back over here? Yeah, there we go. You guys are just camping out for a little bit, don't worry. Kind of good that the enemy isn't positioned. I also forgot to bring over one of these. How, is, how are people's moods over there, by the way? I mean, they're fine for now, but they're probably going to get a little iffy. Um, you know what? Have faith. We'll be okay. I won't need a... I won't need a psychic soother. Come on, there's not much time. They might start their attack. Good thing you're juiced up already. Come on, Nance. Get yourself over there. Don't melee any of the freaking wargs. She's a monster. Right. I think the problem is Seru's got the center, right? Nancy, stand there. These animals... Got so hard to move you around. All the animals on far skip point, which I think I can sort by. Yeah, here we go. They're all... Why is Bamboozler here? You're bonded. Oh god, get out of there. Anyway, the rest of them should be on Lady Seru. Because Lady Seru's the one going in here. It's on Bamboozler, because Bamboozler tends to see to their needs. And then Follow Master when drafted will be on for all of you. And hopefully this will cause them to far skip over. What an un what an unpleasant moment to learn about this, but there we go. And now Nancy needs to inject a lot more go juice. I choose to believe it's not injecting, it's consuming, right? Da 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 da. Doesn't mention anything about injecting, we're probably just slurping it down like a smoothie. This is like 60 bucks each that we're slurping down. Yeah, 53. This stuff ain't free. Alright, there we go. Sludge is probably skulking. Ah, I completely forgot about Sludge. I wonder if Sludge could get over here in time. Hey Sludge, get over to Far Skip Point and join Seru. Sludge loves a good fight, I'm sure. Come on, Sludge. On the double now. We've got skipping to do. I think the take drug command mentions injection. I choose not to believe that. Alright, far skip over. Why? 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 Why did that not work? Skip the caster along with everyone standing near them to an ally. This sends people far across but only works if there is a willing ally at the other end. Hmm. The way to do it is caravan them off the map and then far skip the caravan. Ah. Hmm, 
I'm wondering if this is just not worth doing right now then, or do we go back and quickly caravan the animals? Yeah, 120% works with uh, with animals. Just not in this way for some reason. Okay, right, what do I do then? What do I do? Hmm. I want to go back and do all that again. How are these people feeling? Well, they're just hanging around, aren't they? Uh, Nancy could drink a lot of go juice. Go. Oh man, it would take forever to caravan up. I think that might be the only sane thing to do, Baron. All right. When was it that we saved before? Anyway, was it twenty-eight or twenty-seven before the skip? I'm going twenty-seven. The code has this. Home map and and pawn race props animal. So it won't teleport animals from the home map. Oh, we're all learning stuff today. Okay, so um, this won't change anything. The map is, the enemy base is still going to be there, but now we actually know how to bring the animals in. I don't know, calling anything experimental always feels like a massive cop-out peony, like you don't have confidence in your own methodology. Excuse me. Excuse me some more. Right. We'll caravan up with the wargs then. Oh, man. Okay, there we go. I think I'm, I think I'm somewhat alive. Oh, wait, hang on. Caravanning is a bit of a problem for us. Because we've got all these guys. Ah, oh, man alive. Ah, Jesus. Um... Well, I guess we are delaying our attack for a little bit then. Ain't no way I'm taking on all of that. If there's a caravan, it will take all the pawns in the caravan. The question becomes, can you do that the moment after you form the caravan, but before you leave the map? Um, I'm almost certain I would have to leave the map. But leaving the map would incur the wrath of all of these mega slots for sure. And whilst I could gun them all down, I think the more sensible thing to do is just wait out a few days before they go away. That's a shame, that wasted a lot of people's time and effort in setting up to go go, but oh well. Perhaps if you feed them Arco, they'll leave quietly. Yeah, what did you do to annoy 71 Mega Sloths? They're meant to be very gentle creatures. Look okay, here, giant solitary herbivore with two giant claws for warding off threats. It's peaceful when left alone. Okay, well that's it. Acro decided to fully indulge in their disgust disgusting ways to annoy all of the Mega Sloths on the rim. Until they bugger off. Even if I were to attack them, there's not much I'd gain out of it because most of them would die to Scaria, which would instantly rot their bodies. Oh, can I select just one? There we go, yeah, Scaria. I am so paranoid that we get the Imperial Trader whilst these guys are here and they just ruin them before I can get a chance to trade with them. On the plus side, if they were to spawn, say, here, that would be great. I could rush out, trade with them, and then. For legal purposes, it would be the Mega Sloths that kill them. But if they were to spawn here, they would get instantly gibbed. And I would not be able to uh, to do anything. Damn you, Berkson. Well, whilst not much is going on, I'm going to take another shot at trying to convert you to our cause. 
because your wrong religion ways constantly causes strife inside our community. Can't you teleport them? Teleport who? Or drop of them. Again, who's them in this context? Depression has given birth. What a horrible prospect. Alright, it's about a 20% shot that we convert you. You have been a constant thorn in my side, Berrickson. But if we convert you, at least... You should stop being quite so annoying. No, it was again terrible. Fruitless back and forth argument dronged, dragged on for a cringe inducingly long time. Uh, we just do not have a lot of converting this chap. Oh, the one trader. Well, the problem is I wouldn't even be able to get over to the Imperial traders before these slots maul them to death. I mean, even. Even just getting over to the drop pod to drop pod over there would take too long, or rushing out and teleporting over to them would take too long. So yeah, hopefully they wouldn't spawn around here, but if it were in about three quarters of the rest of the map, it would be fine. Again, there's no guarantee they even arrive, I just have to speed up. At least I'm safe during this time, and a lot of people are kind of idling with nout to do. Well, if that's the case, why don't we turn these things on and let our big-brained individuals actually research something. Can't even do recon because I'm missing what exactly? I don't know, but we could figure out flesh shaping. When are the traders expected to arrive? The Imperial traders, uh, on average, arrive twice per year, but it's been almost a year since we last saw them. And that is just on average. You can go years without seeing them, or you can get them several times in one year. Yeah, that's that's one of my thinking. The professor can look up how to get a nose. He's actually disgusting to people because of his shattered nose. Which is sad to think people don't like the professor just because he's disfigured. A bit harsh calling him disfigured. Okay. There is a bulk trader, but it's a trade ship. That's okay. I wonder if maybe they take uranium. No, they don't. I doubt they have anything of value to me. Loads of rams, dromedaries, and cats, none of which I'm after. Although they sell meals, they won't actually buy meals off of you. I was looking for more Nutramain, so I will certainly take that. Very rare instance of being able to buy synth thread, but there's no point in getting synth thread when hyperweave is available, or thrombo fur for that matter. Otherwise, I've always got flake to sell, or I often have flake to sell. And I doubt your hops are that good. Cute, but that's all I'll take. Nimbus Stratus is a cool tune, but these danger tracks are ill-placed when the threat is safely outside of our walls. I don't know, um, I think it was in Unwound Future, Professor Layton actually takes his hat off. To get all mopey about his girlfriend or something. Claire, wasn't it? Claire Redfield. It was not Claire Redfield, just have Resident Evil on the mind. Alright, Mega Sloths, time to go. I cannot believe I took them on just to get Actro in the team. He looks like such a freak. Usually a few days before they get so hungry that they scarper. Scary, I might mess with their mind, but they still need to eat and sleep and whatnot. Actually, I'm not sure about their needs. Oh, I meant to put this campaign to the to bed, but 
taking on Akra has cost me valuable time. Got it. <sighs> At least it should be easy to bring the wargs back when all's said and done, because we caravan straight from the attack site to get back here. With a nose, the professor can definitely woo Sia. Uh, wasn't Sia taken? Ah, no, Pandy is now the ex-lover. Broke up with me, minus 50. Oh, I'd love to send Akra to the Mega Sloth, but that would make our people unhappy as well. They're just a constant source of unhappiness, Akra. Come on, game. I'm not asking for much. Just give me my Imperial Traders, not next to the Mega Sloths. And make Mega Sloths go away so I can finally have my final fights. Lost Bingo, minus 10. Well, yeah, but Akra actually won the Bingo. He's the reason we've got that game that I keep forgetting the name of, Rhythm Doctor, for this week's weekly one-shot. Stick Akra in a pod, forget about him. At least it doesn't really cost me that much, he just hangs around eating my food. But he's non violent, he's just such a useless pawn, why would you want this? Passion in crafting is only minor, and the initial level is quite low. Intellectual is one of the easiest skills to get up, so finding someone with high intellect isn't that great, just passions is enough. Incapable of dumb labour is crippling, because it prevents a lot of useful things, especially the hauling. There's always hauling work to be done. And no violence is just the cherry on top of uselessness. It's bad enough that the professor is incapable of violent, but at least he has a lot of passions going for him. And he will haul. He will get his hands dirty. He'll do plants as well, and I am always fond of people that do plants. Always plant work to be done. But Akro, he's just taking up space. Uh, so Riz is asking if the uh, bingo is over. So this is, these are all the pawns that arrived, 161 of them, and of them, 148 are dead. Barely anyone left alive. In fact, who is left alive? Taking it from the bottom to the top. Bellcat is alive. Tidus and Vostra are alive. Karth still lives. Uh, Frozen Kaiser is alive. Finn Boy is also alive. Sunaj has made it. Nugget. I don't think we've even found Nugget. Poor Lubu. Yet to die. Phobos is alive. And Kevin the Caveman is still alive. Oh, Toilet Genie. I don't think we've seen you, but genies don't appear very often. An RB Giant. We fought you twice recently and you're still going. Stinky Kitty's very dead. And I suppose now Actro counts as crossed off the list because they've been recruited forcefully. Yeah, I'd be very impressed to find someone who has not gotten a bingo by now. I think this is worth our time to even bother with. What, what watermill tube telly? <laughs> Nothing stopping us getting recon. For some reason, I thought it was locked out for some reason. Did we see Toilet Genie and is he an actual genie? He is an actual genie. Um, I think we... I feel like we saw him, but I could be making that up entirely. Wouldn't be the first time. Won't be the last. Damn it, the wargs deserve their glorious combat with these Mega Sloths. Please leave. Now, I could gun these Mega Sloths down. But there's not really much to be gained out of doing that. 
At least I struggle to think of anything that would be gained out of doing that. There are things that could be done, but hey, I just want to get on with my final fights. Damn you, Acro. Costing us all this cathartic fight. I probably would have rejected it as well if it wasn't uh, if it wasn't Acro himself. Oh god, that that, that ears and mustache and beard combination is just—it's almost horrifying. He's not just sobbing in the corner, going, "I sorted your bingo sheet for you." But no, you knew what you were doing when you made that character. Uh, okay, not a problem. That can't even spread anywhere meaningful. And I think they're going to disperse soon. Because they're kind of just floating around. You actually got blown up by that, didn't you? Yeah! People can just die to zip. I was saying the wildlife counter doesn't normally get any larger than it was before. This one's huge. But how many mega slots are still around? Oh, 41. I think it said, uh, well, a little more than that, but I think it said that there were 70 something to begin with. Mm, it'll be historical now. Yeah, apparently 71, but I have a funny feeling. Yeah, there's only 47 now, and that's going to go down as they slowly get off the map. The thrombos are out of here as well soon, I think. They don't hang around for very long. A few days and that's your chance. Oh, the PC parts have already arrived, Baron. They came this morning. The estimated delivery date was between the 20th and the 25th of this month. Uh, between 9am and I think 5pm. And slap bang 9 a.m. today they arrived with a very friendly delivery man who just drops it off and everything was there and accounted for. I was bamboozled. I suppose in the plus size is giving us extra time to train up the remaining untrained wargs. We can throw even more of them over at our Neanderthalic friends. Also, Zit completely drains our batteries, so that could have been a problem for our sun lamps, but uh, I think it's fine. Get away, Mega Sloths! <laughs> I don't want you here! I do want those Imperial Traders. Where in the world are they hiding at? I guess it's random when they arrive to prevent you from doing mass enslavement and selling those off at an ideal time. How much honor do slaves sell for, by the way? I think it's three each. But that's all the more reason why getting gold is so much better. You see a slave, you have to look after them, feed them. You have to make sure they don't break out as well. And they need to be able to walk when you sell them off. So you need a large area full of prisons, individual prisons, to prevent a mass breakout. Whereas with gold, just mine a load of it, shove it in a corner, and wait for the Imperials to come and take it. Akko can prove himself by getting rid of the remainder of the Mega Slots. I can't remember any of the uh, the actual numbers, big dog. Arrowing structure is a building thing, so we never take it, even though it gives a very rare Resurrector Serum. We don't need to resurrect anyone, because we haven't lost anyone. We've done that well. Please, game. I want to. I want to finish up. I'm sure someone remembers better than I did what I ended up getting, but I don't have a lot of passion for PC parts. It's like I was saying earlier. Someone was asking if I'm excited about building it, and I, I don't see building a PC as a particularly enjoyable or exciting thing. It's means to an end. To me, it's kind of like. Uh, Vehicle maintenance, and I've done plenty of vehicle maintenance. 
things. My my motorbike took any excuse to break down back in the day. Wait until someone dies at the end and can't be revived. Well, we can just leave them in the cold box for someone else to discover and surely revive, but probably eat. We're going to be leaving behind a hell of a nice place here. And by the way, before I forget, aesthetic nose. Let's have one made for Leighton and let's have Sia make it. So it can be made as quickly as possible. Sia, get to work. Uh, shouldn't have done it here, should have done it there. Mm, get this chair over here for Sia. Can't have Sia being uncomfortable now, can we? There we go. Comfort's pretty good. I don't think it's worth stressing about getting to maximum level comfort. As long as you're relatively comfortable in one of the three top ones, you're fine. Because it's plus 6, 8, or 10 mood. Dumped like a load of garbage. Go away, Mega Sloths. Got barely any left now. At least our colonists don't go stir crazy around here because there's plenty of outdoor places for them to go and just walk around. Sometimes for recreation they just go for a walk or in the snow they'll make a snowman. I'm not seeing any snowman though. Even though that's deep and crisp and even snow out there. thought that I could have roofed this and connected it over to here to aid in the heating. Mm, probably not worth it. We've largely cleared off now. Only eight remain on the map, and we have a lot of people that are idling, so they may as well go and have some fun shooting down one of the remaining ones. Oh, also, we need to, need to open up our way back outside. Ah. Well, that wasn't very fun at all, but sometimes the game just gives you things that are straight up delayers. Could you make a couple of charge rifles for Pandy and Spurdy? Uh, I prefer the assault rifle over the charge rifle. Better range, better accuracy, better firing speed. What does the charge rifle have? Mm, slightly higher damage and better armor penetration, but I'd rather have the range over those. Some people might think that's mad, and they might be right. Maybe. Maybe. Let's at least have a little bit of revenge on this Mega Sloth. He's not even interested in us now. Just, just wants to be left alone. <laughs> kind of feel bad for killing it like that, actually. Also, I just know that fox is going to cause me issues if I leave it alive, too. Maybe we'll get crossfire on the fox. Not the fox, the wolf. We will not. Ah, see, there we go. That kind of accuracy right through the brain. Could you have achieved that with a charge rifle? Yes, yes, you could have. But actually, could you? I'm not sure if the charge rifle has that range. Anyway, this assault rifle is really damn good. Okay, can we finally get to work? Looks like there's only one mad mega sloth left, and it's probably leaving the map as we speak. So instead, let's... Let's, let's, let's... Probably do a caravan... Controls where caravans leave the map. Well, if you leave over in that direction, and you hitch in this direction, 
And if we still have our bar skip point, oh, I didn't have that planned out from before, did I? No, Siri, I did not. Well, regardless, I can still put a bar skip point around here. And I can clear that. And tomorrow morning, we're going off on the attack. Always like to do it morning when everyone's breakfasted and inherently better equipped for the attack. On the other hand, I don't want to pass more time. Nancy's got her go juice. Trebliard's got herbal medicine times 20. That's not what I wanted you to have. I want you to have regular medicine times lots. You know what? Screw it. We're going to attack anyway. Um... Nice food and things, we don't need that. As long as we have our army of wargs, we'll be fine. So let's sort our animals here. Sort by those that know how to attack. And I mean really know how to attack. They go over to far skip point. Except the ones who are bonded. We'll pull those out so they don't die and cause our people the big sad. Oh, I got a lot of them ready to attack. Okay. If I see Bond, they stay in war zone. I feel bad for TBW giving me this is a long list of Brazilian names for the wargs, but the warg numbers have outgrown that list. Right, they're meant to follow Saru. It's a great UI thing that you can just click and drag a name like this. Fantastic. Okay. I'll get over to far skip area. Just pouring out. Reminds me of the rats, but, well, significantly cuter. Kind of a weird effect. The, the planning squares go a uh, layer over the ponds. And now, let us... Caravan. Caravanning over to. I uh, don't know why it says Icicle Creek, but we're going to there. And who's actually going out in the caravan? It kind of needs to be everyone that isn't Trebliard or the stay at home crew. So that's Nancy, Ferdinand, Pandy, Matty, Ivor. This is hard because the checkbox is so far away. Saru, not Sia. Sia's a stay-at-home. Ali, Acro is also stay-at-home. Spurdo, Altar, Barrington, Smuggler, and Gia. So Treb gets drop-potted over. Sia, Acro, and Professor hold down the fort. And, oh god, how do we know which freaking wargs do we send over? Oh, okay. How do we figure this out? Just bring them all. That's not the worst idea. It's really not the worst idea. Because the ones that aren't engaged in the fighting, we can just kind of have them sit in the corner, can't we? Yeah. At the very least, they'll be able to sit in the corner. Right, get all the wargs. Oh, but one thing I can know to do is to leave behind the bonded ones. Pregnant warg, pregnant warg, pregnant, pregnant, bonded, no. Pregnant? Well, if they're old enough to be pregnant, they're probably old enough to know how to fight. And besides, being pregnant would probably trigger some kind of maternal gene to protect. Alright, I guess we're doing that then. Not taking Don Paolo. We want any items with us? Not really, but it's possible that we will want a animal, uh, an animal pulsar. So I guess we'll take an animal pulsar. I'm running low on those. Anything else worth taking? No, not really. We can juice up over there. I hate auto travel supplies. Don't do that. I think I have a mod that turns those off, but it doesn't seem to be doing that. They want to take the medicine. I don't know if that includes the medicine that's on them, but I'll let them carry that medicine anyway. Do not take bedrolls.
Do I want that medicine? No, Trebs is already going to have medicine. I hope they just don't drop the medicine that's on them. 24 seems very specific, though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... You know what? Screw it. Just don't bother taking the medicine. I'm sure you're fine. And also, well spotted, Black Warg stays at home. He has no uh, bond, but he was able to be picked out. Okay, now... People will be unhappy. Not my problem. Go and go sort all those animals. Might take a bit of extra time to rope them. God, that's a lot of animals to rope up. And once they're on the world map, then we send people out. It's going to be a shame. It'll probably be dark when we're fighting. That'll affect our accuracy, and we're going to do a lot more shooting than our enemies, so this isn't well timed. Mm, God, some people are going to be rather hungry during this. I hate caravanning so much. It's it's often just such a slow and thankless progress. Some people just like pass out from hunger before they even bother going off and that delays the whole caravan. There's no shortage to the problems here, but um, to my great surprise, they're actually moving. To my immense surprise, they're actually moving. All right, if that's the case, then we better... Contains nothing but is ready for launch. What? What was even in there? Anyway, um... Trebliard, get in there. Oh, you only rope pet animals. Ah. I hadn't considered that, but probably should have. Okay, Trebs, you just sit snug in there. Snug as a book. It's kind of his second bedroom, staying inside one of these. Oh, he's sleeping inside there! I had no idea you could sleep inside a pod. That stream of warp, so many of them are gonna die. Oh, does it show their parked durability? No, but they've got such a cute, tiny DPS. 2.5 compared to a fully grown one's 5.15. Oh well. What's the comfort rating of a pod? Ooh, there's the real question. They're extremely uncomfortable. It doesn't seem like it's going anywhere, though. Alright, you guys immediately just go and uh, rest. I will far skip you over once Trebliard is over there. Launch to Bed Ben Lure. Attack, drop at the edge. Whee! You know, we could drop in center and immediately far skip in loads of w angry wargs at them. That would be badass. Oh god, I just realized I didn't say before doing this it might bug out. Oh no. Okay, okay, I thought you immediately went back home. Right, Trebliard. Uh, that was weird spawning. Because you didn't spawn at the edge, and you didn't drop pod in. There's some weird stuff going on, I'm telling you. To make matters slightly stranger, this is different from the previous place that we had. They had another whole area here. Uh -huh. A lot of weird things going on. Actually, I think two of them melded into one. Look at this weird setup with the... Um, with the barricades. And there's still... Oh, there's even more humans than last time. And we have Urtran and Wobbler. Right, we do have people to fight against here. Right, so, maybe I should definitely say before doing this. Stream 2-9. Could you go invisible and then far skip the wargs in? Uh, no. Because you can't cast invisibility on the world map. Alright, uh, Nancy, you're the one with all the juice, so you skip straight over here. Hey, there's our veritable warg army. Okay, now... It's important that we sort this out. Area 1 is the safest place that I can give them, which is over here on the water, away from all the everything. Is that really safe? I think this might be safer. Deep water. 
clear out area one. And then all of the animals which will not be participating in the fight go to area one. Oh. <laughs> 6.4 hour old warg puppy is here. I'm not a monster. Get over to the safe area. As for uh, the five day old warg puppy, well, you are equipped for battle. So all the ones that are ready for it, you must follow Lady Seru into the depths of hell. If I somehow accidentally have a bonded unit, then I can pull them out, but we don't. So you guys are all unrestricted. I'm not sure if that affects anything, especially since you're on follow your leader. Even if they are not attack trained, they'll still nibble on people who are attacking them. That is true, but there's no sense throwing them away. They still have to learn to follow. Uh, nah, I just think they get in the way. Plus, they would scatter when being shot at. It just sounds like a recipe for a lot of grim things to happen. So, now... Still a lot of very angry and unpleasant to deal with uh, individuals over there. What do we do? I don't have the awesome position that I had before to fight them from. It would be cool to be across the water, then they'd have to come around or over here. And that's possible in a number of ways if Trebliard feels like being an absolute chief of a hero. So, ooh, but there are all these animals. Oh, I never did bring the animal pulsar, did I? I did not. They'll probably just come across here, though. This water won't mean anything. We just drag things out unnecessarily. Mm. Might be better off being here. rat a tat a tat Gonna come around here, though. And mountains are better for the joke points. Well, however you cut it, we're gonna have a big and very messy fight. So let's just have a relatively pitched battle here. and shoot through the stream of wargs. They don't seem to be going to their area like they should. Whoa, were they already on the offense? I haven't even lined up for shooting you to death yet. Oh, but they are on their way. Maybe if only some of them are keep on, keen on attacking us, then we should take the... Uh, the opportunity to fight them a little bit further back. If they want to offer me an opportunity, I would be a fool not to grab it. Arpidium. See, is that lightning? Where are my works? They, they appear to not be in the area that I told them to go to. Or do they have a problem with going over to deep water? I think they're going over towards it now. Maybe they couldn't go for deep water. Okay, straight away, that's a whole bunch of them coming my way. And you know what I've not done? Juiced up. Nancy, juice. Trebs. I mean, I don't even know if you're already juiced up. Doesn't look like it. But, uh, Trebs, juice. Actually, nobody will be juiced because, um, it's been a while since our last preparation. Smuggler might be a waster, but he probably wouldn't appreciate being told to drink the go juice. Plus, he doesn't even pick it up. The useless, useless individual that he is. Ferdinand, surprisingly, you're on the juice special, so you inject that go juice. Altar, you as well. Juice it up, and all of my Malay people absolutely juice up, unless you are for some reason already juiced. I feel so bad for you, practically fighting with one eye. Vision does help with attack and dodge. Glug, glug, glug. Hey, there we go. Ah, straight away, we're ready to take the shots. However, Nancy, I need you to take a couple more. So, a couple more, not just one. There's a problem with Seru being on the side there. 
So Berickson, would you be so kind as to let Saru over here? Oh man. I want you over there, please. And then you get over to where Saru was. And that should migrate the wargs to a better area to screen for us. Oh, golly, there's a lot of them, isn't there? Are they going to be go juiced up, though? I don't know. How far are we from flying away? This is the penultimate raid. There's only one more after this. And then we get on our ship and fly away. Jeez, they are streaming in and they are particularly unpleasant Neanderthals, but I really don't think they are juicing. I mean, they don't really need to, but... Uh, I don't like them shooting at me at all, though. It's not like... They're not shooting me a lot, though. I don't think I need to deploy a low shield for this. Right. Go and fight for me, my wargs and sludge and everybody. Oh, wow. Oh, no, Orlov is there. No, Orlov, don't die. Don't die on me. It was, oh, God, stabbed by a bow and pregnant. And Warg 3 is already permanently uh, minigun shot in the brain. Hmm. Don't know who could have been doing that. Warg puppy 15. Don't worry, there's going to be a lot of these deaths. Warg 21 is down. Warg puppy 2 is down. Warg 20 is down. Oh, keep the bullets flowing. It's all for the greater good and all that. Right, see these guys that could be fighting each other but aren't. Do something about that. They're currently shooting my wargs and that's just unacceptable. Oh god, Sludge! Oh, Sludge did not last. It's okay. This is what we trained for. <laughs> I don't feel good about this. Oh, jeez. And there's still a ton of them out there. The problem is the wargs keep marching forward. I don't want them to march forward. Oh boy, poor mysterious BR doesn't feel so hot either. We've we've got replacement wargs, right? Oh well, I'll tell you, <laughs> Lurit's already fleeing. Now, <laughs> if they do that to their own folk, what are they gonna do to us? We better scram. Leave none alive. Saru, order the animals in an all-out attack. Because it's not been all-out enough. Also, Berickson, Gian, keep that safe. Oh gosh, we still have some of them coming in here in a very unpleasant way. Uh... Dave and Saru. Oh god, they're coming around the back. And Nancy has taken some serious stabbings. Okay, Jings, they got closer than I would like. Hey, Trebs, do you think we could have them, like, fight amongst themselves for a bit? Is that like Spurdo wants to be hand-to-hand -hand combating with a... Well, it's just a base liner, but we still don't really want that. Pandy, K.O. White, I don't like him being there, even if he's already injured, that's not pleasant for us. Oh, that was, uh, that was an insanity lance, wasn't it? Oh god, they, they are swarming us pretty bad. That's bad for us, you know. Spurdo doesn't feel so good. Stabbed right by Reggio. And that's a shame, because you're the one that could lance it, you know, see if you can just lance him out. Right. Oh, Warg 7 gave birth during all this! <laughs> James, how's that for heavily pregnant? How are any of them still going? 
I need all of my Malay people to be on uh, search and destroy here. I got way too many of them coming in for uh, Malaying, and Trebliard is really not happy with that. He really wishes he wasn't there right now. How are these guys not fleeing, though? I worry a lot about our troopers here. A lot of people that could easily die right now. Especially since these guys bring 150% uh, melee damage. Spurdo's arms are shanked badly. My own melayers are not delivering the damage, but we are fighting robust people here, so it does stand a bit to reason. But yeah, Trebs is just uh, sitting duck right there. Can you just like back off a bit? Although I don't know what you do from here. Okay. Yeah, now we're all engaged in melee, and that's really bad for us, because it's really good for them. And our good melayers, I don't think, are dealing enough damage to cause a rout. God, I hate seeing them engage like that. Oh god, against a Hussar! And a Neanderthal. Right, maybe the Neanderthal could be convinced to fight his friend. Spurdo was stunned there and he got shanked in the neck. If he gets that again, he's down and out. Right, get back. See if we can't just get more of our uh, glorious guys back a bit. There we go. There we go. Okay. Right, everybody. Just take a step back. Oh, right. Probably some of the insane ones are probably still attacking. Look for Nancy here. All right, there we go. After everything they did to us, of course, we're going to give it back to them. Every one of our wargs down and out. All right, we'll get we'll get our sweet revenge. But as for you folks, I want all of you over here so that I can treat the animals pretty quickly. All right, that should be enough to. Uh... Wait, the base doesn't count as destroyed? Do they have someone hanging around here? Some people still count as hostile for some odd reason. Um... Hmm. Right, Nancy, could you go and teleport yourself over there? And then for some reason, see these red ones? They still count as hostile. And they need to be eliminated. Or else it doesn't count as destroying the place. Oh my god, who's making a move right now? Altar flirted with Ali by telling a tale about cooking with bell peppers. Ali turned away, and yeah, not really the time. Yeah, so for some reason Sam still counts as hostile. I don't know why, but uh, there we go. With the death of Sam. Tra trauma Savant after being shot in the head. Savant can be really handy. It destroys your social abilities, but it gives you a huge amount of manipulation. And I don't know if it overcomes the brain injury. I think it does, because normally you would have 20% consciousness. Very rare, but can be useful when you get it. So, we did it, and we are not hanging around, because we really need to pack up after that. I need to make sure someone has enough far skip to get us back. Trebliard has plenty. God, we got mangled there, though. That was a killing floor. Uh, Nancy will be fine. Trebs will be fine. Ivor's torso is not feeling very great. Maybe I really should give him some better armor. Tandy came away rather rather good for someone that was in Malay there. Spurda was also in Malay. He should be very grateful that he was only punched in the neck. If he had actually been stabbed in the neck, he'd be dead. Smuggler came out completely scot-free, so did Ferdinand and Altar. Ali just got a little bruise from a short bow shot. Lady Saru, I didn't even—I forgot to give you the good armor, but uh, you were fine. Just a couple bruises there. 
Uh, Barrington, Matty, and Gian really took the fight over on the flank, and they are bleeding hard for it, but that's their problem. Let's reform that caravan. Gingbat came, and we're not taking all these dying people, but we're certainly taking our wargs back with us. Some will die, but those that die will simply be carved up. It's no big deal. Um, give me your smokes. I don't really care about the corpses. Uh, oh, 23 dead warg puppy corpses. I, uh, I'll have to leave those behind. Of their bones, the mountains. I'm not taking that silver equa. Waste of time. Still had more lances. I probably should put lances to better use, given what we we're fighting against there. And I will steal all of your pemmican. And that's okay. None of the assigned colonists are able to reach the pemmican. Okay. I'm going to zoom in. We're going to claim every door. And then we're going to do this. Never mentioned how much I don't like the caravanning in this game. Might have come up once or twice. I forget if there was anything else I was wanting to grab, but probably not. It's mostly garbage. Just give me the pemmican. Don't bother with the poor bedrolls. Play the beer. Dead rat. Must have got caught in the crossbar. How do you accidentally shoot a rat? Now they can do it, and now we can be either skipped home. Pew! And now... There we go. Animals need rescue. Yeah! We can see that being the case. But our people are hungry. Yeah. Got things to do. Uh, there's a good chance a lot of these wargs will not survive, but think of it as great work experience if they do. I'm going to shut down a whole bunch of these so they actually have a place to be thrown over to. And all of these beds are just going to be set for medical only, same with all these. I know, I know, we removed all these beds and whatnot, but... Maybe some of them will survive. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. Oh, wow, Mysterious BR and um, Orlov are still alive. They're so sludge again. Where's sludge? That's not sludge. There's sludge. Ooh. Sludge, buddy, I do not fancy your chances. I guess I can give you some proper medicine if anyone gets to you in time, but I don't think there's going to be a lot of in time. Anyone who's even remotely good at doctoring help these poor wargs out. This is a question of quantity at this point. I suppose we should also uh, think about our real colonists who are horribly bleeding and dying. Oh god, Trebs, right. Trebs, you're my main man. You need to tend Trebs and then tend everyone else. He's high on Goju, so he should be pretty good at tending to people. Alright, how about you also uh, tend to poor Nancy while you're at it? I think we're going to be hearing a lot of that whamp for... Um, dead wargs, but we're trying. It's mysterious BR, how are they holding up? Not well, but they will survive. Oh god, Nancy, you're... Yeah, Nancy actually got up to tend to others. That's very thoughtful of her. Save Sludge, please. I'm attached to him. Really? Really? I mean, look at him, he's gonna die! But you know what, Spurdo's fine. Where is it? Prioritize tending to sludge. There we go. Dead, deader. Come on, Trebs. 
Trebs is still juiced up, so even though he's a bit mangled, his manipulation is better than normal, so he's still going to do a good job attending Sludge. Oh, Sludge is going to die, maybe? It's touch and go. Oh, Laura Matsuda. Especially named BR Warg. Well, I was saying we needed to cull the wargs a fair bit, and hey, look on the bright side, we'll plenty of wargs to slice up and serve to the surviving wargs. How you doing, Sludge? Oh, Sludge is gonna make it. I did this for you, Addis. Need you don't forget it. <laughs> <laughs> How many more of them want to die? Mysterious BR? Oh, Mysterious BR will be okay. Warg 4 might not be okay. Movie Whoopins is so dead. Unless we actually go out of our way to save Hoovy. I'm not drowning in medicine, you know. And Hoovy's lived a good life. Mm. But they are a fully grown male warg. <laughs> Alright, Hoovy, I'm doing this for you. Trebs, I know you're trying to tend to some very for Oh, that, that warg is already dead. Don't even waste your time. Uh, prioritize tending to... Movie weapons. How's Orlov doing? Oh wait, did, or did Orlov die? I don't see an Orlov. Animals. Well, I'm not seeing them on the named list, so probably very yes. That's okay, we can all enjoy eating a bit of Orlov. Mm -hmm. Oh damn, that's probably going to mean that they need to be dragged away rather than tended to. That's fine. Just unceremoniously dragging all these warg corpses. Oh, there's blood too. Hopefully our actual crew are going to live. Eh, Matty's fine. Gian will be fine. Andy's still feeling a bit bleedy. Ivor's feeling... You know, Ivor's gonna get infected at that rate. Is... is Hoobie okay? I'm um, the Hoobie. Good thing I gave them decent medicine. Kind of being warned about animal filth. Well, it certainly did a lot to purge the wargs. We had way too many, and now we don't. Train them up, because their days of combat are not yet over. Chumra seems to have given up in the end. That filth ain't, uh, ain't gonna be cleaned by Chumro. Miscarried due to poor health. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I will have this as overflow pemmican. I got too much of this stuff. Okay. Still a bunch of animals needing rescued, but I think by and large they're gonna live. A lot of the tending was really poor quality because I just grabbed anyone who could tend. Normally, I only like my tending to be done by people that are particularly good at it. So that's Trebs, Sia, and Altar. But now was better than... Uh, better. I need to find Son of Orlov. Name him Orlov Jr. I think the game used to show... Oh, no, it does show this. Cool. Um... Do we have Orlov's corpse anywhere, or has Orlov already met the, uh, 
Oh yeah, Orlov has met their end. Okay, do we have anyone whose father is Orlov? Was Orlov a boy or a girl? Father the Black Warg. Father the Black Warg. Father the Black Warg. Father Hoopy Whoopins. Oh man, maybe TBW would be happy if I'd taken you out. Mysterious BR has no family. That is sad. Did... Did Orlov sire anything? Did Orlov even reach maturity? And now I'm starting to feel bad about not learning much about our wargy friends. What did that say? My... M oh, okay, I thought that was Regina on both of these. But uh, incest does very much exist. But it has no ill effect on animals. It has no effect, period. I think it removes them if they get butchered. Oh, well, that's extra sad. Oh, well, at least we're bringing the wargs back over here where they belong. So they don't make a mess of our main room. That's what happens when you don't name them. You lose track of them. Actually, I think it's more of a side effect of having 60-something wargs. But we brought it down to a far more manageable 37. Cut the chaff, so to speak. And now we have raided every single faction except for the Broken Empire. And I'm quite worried about that because they have Hussars, Advanced Weapons, Good Armor, and Turrets. And what do I have? Well, not those things. That warg didn't have a mother. Maybe that could be Orlov too. It's just going to make me feel even worse when Orlov 2 goes off to die. Yeah, I'm planning on getting my alliances back. Polywopple's quite close, so I might bring them all the way up to alliance, and I... Yeah, I should do what I can with the other guys, shouldn't I? Let's get this operational, and let's load you up with my favourite. The bedroll surprise. His bedrolls smell like grandma. It wouldn't be too hard to shove them full of chemic and I have so much of it though. Terrible blueprint gets ignored because I don't do building quests, they're just awful. Need a few more wargs for the Broken Empire raid, like a few hundred. Um, well I think the Imperial troops are going to be fewer in number. The problem was we were fighting Neanderthals there and they have reduced pain and robustness. Hussars have, actually what do Hussars have? I know they've got Goju's Dependency. I don't think they have increased melee damage, though. So they're going to have a harder time just instantly slaying our wargs. That's what I choose to believe, at least. Alright, who are we looking to befriend here if we can? Er well, I'd actually like to befriend Lurit again, since they are dangerous, clearly. So let's go and make friends with Lurit. Expensive. At least we have a fair bit of chem fuel. Hey, oh man, only neutral. Uh, I gotta, I gotta push lure at the polywopple that bit more. That's all right. We have the, we have the means to do that. Surely. Quick check on my human leather tells me I can still make another ten of them, and hopefully, it'll be a fantastic quality that makes everyone want to be my friend. top of that, I think I've got some other leathers coming in. Oh, I don't know where all this wolf skin came from, but I guess we could make some wolf skin bedrolls as well. One, two, three, four should suffice. Light leather is awful, but I might as well process it. One, two, three, four. Four was probably too much. Three will do. Keep one of the wolfskin bedrolls with us. A cute sentiment, but no. We can't take any items with us into space after all. I don't know how you must feel seeing all this, TBW. Are you proud of your children? Are you horrified by their demise? Do you simply just see the cogs of... Uh-oh. 
Oh uh, man, it's one of the least favorite things to see. Why couldn't this arrive when we had the Mega Sloths? Uh oh. Two War Queens. Uh oh. Apocraton. Uh oh. Multi Apocraton. Oh Jesus. Three Apocritons. Two War Queens. You know what, well, that shit part isn't really a problem, is it? We can just leave it be. Might be useful if we get a big attack. So, uh... Remember, avoid mech? I do. We have this all cordoned off. They won't wake up just from walking, uh, just from us walking around them. But really, why take the risk? Don't go anywhere near these guys. There's nothing to be gained from doing that. Avoid mech, and our own mechs should avoid mech. And I probably want access to this place, so let's. Ah, crumbs. Um. How about we do something like this, then? That way we can at least get access to here if we truly need it. What if we need to go around the sides, Jake? Well, ain't that a bummer. Glad we got all this plasteel to just throw around willy-nilly. There we go. When the Empire starts raiding you because you made them angry, the mechs will help. Yeah, maybe, or maybe it's just more mechs that attack me. I've certainly seen that happen plenty of times before. Also, does this break down what the game thinks that was worth? No, it just said, oh, we've got uh, maximum raid points. Randy um, actually subtracts 8% from it because he's random. He can add or subtract up to 50%. And then he just goes, here's defoliator ship, enjoy. I have never seen three Apocritons attack at once before, but I've heard it's possible, and evidently it is. Hold on, are we scared of Apocriton just from him being here? Oh my god, he's asleep and we still care about him! Okay, well, this should mulch any attack that comes from the south. I'm starting to think I should just start up the bleeding ship now. We can always raid the, um... We can always raid the Imperials as like a last hurrah before we leave. Hmm, I don't know, but I'm starting to think I should really just, uh, start the ship. But we already talked about this, Galata. Not interested in removing it, it's just going to fry the PC. And although there is a way to compress them, it's not something I'll... I don't really want to change anything for this run. We've reached the home stretch here. Let's at least kind of enjoy ourselves with that. Get rid of these plants to get in my way. But I see where you're coming from, Kaladin. I did tune in to watch you suffer even more with Victoria 3. He wants to love it. He knows he should love it, but he also knows it's just so painful. I feel your pain. Not for Vicky 3, obviously. <laughs> I don't play that. I don't subject myself to that. Okay, shouldn't take long, and then we're going to start that ship up. And at some point during the 15 days, we should probably go and attack the Imperials, but until then, let's just keep it cool. Still need to make some friends, though. Let's get these uninstalled and create our friends, forcefully. The Arco Nexus, yeah, I could get up and leave. It's quite the new game plus, but I, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I did it, the ending is just such ridiculousness. It's like, what happened? Well, nobody knows. End game. And it's very unfulfilling. And the fight for the end is uh, not particularly great either. That's a lot of pemmican. Your room's still impressive, though. You just gotta 
smell all of that preserved meat in your room with you. That can't be pleasant. But you do it anyway. Sia called Ali's uncle an owl. Is that meant to be interpreted as an insult? What's insulting about owls? Can anyone in chat turn that into an insult some way? Clearly we've got the kind of people here that could do that. Alright, bedroll surprise. It's not very surprising, it's just more bedrolls. I'll just shove a bunch in and then kick out more that aren't needed. Let's see, poor everyone. <laughs> they really got shanked hard. To think being stabbed in the torso twice by one of those spears is enough to kill. And although we were wearing flat vests, which should give massive defense to our bodies, um, spears have decent armor penetration. And they're not using crappy spears. Uh, okay, I have no spears to show off because I uh, turned all of mine back into their constituent parts. But trust me, we're, we're not safe there. Seldom is there a time when you're truly safe. Um... Nancy even had Robust. That's the scary thing. That's one of the many scary things. Recht. Who am I trying to impress here? Lurit. It'd be kind of cool if Lurit came to help me at some point. 16 plus 59 is exactly the amount I need to ally them. So that works out well. As for this one, it gets another bit of bedroll surprise. But on top of that, I also want to shove in any excess textiles that I have. Just to kind of get them out of my hair, wherever they are. Here we go. Bye bye, human leather, bear skin, wolf skin, plain leather, light leather, pig skin. Just make a, make a friendly gesture out of that. There we go, allied with Lurit. With any luck, they will send in some Neanderthal help if I get attacked. At the very least, they won't attack me. And I'm really not keen on being attacked by pig people or Neanderthals, or for that matter, uh, Hussars. Thinking about it, couldn't I shove a lot of pemmican here and here? And maybe even here. Are these preferred for pemmican? They are preferred. So if there's overflow pemmican, I can shove it in here and then shove it into a pod and then give it to someone. It's not a great present, it's certainly not a valuable present, but it's something. Owls are hydrophobic, nocturnal, and antisocial. Clearly would be at home in the Paradox community. <laughs> Maybe that's what he said. I was like, I bet your uncle plays Paradox games. It's like, are you calling him an owl? I hate owls. Oh, the problem is, if I stack this with pemmican, it might not know that it's that pemmican. In fact, it definitely will not know that it's that pemmican. Oh, well, I guess we're just keeping our pemmican out there. This thing full up, by the way. I forgot the wools, but I always forget the wools. Um, Polywopple, 27. You're already at uh, 52, so this is a little bit overkill. But what the heck, I'm a, I'm a charitable guy. Whee! And I hate that smells of elderberry insult. Don't make any sense, the only reason it's funny is if you get the reference. It got really tiring to see it in EU4, I regret ever having it on... Uh, Scornful insults. Alright, Bandy, you get that. Oh, okay, Mad Cougar, please do not upset the, uh, the mechs. Actually, to prevent that ever being a problem, let's just gun you down as you stand. Gun you down, he's looking desperately for any of his gunners. Ali, Smuggler, Ferdinand, get out there and gun that thing down. Here 
You're gonna be a little dangerously close to that thing, you know? Not you, GM. Well, this should hit enough. See? What was that? 45 bullets? Because one volley of this is... does it even say? 25! Okay, so that was actually a volley of 75 shots. And, of course, we killed the thing. It would be embarrassing if we did not. I wonder how the wargs feel about eating other wargs. Let's say you get mad warg disease. Not a real thing, but if it were... Oh god, that's quite a lot of warg meat. <laughs> oh man. Remember, one warg eats eight units of meat every day. So we can keep a hundred wargs fed on warg meat for a day, or one warg for a hundred days. 110. Right, enough of this research lark. It is completely unnecessary. Turn the power off for these. Are you mayhaps not aware of the reactor raids that last like 10 to 15 days once you read up the engine? Oh, I'm very well aware of them. It's what we've been preparing for. The question is just if I want to bother going and raiding the um, the Empire before that. I really should. I said I would. I can't cop out and not do it. But I think for pretty much the moment we're done with that, we want to get going on this other attack. I don't think I'll bring my wargs, though. The wargs are just so beaten up. Oof, some of them are still down. I need to turn off the follow command, though. Aru, 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 I know it's just so unfair. Yeah, I don't need a rescue, you're fine, you'll get better. Oh, you won't! No, you won't! Your brain is so mulched. Okay, sorry, Warg 11. You need to be slaughtered. Ferdinand shot Miss Dorbejo and pierced Warg 11's brain, skull, and head. They'll, they'll never reasonably walk again. And uh, Warg 19's jaw is shattered. I'm not even sure if... Well, zero so manipulation is certainly going to hurt a lot of things. And there are no animal bionics. I can't give them dentures or peg legs or anything like that. Maybe you can't make little org sized black helmets. Again, there's a mod for that. Or if you want to enjoy that, you can play as Ulm in Dominions 5. They have little wolves that can be used in fighting. And they put armor on them, so they actually have half-decent protection. And they make for an excellent screen or harassment unit. And if you really love your wargs, you can fluff them up to have iron skin, fog warriors, you can even point buff them with moss body if you really want to. Make them regenerate, make them larger. Gift of reason one to become a full-fledged commander. Give it a pair of arms and have it waltz into battle with sword and shield. Use your astral powers to make it so incredibly powerful that it's... Uh, even better than any enemy super combatant. If you love any unit in that game enough, you can do pretty much whatever you want with them. At this point, we're just Pokemon Sword and Shield. Okay, well, I need to pick that fight with the Imperials. Forgive me for hesitating on the matter. People are still beaten up, but at least we're fairly psi focused. I don't know how much that's down to just juicing up. But once we deal with them, it's time to fly away in our ship. The problem is dealing with them. They are the scariest one of all, and the Hussars cannot be broken mentally. We have to just plain old fight them. Six hours and still rimming, it really is the end spurt. Can we not call it the spurt? Uh, where do we turn on the reactor? Ah, uh, there it is, our starship. Yeah, let's, uh, let's not do that just yet. One last attack to do. And we never got the Broken Empire to give us a traitor. 
It's been almost a full year since they last arrived, I think. I think we saw them in early April May last year. Or I suppose this year. And again, they're meant to arrive about twice a year. No sign of them. Leaves me very vulnerable to follow-up attacks because I don't have any... Well, I don't have many of their aid to use. Nancy has 10 on her, so she can use her stuff. Trebliard's shuttle and their drum strike and trooper are freed up, but with no excess on her, I don't have anything that can be used to cast them multiple times except for Nancy's. And I rely on those guys. <laughs> Perhaps too much. No, no, that's what it means, Actro. It just it can mean many things. Like many words. Please, Imperial Honor guys. Save me from myself. Oh man, Mysterious BR. Is that you newly pregnant, or did you maintain your preg? Did anyone maintain their pregnancy during that battle? It would be a rough one. Nah, no, that's a new one. That's also new. Jinx, TBW, you got to work pretty fast. It's like, well done, survivors. We have your homecoming present for you. Oh, Mysterious BR did maintain. Good job. We're all proud of you. There's time for a new cryopod. I actually built one additional cryopod. I don't need all the ones I had, I just wanted the ship to be symmetric. Looks a bit like a charge lance. So everyone's going to need about a day still to repair. Uh, Nancy's stabbing in particular is just brutal. Well, I'm sure she'll be fine. And then I really need to think about how I deal with the Imperials. Mm, kind of a shame to fight the Imperials when our relationship is so high, but there's not much else I can do. Not really concerned about the Ergos being hostile, I don't think it's worth sending them stuff. At this point I'm a little low on stuff to, to send. We don't have any delicious leathers to send over anymore. Oh Christ, let's stop butchering humans, shall we? If a human corpse accidentally ends up there, that could be a problem. I can feel it out there somewhere, always thinking about why these people deserve death, always following the logic of murder, hard to ignore. I see Professor Layton tunes into the stream. There's no reason to save any of your rocket launchers. Bring them to Salvo at the Empire. Ah, it's not so simple though, is it? They are one shot, and once they're gone, I'm kind of a sitting duck. I'd need to re-equip my, uh, my minigun. And they will have uses for the onslaught, because we have 15 days of onslaught when we start up the ship reactor. But... It's probably still a good idea to use them. We'll probably get some uh, big rocket launchers back during the fight. Uh, during the onslaught here. As long as we just carefully grab them. And yeah, we can call in allies and whatnot when we're under attack here. I just really wish the Imperial Trader would arrive. Come on, I've got all this gold to give you for honor, and you're just not playing ball with me. And oh, the defoliator is going to defoliate hard. Good thing I completely stopped doing any sewing, because there's no need for it anymore. We have plenty of food. And we even have plenty of meals to keep us going. Ooh, additional troopers. Really good for flanking the troopers and the jannies if you can't just afford a full frontal of them. Thinking about it, I really should have deployed some of them during the fight we had before. But, you know, we brought in the wargs. This feels good. Anyone else look at this and just think it feels good seeing so many of those wargs just healing up. I don't know, there's something just so industrial about this healing process. I also appreciate that none of them got infected. I really thought they'd get infected because the the tend quality is god awful on them. Yeah, tend quality 7%. Tend quality 32%. You yeah, know, when we heal our humans, you know, 54 is still actually quite low. There we go. 98%. How's Nancy feeling? Oh, you were tended to by your husband, so of course it's very well done. 
Is there an especially mountainous Imperial base to attack? Now that's thinking with that thing on your head. This is a heavily polluted base, probably awful to fight. This is still on flat ground, I think. No, it's large hills over here, apparently. So the boreal northern forest of Sestiostior could be a good idea. I wonder if we're going to fight Teostopus if we go there. It's got big Teostopus energy with a name like that. Uh, where's this? It's got a road. Small hills. Okay, so actually it might be best to head over to uh, Sestiostior. Because the mountains could afford us a, uh, a better way to go about fighting them. Because we could even uh, set them up that they get clumped around um, an area where we raise walls. And then that would be even better for just throwing rockets at them. Hmm. Good thinking. Almost too good thinking. Right, I know everyone's still healing up, but I need to take a quick water break. I will be back momentarily. No, there, Armadiel. I just went away to refresh and water. And refreshed I am. Right, carry on. Give it a day or two for everyone to be healed up, and then come hell or high water, I've got to go and fight those Imperials. And I'm not thrilled at the prospect. <laughs> and I'm really not thrilled. But needs must. 
I, see, I should look at this as a positives, right? This is a lovely bit of defense. If I get a massive attack from the south... Uh, well, actually, the problem is... These guys would obliterate almost any attack. You could send a hundred Neanderthals at this, and I think the center... Mm, hundred Neanderthals would win. You could send a hundred regular folks here, though, and uh, the mechs would win. Although, are, those are all centipede blasters. And 23 is quite low. And the thing is, they don't have tesserons. However, the war queens will gestate about 30 little urchin buggers. Mm. Anyway, I could fight this, and I could win, and I'm pretty confident, but I'd have to use a lot of lances. And I'd just rather not. There's no good reason to do it. I'm certainly feeling very happy that I double-walled up my... Uh, my ship sight, though. Starting to think maybe I should have triple walled the thing. Well, you know what? What's any of that plasteel going to do? Uh, any of that plasteel going to do 700 out of it? Ah, well, there's the problem right there. Mud. Well, you never know when some nasty explosions are going to start striking it. Perhaps we should be ready for such an eventuality. Maybe I could even make this part out of wood, but I feel like that would just be inviting some problems. But we've got a bit of downtime, so I see very little reason not to just expand this while we're at it. No amount of walling would save it from drop pods. That is true. If we just get drop pod raid on here, <clears throat> which feels the need to attack my ship, then I'm just scuttered. The amount of health on this thing isn't that amazing either, especially not the sensor clusters or the ship core. And I can't defend it better, can I? Not really. But okay, what are the odds that someone lands right here and starts mashing the thing down? I would say not very high. Problem is the ship computer core, in addition to being very expensive, uses a persona core. Of which I only had one and I've already used it on it. If I want a spare, I have to go on a quest to get one. How are you feeling, Sludge, by the way? Good? Great. Unlike everyone else, you actually got some half-decent um, uh, tending to. I hope none of the other wargs took permanent brain injuries. Those ones are so bad, you just have to put them down. Brain injuries affect your consciousness, which affects almost everything you do. So they would go and be pretty useless in a fight and then die pretty easily. I suppose they would they would at least take some injuries meant for my guys, but I think it's better just to put them out of their misery. Oh, no, Saru, you're not made for cutting down trees. I suppose you are made for having a beer, though. A lot of the game hanging. I'm actually going to restart the game. I think there's definitely some kind of memory leak going on, which causes it to really start chugging after playing for a few hours. Not a big deal though. Quit to OS. Away goes the game. It'll be back in a minute. The jaw affects manipulation. One war uh, lost its jaw and has zero manipulation. Yeah, I think they can still attack. It wouldn't make any sense if they couldn't, given that they attack with their paws. But I think what it prevents is the animal doing hauling for you. Then again, I never use animals for hauling. I think it's a uh, fool's errand, a very expensive fool's errand. You can't control how they haul or what they haul. They don't use pick up and haul. They just grab one random item and bring it to a valid stockpile and that's it. 
and they do this an unknown amount. Well, they don't do it a lot per day. I remember that much. Anyway, I tried it and I really hated it, so I don't bother with that. And God forbid you're trying to train an animal that is doing hauling on the other side of the map. It's like, oh, I need to maintain this high hauling skill they have, so I'm going to go over and, oh, away they go. So I'm going to chase them down. Yeah, I'm sure there are some people, some people much better at RimWorld than me, that say it's great to have a bunch of, say, Labrador Retrievers, because they're very trainable, and then just have them do all the hauling for you whilst you maintain a relatively lean colony. I am not convinced. By the way, are you looking forward to Saturday, says Atronomus? Saturday? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Don't 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 make me feel like there's something I meant to remember about Saturday. I got a couple of streams planned. I got DDR and I've got a couple of punishment games lined up. But outside of that, can't think of anything. Dark Young is saying all the punishments. Well, looking forward to I'm seldom looking forward to my punishments. Wouldn't really make them punishing, would it? I said the game would be back in a jiffy, but uh, it's taken a while to load, probably with all these mods. That's only two punishment games. I've not been failing loads of weekly one-shots lately. So it's Animation Throwdown and Lords of Magic, I think it's called. A winning streak, even. It's only about three games, though. Nothing to write home about. I know I don't write home going, I won my weekly one-shot. I'm so happy. Alright, there we go. Should help with all the churning. I need to lean down my mod list once this is all said and done. Anyway, away goes the caravan hitching spot. I don't think I'll use my animals in the next fight. Not least of all because they are mangled. Yeah, they're going to need a few days off with that terrible tending quality. But you only get tending quality once. When you have an injury, you get it tended once, and that is the tend quality that is there until it is completely healed. So you need to weigh up if you want to have someone really... Uh, have them wait in line for really good quality treatment, or just have them... Where did, where did you put that meal? Why did you grab a meal, shove it in your inventory, and then bring it there? That I can't make sense of that action. Normally, people don't ever pick up a, a nutrient paste meal unless they're directly about to eat it. So I wonder why you suddenly broke out of it. You weren't hungry to begin with. Madness. All right, Hoobie Whoopins, fully healed. I feel good about healing you. I would never dream of losing a named Warg now, would I? Are you going to stick to tradition, Acronymous, and vote for victory? You know, it's, it's the good and honourable thing to do from somebody who submits their own weekly one-shot and bets on it. Oh yeah, that pollution over there reminds me of... This, the Pollux tree. It finally cleared out the pollution from the last defoliator ship, and now I've got another one. But that defoliator ship can just stay with this crummy planet. <laughs> Always vote on Jake losing. When Jake loses, everyone wins. It is kind of a good way to look at it. But then maybe winning is as well. If Jake wins, then hooray, you get your points. If Jake loses, hey, you get a punishment game. It's just if you're greedy and you vote lose, yay, Jake loses, I get win, uh, I win points and he does punishment, or if I win, you get nothing. And I feel like winning. He probably wanted to feed someone lying injured, then had that order cancelled when the injured person woke up. That makes so much sense, good thinking. Right, we truly could not need anything else scanned, so don't even bother scanning. Berrickson's becoming a monster at animals. How good were you at animals when we picked you up? I think it was like 
six or seven, it couldn't have been this great. But you're just constantly training wargs and milking um, milking yaks and milking boomlocks. I suppose it stands to reason. Air attack. Four honor. Thirteen soldiers to kill eight waste. Thirteen? I only have thirteen people who can fight. Uh, no, I got 14, but I ditch see ya. You, you send a uh, shuttle, right? <laughs> Would you do that to be able to become bald? That's good. I might pass it by, even though that's pretty much free honor. I'm more focused on getting my people healed up and then betraying the Empire. Also, Saru? I know you want to go and train a puppy, but I think now of all times you really should be given the big boy toy. Go and wear some marine armor. Ivor should also wear marine armor. Or maybe consider wearing a better helmet. Oh, he's already got a cataphrag helmet. Berrickson, you disgust me in a lot of ways, but I think it's high time you also wore a cataphrag helmet. These things are really, really good at protecting your head. And whilst I don't particularly want your head protected... Well, let's just say there's at least one person I'd rather have die than you right now. Who wouldn't want to be bald? I don't know. Wouldn't it be better to have something and not need it than need it and not have it? Altar wooed Nancy by comparing her to a glimmering house on... Do these people really want to go away together? I think given the option, I'd, I'd encourage them all onto the ship and I'd stay behind without them. Or I'd just take the ship. Tell them, oh, there's another couple days of warm-up and then, woof, off I go. Find myself a glitter world. Find somewhere with a functional hologram room. I believe that's the second time Sludge has been left for dead and come back regardless. Alright, this is going to be our last Christmas on the rim one way or the other. Let's set up the tree and enjoy it. Must suck to have Christmas in the desert. How are you meant to find the 70 wood for building one of these? I guess you could grow... Well, Extreme Desert wouldn't be so good for it, but you can still grow the crappy little stumpy things, can't you? Where are they? Ah, here it is, fiber corn. Pathetic yield. Two bits of wood in six days. Uh, that is just not right. Very low fertility requirement. Uh, no, extremely low fertility sensitivity, so you're not going to speed that up with hydroponics. It's just bad. It's a real last resort. I think I tried it once. No, I haven't tested that acro. That'll be for a future Jake in his spare time, but I think I'll be, I think I'll be letting go of RimWorld for a good long while after this. It's been a great run, but it's been so much RimWorld. How much RimWorld has it been? I don't want the planet there. It's been four days, nine hours, and ten minutes of RimWorld, and we're just closing it, closing the book momentarily. I think tomorrow morning Nancy should be good enough to go on a raid. Kind of. Man, I hope that torso injury doesn't end up killing us. Dryads can give wood. Oof. Yeah, but then you're playing around with dryads. Low-tech robots. Is that including the first colony? It is not including the first colony. And that first colony was another how long? I don't know. Uh, if anybody has the playlist on YouTube, you can punch it into a YouTube playlist length calculator thing and tell me how long it is so far. And then we can add another 6 hours 27 to it for today's session. And then imagine a few more hours on top of that and that should be as good as gold. But yeah, you're right, this does not count the gentleman's respite. It does count Castle Malloy though. Remember Castle Malloy? I mean, it's right there. 
It was such a good decision to abandon Castle Malloy. We would have died there. It was a lot of mechs, a lot of early mechs, and we did not have the team to fight back. What will Jake get obsessed with next? I have some ideas. I want to finally get around to my 100% run of Factorio Death World. I was on a hunt for that again recently. Um, I was looking on YouTube for 100% Death World runs. And I found a 100% run. I was like, oh, this looks good. And it's like, oh, first you want to disable biters and give yourself 600% size and richness of uh, ores. And I just stopped right there. So, okay, if that's how you want to play, great, but I, uh, why? Why would I want that? Uh, oh, free, well, not free, but 250 medicine, that's anything but free. Oh, you're not getting that. I think that's the wrong playlist, actually. 100% you say, lazy bastard, and there's no spoon, correct. On Death World, no less. Uh, you see, I did a run of Factorio not too long ago, because I wanted to finally get There Is No Spoon. I'd never gotten it before. Uh, and I did it. But I didn't do 100%, so I was certainly doing a lot of handcrafting. And I was doing it on regular, not Death World. I'd like to be able to do it again with what I've learned, do it on Death World, and... Well, the, the, the important ones are, of course, to get There Is No Spoon and Lazy Bastard. If you get those two, you've got everything. But the problem is, there's a lot of things you can't do. You can't use laser turrets. You can't lose solar power. And man, I like solar power. It cuts away so much of your pollution. Um, so I'd like to, I'd like to figure that out and give it a good go. And we just, we just roll one man random map and go for it. I'm not having any of this whole. Ooh, better find our perfect map. Even the person that won the mod challenge around here, Alpha Gemo. He he wanted to he wanted five maps to choose from. No, you only need one, so I gave him one, and it worked out. Anyway, it's Christmas time, everyone. This could be the last time that we have well, will be the last time we have Christmas here, come hell or high water. I might stab Acro to death before we leave. There's just something about him that disgusts me to no end. Probably the ice cream cones on his head. Uh, no Logistabots, but that's hardly a problem for simply launching a rocket. So here it is, Merry Christmas, everybody's having fun. I'm not doing much at Christmas this Christmas past, I was just thinking about, yay, I'm going to Japan soon. Used to go back home for every Christmas, but that's uh, starting to fall uh, fall out of routine. Okay, they're practically all fine now, except this warg is still recovering from the last spear stab. Uh, no, our friend Diablos needs signal chips, and we haven't had access to those. I could have summoned more Diabloses for that, but I think this will be a Diablos free run. Hey, you've not noticed yourself there, Actro? You're not even obscured by chat. You came in with an entourage of 71 mega slots, and I have regretted bringing you in ever since, because you don't do anything useful. But you would have reset my rejected joiner in danger if I had ignored you. I was certainly ignoring the six-year-old kid, but maybe I should have taken him instead of you. At least he could have been given a gun. And a kid's flak helmet. That's made here, right? Hey, there we go. If this is being used in combat, something has already gone very wrong. Don't you judge me, game. In the situation that you are here, of course you teach your kids how to fight. Congrats on half a year in Hungary. It's been pretty great, thanks. But you know that. Gotta hand it to Hungarian delivery. I got those computer parts so fast. Right, I am strongly considering going on that attack. I'm really nervous about it, though. There's a lot of ways this could go wrong. Uh, a lot of ways. Because the, uh, the Imperials are a lot worse to be fighting against, and the Hussars are a royal pain. My 
guess it might just be time to lay on the rockets. How's the puppy supply looking? Got knocked down. Got knocked down a fair bit from all the attacks. But at least the ones we have now pretty much all know how to fight. I feel bad for all the juveniles that were close enough to being grown up that got cut down in their prime. Although, um, grown up or not, they all fell. They all went tumbling down. We really don't know what we're dealing with up here in Kostenotsteor. But what we do kind of know is nothing actually. We need to scope the place out. I was just thinking it's, it might be mount it might not really be mountainous. It might just be hilly, so it'll be open just with large hills, which might not do much for me. Also, if we don't attack them fast enough, they're going to do nasty things to us. I could, I could actually just send a small scouting party to deal with them. I could send Nancy and Trebliard, juice them up, and have them just kind of kite quite a lot. There's a lot of ways that could go wrong, and if they both go down, they're gone for good. Plus, we'd be shot at. But they could skip around. Mm. I just feel like that's a lot of things waiting to go wrong. And remember, I don't get to use my call aid whatsoever with them. Hmm... I wonder what happens if you attack them, but you also send them enough gifts to make them friendly. Would they suddenly go friendly? Would it count as base destroyed? I don't know. Send Treb with one person and Neuroquake them. That would work really well, except it wouldn't affect the Hussars. So it would end up with the Hussars massacring all the non-Hussars, and then I have to fight nothing but Hussars. So not ideal. Two Doomsday rocket launchers could really mess them up, though. Jeez, Nancy, you'll be fine. Don't worry about those injuries. I think I should just line my people up and get them sorted out. The SARS aren't only like 10% of them. They would get mobbed. Are they? We have numbers on that, by the way. Options... Mod options, Xenotype spawn control, Imperial, Empire. Hussars are 15% of them, so sure enough, they might get mobbed. It's a pretty great idea, Neuroquake. Comes with downsides, Neuroquake echo, lowered relations, but it would be pretty good. Because otherwise these guys would ravage me. The non-Hussars would fight each other. Yeah, but the Hussars would also fight the um, the Rage ones, and it should offer me enough. Okay, that's a pretty great idea. I think I'll go with Neuroquake. I was edging on the, on the side of let's not, because Neuroquake is kind of overpowered for such a situation. But there's also, you know, I could I could die horribly right at the right before the final hurdle. Well, you know what, if nothing else, we'll look at what we're dealing with first. So, like I said, let's line everybody up first, get them drugged up and fed up. It's funny, because fed up means something else. I'm pretty sure Echo only affects the pawns in the same tile. Really? Well, at least we could figure that out, couldn't we? Right, Ferdinand, you are hungry and tired, so consume a fine meal. See ya, consume a fine meal, even though you're not that hungry, because your mood could always be better. Uh, Spurdo, consume a fine meal. Snuggler, definitely consume a fine meal. Nancy, surprisingly unhappy despite all the pain, consume a fine meal. Gian, oh yeah, you're hungry, consume a fine meal. Ivor, god, everyone needs their bleeding meals, don't they? Consume a fine meal. Ali, uh, you're gonna have to wait a bit whilst the others get their meals. Reason being that they get um, 
but they get counted as reserved until someone picks one up. So now you can consume a fine meal. Barrington. Yeah, I guess everyone's getting a fine meal. <laughs> don't, don't think of it as your final meal, folks. We will survive. Matty, you're actually fine. You don't need to eat a meal. Uh, Altar, you should go and consume a meal. And Pandy, you definitely need a good meal in your belly. And then we're going to juice up and get going. It's going to be trebly hard casting Neuroquake as it often is. Yum, 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 yum. Yum. I didn't even check Psy focuses, but they seem to be A-OK. -okay. Everyone's had their scrumptious breakfast. They lined up here. Where the heck is all my medicine? How am I meant to be making loads of this stuff? Okay, it is there. We did we did remake it good, and I'm glad I brought in that extra Nutramain. I'm less glad that I don't have tons of... Um, Tons of cloth to spare, but we shouldn't have that problem now. Nancy! Nancy Drew, go and grab, as is often the case, a whole load of go juice. Grab like 25 go juice. Trebliard, you're gonna be KO'd, so there's not really much use in you grabbing more stuff. But Altar, you're our backup medic, so you are going to grab a bunch of medicine. Things could get hairy. Um, hmm, it's kind of going to get in the way of your carrying capacity, isn't it? Okay, Altar, do not grab that medicine. In instead, grab a triple rocket launcher. And you know what? Equip the triple rocket launcher. Ferdinand, you equip the doomsday rocket launcher. That means no one's really bringing the medicine with me, let's just hope we don't need it. Uh, Altar, I want you to pick up the minigun, carry that on you. Ferdinand, you pick up the minigun as well, that way you have your backup weapons. So now i got rockets to throw at the enemy and the backup minigun for when that inevitably fails. On top of that, Spurdo, you've got your shock lance. I don't know if the shock lances work on... I don't think it works in Psychically Immune. No, I've even tried it before. It doesn't work. So, shock lances aren't going to help me out too much. Well, i, I, I got to stop thinking that I'm fighting nothing but um, Hussars here. Go and grab Spurdo, right? Yeah, Spurdo. Go and pick up those Insanity Lances. Uh, those weren't Santi lances, those were shock lances. Now this. This is a knife. Pandy. You even need an extra one, Pandy. Force equip. Pick up. And pick up Insanity Lance. And Trebliard, you feeling okay? You feel even better when you have yourself a lovely bit of go juice. That's your last bit of it. Since I expect you to keel over, just ditch your smoke leaves and your medicine here. Don't ditch the Altex staff. I think I have a backup if that one gets lost. Yeah, I even have an excellent full condition one. So, Trebs, watching for targets. Let's get you slammed away here. Get to it. Everybody else pick up your stuff and get ready to fight. I won't send them out till everyone else is uh, in position to far skip over. I had, if I had to guess, they don't make you far skip the animals just to prevent there being an issue where you accidentally pick up one of your uh, one of your animals and skip them over. Because I could really see that being a pain in the bum. Uh, see, why are you even here? You're not, you're not one of us. We don't include you in the attack force because we need you to overlook the. Uh, the robots. What's that? What was that great line in that great movie? And I bet someone knows what it is just based on that. But uh, they they fly into space. There's a man. There's his daughter. There's the problem with the Earth, kind of dying. It's all about 
I don't even know what it's about. But there was a cool line with a sarcastic robot. Something about humans for his robot colony. Anyway, that immediately came to mind when I thought about Sia. Interstellar, thank you, TBW. See, I don't even need to think my own thoughts around here. That's how good a life I lead. Right, this is bugged before, so let's keep our rolling backup saves. We don't save scum around here, but I make a lot of saves. Someone will believe that. Right, over we go, go. Land at the edge. Actually, just, just visit. And then we will attack. You know what? I just had a thought. What if they have an awesome uh, weapon for me? Oh, man. It's possible. It's really possible. If they do, I'm going to dump gold on you. So you can buy it and then use it to fight them. Or fight whoever. So, see this? I haven't been doing this this game, but you totally can. What you can do is you can trade. And the settlements have loads of goods on them. And a healthy amount of silver. But with the Imperial places, they always have a Persona weapon. And if it's a Persona weapon with kill focus, I'm going to be kicking myself that I didn't grab it. Although I'm pretty sure it changes each time. Here it is. Death Sender, a normal Persona Monosword. Death Sender has... Oh, that's so good. Psychic Hypersensitizer. That's... Um... I think that's about as good as using an LTEC staff, but it doubles as being an actual half-decent, well, not a half-decent, very decent weapon. Delicious. Comes with a similarly delicious cost, but, hmm. Oh man, they got low shields, two of them. I actually want your stuff. This stuff won't be in the base when I attack it, but, uh... Much as I would like all these goods, I don't think I'll be trading with them, I will just be pummeling them. Although, I would really like these goods. I want those low shield packs. Hmm. They even have some goats and donkeys and muffalo for me. Interesting. You know what? Why don't I? I mean, that is some good stuff. I need to buy these off of you. Low shield pack. Psychic Shock Lance. I guess the Psychic Shock Lance isn't such a big deal, but I want both of those low shield packs. They're amazing. And Death Sender is just scrumptious. Nope, forget it. Work with what we have. So, you are going to attack. I didn't I didn't bring the, uh, the Psychic thingamajigger for the animals. And I do actually want to psychically thingamajig the animals. Right, I'm going to send that over to him. Um, so I'm going to load this up with the animal pulsar. And yeah, I'm getting pretty low on pulsars now. Animal pulsar. And oh, should I just buy the freaking thing? I don't think I have anything of particular value to sell to them. Hey, do they buy uranium? Ah, uranium's too heavy. What exactly are you saving your money for? Ah, oh, you make a very compelling argument there, don't you? How much was that thing? Like 7,000 silver? 7,000 should cover all of my needs. Alright, go and fill that up. You gotta haul it over 500 at a time. Oh, my days. Could, could the rest of you just go and help out with that? I'm gonna send these goodies over to Trebs. Who can't even rest right now. Hmm. Krebs will do the trade. I'll get the low shield, I'll get the sword, and I will... What was the other thing I wanted? Oh yeah, the animal thing, so you could attack them. People can't use their inventories for this. They just gotta pick them one stack at a time. But they'll get it done. Even Aether's doing his part. Come on, Aether. There we go. Now let's not lunch this over. Let's not accidentally give it as a gift. We're giving this to Treb's caravan. Wow, that'd be a huge boon for the Broken Empire relationship. Give to the caravan. Replace both of these in case they're needed. 
and once again line everybody up yeah good point i keep thinking this run's gonna go on and on and on but it will come to an end and i don't think i'll play this into a post game in my spare time i already have a post game save and i think this will just become it right so trade and I would very much like your... Hmm, could get my Animal Pulse. Oh no, that's the one I have. I was thinking I'd be buying it from you. That's one way to get Archite Capsules, interestingly enough. Give me that sword, it's a good sword. Give me those low shield packs. And maybe I should take another Lance? I mean, I do love Lances. Can't go wrong with more Lances, can I? That Persona Mono Sword will be scrumptious. Not as good as kill focus, but sensitizing is usually good. Alright, accept that trade, and now I want you to attack. They will become hostile, yeah, I don't know. Very sad, that needs to be done. Of course, I really need to figure out how to make them friendly again. But I'll just dump whatever. Hell, I'll give them gold if I have to. Well, I, I never want to give anyone gold, but the options are there. Oh boy. That is a big and dense place, but as I said, there are fewer of them. I think one of the things is the game gives you more tribals to make up for their poor equipment. However, mortar, mortar, high explosives, people in actual armor, steel plate armor, recon armor, Cataphrac armor? Ugh. How about this loser? They're just hanging around in an alpaca shirt. No trousers even. But they are wearing a shield belt. Mm -hmm. A lot of unpleasant things I'm seeing here. Beacon usable. A trade landing thing power. Why are you warning me about that? It's not my problem. No chatters around here, right? What about the wildlife? Quite a lot of them. Good. <clears throat> what I could actually do is bring them over here, because they will go on the offense due to me uh, triggering all the animals. And this is an impressive choke point for them. I could even raise the ground here. That would be pretty sweet. Then they'd probably start digging through to me, which would be a little less sweet. But we'd have ways of dealing with that. Minigun, trigger happy, cataphrac, armor, nice combo. That is terrifying. Good thing they're crap at melee, but they don't have to be good at melee when you wield a minigun. You just have to shoot down the line. Now well, this is unpleasant to look at. However, the fact that they're going to congregate here does mean that a Neuroquake will utterly shrek them. So, yeah, the obvious thing to do is to hit that Pulsar Trebs, activate it straight away, and then immediately run away. You're already high on Goji. Oh, crumbs. There's a... You're not alone here. Right, go invisible then. Pew! Now the rabbit doesn't know where you are and won't even fight you. And with all the animals coming their way, or hopefully coming their way, hopefully coming their way, they should aggro on me, and then it's time to skip everyone over. Oh boy. Oh Jesus. Of course, we don't see it going through all this, do we? This might not be enough to aggro them into an attack on me. Well, I suppose the best Trebs can do is kind of cover in the corner. Oh god, I think they're shooting at the animals into their own base! Uh, I think. That's one way to do things. Okay, that's a good sign. You know, the guys on the bottom are at least attacking me. Let's not warp everyone over just in case they have another mortar shell in, uh, in mid-flight. Yeah, there we go. Right, if you've ever wondered how to get these people out of their base when attacking, Animal Pulsar. Oh man, just takes care of all these problems. I think 
I think they only need a little bit of damage done to them before they start coming at you. Oh, wow. Yeah. By the way, is T Ostopus here? I have to know. I'm not seeing him, but... Although I have to turn on the Empire here, I, uh... I have feelings for Teostopus. Complicated feelings. He helped me out a lot. Oh god, there's a bear on its way. There's more than just a bear on its way. Trebs remain invisible. Don't let them don't let them come to you. Let them turn around. And then Nancy and Co. I need you folks to far skip over. I definitely need you to far skip back at some point. I tried to get 2,000 rat, rat pit going and eventually managed. That's a lot of rats. Right. Rocket launchers, you're not allowed to fire at William. The rest of you can do whatever you want. Now, wall raise. Oh yeah, Nancy, you are to drink go juice until you are back up on the side focus. Nice shooting, but I don't like that you were practically shooting through each other there. Back it up a bit. Nancy, one more for good luck. And is there anybody that's not high on Gojus that should be? Funny, I thought I already juiced my people up, but I guess I was completely wrong. Trebs is juiced up, I know that much. Barrington, juice it up. Ali is not a juicer, but Altar is. Ferdinand. Mm hmm, that's Ivor, but he's still a juicer. There's Ferdinand. With that arc at eye and that need for the juice. Matty Mayo, juice. <laughs> There's so much of it. Does uh, does lend itself to some good shooting though. Good shooting. Now, <clears throat> if they're on their way, I need to think carefully about how this goes down because I can block them pretty savagely with this. I don't know how best to use that though. I mean, should I? <clears throat> Should I block them so that they all congregate here and try and break through, or or what? Or do I give them a single one-tile passageway to come through? Because the enemies are fierce. What are we looking at? Mono sword, Zeus hammer, plasma sword, chain shotguns, long swords, LMGs, mini guns. Charge lances, the only problematic thing they don't really have are rocket launchers. <clears throat> and at least if they had those, I could steal them off of them. I think what I should do is block them out and neuroquake them. That's the sensible thing to do. They're going to get this far. I'm going to smash this in their face. And then Trebliard is going to quake them. Uh, that means Trebs should be in the center, don't you know? That way, the Neuroquake is going to affect a huge area here, although, for that matter, it should be as close to here as possible. I do feel a little bad for Quake scumming this one. It's hard to deny the utility, though. So many charge weapons, might as well fight them naked. Yeah, they've got a whole lot of armor penetration going for them, don't they? Uh, I'm seeing some red eyes in there. There's a Hussar. There's a Hussar. There's a Hussar. There's a Hussar. Are you a Hussar? That's a Hussar. 15%, right? Hussar. 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 Oh, dear lord. I feel like something is going to go horribly wrong, says a chrono, so you don't have to worry, you're back at the base. I don't like the fact that we have some people coming in uh, sooner than the others, though. My question is, are they going to dig through this? Are they going to try and dig through this? 
They're certainly on their way. I think they're going to try. Right, get that Neuroquake going. Enough of them are close by. Takes 12 seconds. Please don't go outside of my range whilst that's happening. Oh wow, this is cruel. This is unreasonably cruel. We've got pretty much all of them. Oh, okay. Notably, every name that is in red and not purple was a Hussar and is unaffected by this. So that wasn't free. Oh, oh, it's worth checking here. Neuroquake Echo. No Neuroquake Echo. Yes, Neuroquake Echo. So it might have been a better idea just to send a few of them in, but ah, that'll be fine. Okay, I really feel like the rocket launchers will not be necessary here. At this point in time. So, please equip. Can't, can't, you, can't you equip that? Or did it drop off somewhere else? I feel a bit bad about your corpse being there. What if you get caught in a crossfire? Can someone pick up Trebliard? There we go. Seru, bring Trebliard's corpse over here. And, um, Smuggler, please pick up both of the low shield packs. I don't want to lose those and everything. And Nancy, please pick up, but dare not equip, Death Sender. Also, Altar, I believe that's your minigun. Please equip it. Ferdinand, drop your minigun and equip that one. Good chunk, chunk. On top of that, who's the guy with the shock lances? That is you, Spurdo. Please pick up the shot lance. Meanwhile, <clears throat> my foes are all busy annihilating each other, which is very handy. This wall doesn't last forever. It'll be gone in three hours, and it's very easy to dig through. It's only got a few hundred hit points. Right, just dump his body over there in the corner. And you guys can be fire at William again. Nice Altec staff. Um, maybe Nancy, you can also pick that up. And, oh god, big thing. Let's not just leave rocket launchers lying around. Let's just unceremoniously dump Trebliard over in the corner there. Hope a stray rocket doesn't catch him. So did we leave anyone back at the base who's still going to be considered alive and a threat? Yes, there's still Menos. And there is still Deimos. And for whatever reason, they didn't join the attack. There's also Bastus. I don't know why. Maybe it's the mod that always leaves some people left lying. <clears throat> oh man, this is great. If you have a foe too strong for you, just have them deal with themselves. That's not even bio-coded cataphrac armor. What I'm saying is I could have that. Oh, but they're done killing each other, and now they want a piece of me. However, we can handle that. I am willing to believe we can handle that. Get over here. Mini gunners, gun down the wall that is protecting us. Uh, Malayers stand front and center so that we have something of a veritable shield wall. Oh, oh, crumbs. They, they can already see in. In fact, you're about to make your shot. Right, these weapons are too dangerous for me to mess around with, so... Low shield deploy. And take them out. It's them or us, and I'd rather it were them. Going down, that is. Oh god, so the, the only ones we have left are the best of the best, the Hussars. I remember Deimos, he kept coming with crashed shuttles, well... He's crashed his last damn shuttle. He'll be being taken out for good. Man, see, see what a difference actually good armor makes? Fortunately though, that low shield of ours is good for another 15 seconds. Should be enough to rout these guys. Especially the idiot who came here wearing a cloth t-shirt. And not even, just a parka. Yeah, get out of here. Alright. 
None too shabby. So they're all down. Trebliard's just kind of chilling back there. As for us, we still need to eliminate the remaining hostiles. And there are, wow, there's quite a few of them. If we don't take them out, the place doesn't count as secure. Uh, unfortunately, Trebliard is out for the count, and I kind of want Psycasters to, to be able to sneak in here. However, there are sneaky ways we have around. We could go here and shoot down here with impunity. I mean, that thing doesn't have the range to to question us. Don't even need to shoot that much, do I? Um, doesn't matter. Let's let's head on out and let's not have this fire ruin our day. I can already see a way that, that fire could make me regret my actions. So let's have less of it, please. <laughs> I could see it spreading to and ultimately killing Trebs. Now, wouldn't that be fun for not me? Whoa, whoa, calm down, everybody. It's just a commercial. Got oh, nice psychic, psychic smooth. Mmm. Oh, it's biocoded. And that's also biocoded. But that Zeus hammer is not biocoded. Could be an upgrade for Matty Mayo's excellent axe. I think it would be an upgrade. Gian went over to excellent sword. Let's have a quick loop for Zeus hammer. There's normal. What about mono sword? Just a biocoded one. You know what, Matty? Time for an upgrade. Go and grab that Zeus hammer the normal quality and bio-coded weapon over there. As for us, there's a path down and around here. There's also something here, so who's going? Maybe I should split up. I kind of want Ivor and Nancy together, though. A pain when you have to take out the last ones here. You're all bleeding, you might go down eventually, but these other ones have got to go. Although I think there's a ton of damage I can do from north, so I think everyone's going to go north. Matty, you can catch us up, right? We're heading over this way. Oh, no, 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 no. We are heading this way via the north. Don't you dare think about taking a shortcut through Uranium Slugville. And Matty, please catch us up. Feels like Trebliard has spent quite the majority of this run unconscious. He does it for the crew, though. He knows what he's up to. We should be grateful we aren't stripping him while we go. Also, speaking of stripping, I mean, that is some really good cataphrac armor. And that's also cataphrac armor. And that is also cataphrac armor. Mm. Scrumptious, but I'll leave it be. It feels undeserved. You know, I stripped Yuan Shao naked as the day he was born, but to this? Nah, that's obviously the line. Cataphrac armor would have had us survive quite a bit better when fighting against the uh, the Lurit earlier. Just checking back home, an immediate attack here would be terrifying. If Teosmo had died here, we'd have unlocked the bad ending. <laughs> well, fortunately, that wasn't a concern. Teostopus wasn't here. All right, everybody, get over here. We've got some gunning to do. We should be able to gun these guys down with impunity. I don't really think they know what's going on. Opmet is already down, and Deimos isn't having a great time. But I might be able to, in visibility, run my way over to him and destroy him. Especially using someone like... Lady Seru. Oh, problem. Um, we cannot remake the caravan while there are still turrets. There are way too many turrets to consider destroying. Automated as well, because the power is still up. Thanks to all these wood fire generators and batteries. Actually, the batteries are way down. Might be able to rush in whilst everything is down, destroy all their power sources. 
Although that is a lot of uh, solar generators. It is midnight, though. I think we might be able to do this. Um, if we just rush in and destroy everything. Heck, we have people in position already. Oh god, you did not last long. Are you a wimp? Yeah. You see someone drop that fast, you can be fairly confident they're a wimp. Alright. Make haste. And lay waste. Playing a little fast and loose here. I mean, this uranium slug turret is still operational, so let's not run into its uh, into its firing arc. Them apples. I'm guessing not much. All right, good good hustle. Now, Ali, why are you so unhappy? If you're unhappy, drink a beer. Life advice right there. You two guys try and eliminate those before they become a problem. I mean, the rocket swarm launcher won't be a problem, but the explosion could help. do is actually just send in my malaires. There's not a lot that's reasonably going to shoot at them, and if they take out the generators, then I'm pretty good to go on this whole place. So all of you, just go and lay those down, please. If you get shot, it won't be much, so don't worry about it. They are way too far away for that to be a legitimate concern. Yeah, I didn't expect I'd be taking down all these, but I think it's the right thing to do. Hopefully these don't explode in my face. Now well, that's a good start. That's a good carry on. Uh, are they a... Haha, uh -huh. okay. I wanted to know if they were a Hussar. They are not. They're gonna come and get a piece of this as well. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to greet you. Nice to beat you. Could you all, well, the armed ones of you, kindly eliminate that before it also becomes a problem. Major break risk on Nancy? What? Why would Nancy be having a problem? Your quick echo, hungry, darkness. Look, if you're that hungry, just consume that simple meal. And then... Oh god, all you've got smokes. Has anyone got a beer they could drop for old Nancy? That psychic tea will do just fine. Do that, and then drink the psychic tea. You'll be, you'll be feeling better in no time. That's good. Okay, with that, they are pretty low on power that they can still have. But I think I should actually be going around and taking care of all the turrets. Like, if I go and smash that one, then that one... Oh, they've still got a bunch over here. Yeah. It's concerning, especially those uranium slug turrets. They're nasty. Oh, we'll get to it. No time like the present. And actually, my gunners here could probably gun down the... Um... Don't want them entering here. But the gunners could probably gun these things down once this is down. So we'll hop to it, lads. Yeesh! Theru, get over there before it shoots you. Do you think you guys could actually deal with that? You're already there, after all. Always scares me how quick a uranium turret blows out your, um, your shield. Ooh. 
Double woe. Absolutely concerning. Just cut the power lines. Easier said than done. Can you honestly tell me where every power line is? I couldn't. They're all over the place. They're very interconnected. Built with that down. Uh, Nancy, how are you feeling now? Probably better. Oh god, a lot of them are getting cheesed off. Anyway, I want you over here and I want you gunning down these... Uh, well, these. What in the world is shooting? Oh boy. Ivor. Right in the leg. Of course, we've been shot from below, aren't we? Maybe I shouldn't bother with all this. I should just go and take out Deimos and call it a day. But then how do we get Trebliard out of here? Oh, I suppose we could far skip him back if we run our way back over to him. That doesn't seem unreasonable. But I do need to take out... Easy, Nancy. I do need to take out Deimos. And wasn't there someone else? I swear there was another enemy here. There's Deimos, and there's apparently Kiowa. Well, they're trying to leave, but they may go down to blood loss, so they might get out. Either way, they're probably gone. Anyway, Deimos needs to be taken out. Without me getting shot to shreds on the way there. Could always just invisible Ivor. Send him over there, he'll definitely ruin that guy's day. Even though Ivor is uh, feeling it in the leg, he's still juiced up, so he should be fine. Alright, well, why don't we go for that then? Ivor, here's your invisibility. Here's your head start, I guess. Get over there. You can always skip yourself further if needed. Pew! Go and take him out. Major break risk. I know, I know. There are problems here. Right, go and take out Deimos, even though you have no shield. Actually, is anything going to shoot you? Now that could, but if you just get out of its target range. Take out Deimos. Invisible sword attack? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow, that was weak. You probably hit him with the the butt of the sword. That wasn't enough, though. There is still some... Oh, of course, there's... There's Kyo. Oh, Kyo is down. Then who's still alive here? Was there somebody else? Ah, no, there we go. Base destroyed. Huh. <laughs> But yeah, like I said, I can't just caravan up because of the, um, because of all of these. And taking them all out is a bit of an undertaking. Or is it? I mean, we've got three uranium slug turrets and two autocannon turrets. I actually reckon we could take them out. You just go and melee that one down. Uh, Gian, Matty... Berrickson. You go and take out that one. And these ones are already out of power, right? So I could just bring in the gunners and gun them down, except this one. But if we stay out of that one's range, we should be able to gun them down from there. A brilliant plan. Dumpf, dumpf, dumpf. Easy now. Last thing we want is the uh, the lights coming on and powering these bad boys. And Ivor, the last thing you want is to be blown up there. You've already taken some damage there. Oh. Back you folks get as well. Oh god. This thing could also explode and cause you trouble. Well, just get away. You have some shields. God, it never... Never feels safe, that. 
Ivor, what do you think about taking out that thing on your own? You feel great? Well, that's fantastic. Another thing wants to hit you, but why don't you just hit it right back? Choo! Choppy choppy. And hey, they've got some actual stuff in here. Ambrosia. It's lovely. And they got a lot of doors that I can claim and open up. What I can do is claim, hold them open, and then get people to go around and search for items. Now, normally I'd say this is a complete waste of everybody's time. However, in an Imperial base, that can actually mean good things. Go and open those doors, folks. What are you, what are you shooting at? Oh, that thing. Okay. Ivor, before you bleed out all over the place, go and check all these doors, please. You folks, check, 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 check. And with that, it should be safe enough to reform the caravan, but it isn't. What is still even here? Really, I do not know what counts as still being a problem here. Maybe hit there. Control F turret. Ancient security turret. Well, it's definitely not that. And I doubt there are any people still wandering around here. Huh. Don't know why it won't let me reform the caravan then. What exactly is unsafe about this place? Maybe an animal is still angered? No. No uranium slug turrets, no auto things. Maybe something in an unclaimed room. It's not impossible, I suppose. Let's check around a bit. It would save me a lot of bother if I could just reform caravan rather than to go and drag. Trebliard's crippled ass out of here. Matty, go and check these out. Anywhere that we haven't looked around here. I mean, maybe I can just claim these mortars. It might be that I have to take out the rocket launchers. Check the mountain room slash door. Oh, yeah, oh, I didn't see you there. There's some meat to be had. But yeah, I guess, failing anything else, I will take out the auto or rocket launchers. I thought we'd been through this. I thought we'd figured all this out. Evidently not. Helper landing, never. Never accept the helper missions. They're awful. What in the world is the problem here? There are still some enemies left in the region, no indication of which. Numbers shows zero enemies which are actually up and on the go. There's a door to the right of the solar panel. That there is. In fact, you two... Well, you're already auto-targeting that, aren't you? That might be a clue as to that being a problem for us. Some slow opening. Any more auto issues? Yeah, there's one right here. But actually, Seru could just go and murk that. There's not much left of it anyway. Ivor, kindly go and dispose of that auto rocket launcher. I will claim this mortar. And we'll see if the auto rockets are causing us. I I'm pretty sure we've been over this already, but. Heaven help me if I can remember such things. Another one over there. Trash now. There we go. So I guess in the end you do even need to take out the rocket launchers which don't actually do anything. But this is great because this means I can instantly grab everything on this map with a caravan rather than have to go around. Oh god. What could be inside here? 
What would they keep inside the dangerous mountain base? Uh, two beds and nine meals. Okay, well, like I said, great to be able to reform. Let's make absolutely sure that we can far skip back. 74 is plenty, and Ivor can also get us back. So actually, raiding one of these Imperial bases, really rather lucrative. There's no route back there, but that's fine. Just go pretty much anywhere. Plenty of people I could grab, but we won't grab them. I will take your chem fuel components. I'm a little low on cloth. I'll take your ambrosia. Yeah, you wake up a lot of drugs to be had here. Even some Lucy. I'll take your shells. They have value. And I will take your beer. Well, I already have my beer. Biocoded stuff is worthless. We can't ever use it, and it doesn't get smelted down for anything if it's mono or plastic. Plasma swords, I think. Any weapons worth my time? Hmm. There was a good mono sword. I'll take that. Not taking the cataphract armor. Ah, uh, maybe. Biocoded. That's my rocket launcher. Nice charge lance, but it's poor. Normal minigun. I'm minigunned as it is, thanks. I'm taking your silver. I won't take your furniture. That seems in poor taste. Even batteries. That's a, uh, You could actually grab a bunch of components out of all those batteries, but they are heavy as hell. I will take your fine meals. You've given me plenty. I'll take your package meals. I don't need your meat, but... Ooh, Glitter World Medicine, see? Pretty good stuff. Now, what was that about taking some cataphrac armor? I don't think it's showing up here. Maybe it doesn't show up unless you actually strip it off the people. I could have sworn it shows up, even if you don't. I swear I've seen long lines of clothes appearing here. Anyway, I'm not going to bother stripping them for their clothes. Although I could, you know, take the... No, no, we won't do that. Just grab, grab the goods and... Go! And go very quickly. Ivor, bring us home. And that is it. Every single faction we've raided them with the uh, rather hefty mod that makes them bigger and badder bases. Which is great. They do get even bigger and badder, but I didn't want to change it mid-run. Again, everybody very weirdly drops their medicine. But there we go, the only thing left to do is to power up the spaceship and get the hell off this planet. This feels like a great point to stop and finish this off next time, but no. We finish this here and now. Kidnap people, release for relation boost. Good idea, but actually it was a brilliant idea. No buts. The but, I suppose, that I completely forgot. I should have taken their armor to give them back to them for relation bonus as well. Jings, all these things I should have done but didn't do. Okay, well, failing that, let's give them other stuff. What do we... what do we bring them here? Maybe I could just fill them up with a huge amount of, uh, pemmican. Maybe they'll forgive me if I give them all this pemmican. Away goes all that pemmican. And you know what? It would take forever to drag the other pemmican over, so why don't I just launch over what we have right now? 28 relation. Good enough. Take it. I'll get the rest of the pemmican dragged over here, and then we'll give them even more. Neutrality is all I need with them. I don't need them to be friendly. Neutrality still makes them send traders and let you use your uh, your perks. Wow, man. Panda, you need to chill out a cycle. I guess that Neuroquake Echo really stays with you ten days as well. But fortunately, we don't need to leave our base ever again. Not that it's ever really a question of need. Give them uranium. Uranium is really heavy to send. One unit of uranium weighs one kilo, so I could only send them 150 uranium. Hard to justify that. That said, one bit of pemmican is... Huh, it's only 20 grams. Mm, and I could go for some pemmican. Could go for some anything, I'm starving here. Didn't exactly have a big meal after DDR. Did I eat anything after DDR? Don't think so. I'm hungry. I'm gonna set these to critical so they bring over all the all the goodies. Let my people have a wee bit to lie down. 
Must be bad for Nancy leaving Trebliard just sitting in the bed over there. Surely she just want to drag him back to the royal bed. Did I make this thing out of steel? I must have done that so it was less likely to break on me. Did that in both the cases here. One batch of uranium is worth about as much as a masterwork bedroll. I'd rather get bedrolls, but that's that's a given for me. That's yeah, okay, I can give people a bit of time to sort everything out, but once we get the uh, neutrality of our friendly Imperials back, we're going to start up our ship, and that's our 15-day countdown to the end of everything. The people who carried unusual amounts of goods always drop them when they return from caravanning. Default behavior, because sometimes the caravan, uh, they're carrying weird stuff as a result of what they picked up caravanning. Actro's trying to make himself look useful by making me drugs. Look at you, you're outclassed by this robot. Yeah, the robot's skill 10, you're skill 16, but you still disgust me in ways bootleg never could. I don't want to sound too negative to Actro, it's just coming naturally. Right, shove that pemmican all in there. And I think I also have some textiles to throw over there as well. Take this panther skin, wolf skin. Mega sloth, wool, just whatever I can do to make you guys uh, love me again. I will be loved. What's that chin guy from um, from The Sims says? I will make them love me. Now, if I were to just throw that to them, that's another 44. Yeah, with that, we're almost there. Just keep loading on a bit more pemmican, and I'm sure they'll be fine. Yeah, there we go. No need to fill it full of pemmican anymore. Why did I put in such a high intellect? Not deserved at all, says Acronymous. Well, perhaps you've outlived some other people to uh, deserve it. I remember another particularly savvy chap on the head. There he is, lying there awfully dead. Hidden structure, man, stop giving us those. We clearly have enough ancient complexes. Eleven, and not one of them is worth going to. The, the stuff that you can find in there is utter tat. The only thing that might be worth your time very rare tech prints, but if you get them all, you've got them all. Or, what's the other thing? Uh, Luciferum. If you're in desperate need of Luciferum, you'll find it there, but you're, you're better off time-wise just trading for it. Exotic traders, Imperial traders, just visit some sites and buy it up. Okay, we got our friend. Is there any good reason not to start this thing up? I can't think of one. This process will take about 15 days, and the energy signal will de be detectable from a long distance. This sort of energy signature indicates interstellar flight capability, attract gangs of desperate raiders and swarms of deadly mechanoids. You'll be assaulted with an insanity you've never seen. Yeah, okay. Bring it on. 